security that you're seeing, this kind of security that has been brought in, uh, these uh, drones, I'll just stick with these images coming in, uh, the drones that have been brought in. So there is the situation extremely fluid right now. Back-to-back -back developments taking place. I'll quickly take you through the top five developments that are taking place at, at the top of nine as that big development taking place here behind me as the searchers are underway. Over to Editor-in-Chief Ordab Goswami. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Swami on the debate at 9, presented by Amity University, powered by R.P. Sanjeev Goenka, Century Club Prime and Policy Bazaar, co-powered by Bell Kolu. Good evening and welcome viewers. Viewers, I had predicted yesterday that Arvind Kejriwal's arrest is very likely. You will remember we debated it in detail. And as I said, it is moving exactly in that direction. Now, there are two ways of looking at this. One, that after his arrest, Arvind Kejriwal's supporters will start a sympathy campaign for him. Secondly, that like Hemant Soren or K. Kavita, both of whom have been arrested in corruption charges, it is unlikely that Arvind Kejriwal will get any mass support given two facts. One, that the charges of Likargate, the corruption charges against him are very serious. And two, I have got news that Kejriwal has been arrested, ladies and gentlemen. I am breaking that right now. Shavan is with me, so I am breaking away from my lead. Ladies and gentlemen, let's carry the big grid. Kejriwal arrested. Shavan, what's the latest? Shavan, you can confirm that Kejriwal has been arrested. Shavan, well, order, Kejriwal order arrested. Top. First breaking here on Republic, yes. Much ahead. Much ahead. Much ahead. Yes. Much ahead. Much ahead. Much ahead or not before anyone else. Republic TV is now confirming. We have got the 100% confirmation. Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, has now been arrested by the Enforcement Director. In a short while has from now, arrested. Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out from here, taken to the Enforcement Directorate headquarters. And I'm confirming this. His statement has already been recorded under Section 17.1F of the PMLA. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal hasn't cooperated with the Enforcement Directorate. A confirmation now coming in that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Order, I'm also getting some more calls from my sources. I'll just quickly take our viewers through the quick developments. He was confronted today with you some take, of the you evidence. You take a couple that of calls. I'm holding it till then, ladies and gentlemen. The holding it there. Take the call. Stay on air. Mute the audio. Let him stay on air. Let him take the calls, ladies and gentlemen. The big. In fact, in fact, he has. Yeah, so take the calls, take the calls, you stay on air. Ladies and gentlemen, Shavan is on air. You can see him speaking to his sources. We mute the audio there, producers, because that's live news gathering going on before you. You can see him getting WhatsApp messages and Shavan Sen, ace reporter, ace television reporter Shavan Sen breaking the news of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. He's going to move away from the camera right now, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. And Arvind Kejriwal has been questioned for at least a couple of hours, but he's not been cooperating. He has made it absolutely clear he's in no mood to cooperate. He refused to go to the Enforcement Directorate office. He told the Joint Director of the Enforcement Directorate that he will not cooperate. He said that he will not move out. He was setting terms and conditionalities. The Joint Director is the same director, ladies and gentlemen, the same director who has questioned and arrested uh, K. Kavita earlier. He was confronted with statements. He was confronted with proof. He was told by the Enforcement Directorate that they have come with a swathe of information that they need to speak to him about it. But Arvind Kejriwal is buying time. And the whole strategy of Arvind Kejriwal and the Ahmadmi party is to have a whole group of people outside. Whole group of people outside. 
you know, who can sort of, you know, do this build up. Let's get the Ahmadmi Party spokesperson also live right now, ladies and gentlemen. Way ahead of any other network. Way ahead. Way, way ahead of any other network. Way ahead of any other channel. Breaking the news of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal here on Republic. And uh, we are now, uh, we'll be joined by Akshay Marathe. In just some time, Akshay Marathe is with us. Akshay Marathe, spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party. Ahmadmi Party Chief, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. We can confirm right now. Should he not have cooperated earlier? Should he have waited for nine summons? Moment of reckoning for the Ahmadmi Party. And he's refusing to go to the ED office. What, of, what does all of this indicate? Akshay, non-cooperation at this, this level will not be seen well by the courts. All of this, Anab Enforcement Directorate is an extortion department of the Bharatiya Janata Party. It is not taken seriously by anybody except for those who are blind bucks of the Bharatiya Janata Party. So I understand that there are sympathizers of the ED who think that Arvind Kejriwal should have just walked into the ED office, got him arrested on right on day one. But Arvind Kejriwal is an honest leader who will get reprieved from the courts eventually. And he has chosen the difficult he's path. arrested. Your leader has been arrested. If he has, if he has Sir, your leader is under I, arrest can now. Can I complete my point? You can celebrate it, Arna, by understanding so you are happy today. your leader has been arrested. But, should but, he not? But let me finish. I'm not celebrating. I'm point. saying that should but he not go on his own? Should he not go on his own to the ED office? No, he should no, not. No, I'm not celebrating. He, I'm breaking a wants, story. Should he, wants, he not go on his own? If he wants to go to the ED office, he might as well go to the Bharatiya Janata Party office. Why should he not? Because the Bharatiya Janata Party takes in all the leaders against whom the ED has notices. And then when the, the leader uh, joins the Bharatiya Janata Party, and those cases are dropped. And then when so Arvind Kejriwal should have done the same thing. Can we have the live BJP shots and not the and archive shots, Aditi, running right now? When we have live shots I from the spot. Don't, don't, there are drone shots, there are live shots. I'm telling the producers to keep the live shots along with Shavan. We have multiple cameras on the spot. No archive shots, please not right now. Okay? And Shavan, you have more details. Shavan, tell me more. Shavan, who broke the news first about the arrest. Shavan, tell me more. Shavan, tell me more. Well, in fact, Shavan, if you can hear me now, right now. Well, in I, fact, order yes. right now. Right now, the arrest, yes. arrest memo. I can, I can, I can. Order arrest, arrest memo will be served. Arrest memo will can be served. Can we have the visuals the on minister. air? Other Grounds thing. of arrest is going to be read out to the chief minister. I'm told that I'm I'm told I'm told that there is a sense of uh, you know that there has been a brief altercation between the chief minister and the enforcement director officers. Pretty much what happened uh, with the uh, chief minister Hebat Soren too. But right now, because it is going to be important that Arvind Kejriwal signs that arrest mem memo. The moment we that have is a sound bite of Atishji coming in. Something. We have to. This is a genetic disaster. Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji ko. Atishji's bite on the right, Aditi. Please. Please do this. This is the case. लेकिन उसके बावजूद एक रुपया आज तक नहीं मिला है तो आज लोकसभा का चुनाव अनाउंस होने के बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट एक राजनीतिक साजिश है लेकिन मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को कहना चाहती हूं कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी कानूनी लड़ाई के कारण यानी कि मुख्यमंत्री अपने पद से इस्तीफा नहीं देंगे ये आपने क्लियर कर दिया है 
अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये बिल्कुल साफ है और ये बिल्कुल स्पष्ट है इस पर कोई दो राय नहीं है कानूनी लड़ाई का क्या होगा हम बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को क्वॉश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल Zafar Islam is joining the debate with Akshay Marathi ladies and gentlemen I'm staying with the shots throughout I'm staying with the shots throughout there are a lot of security personnel can I have the shots on the air maximum time of the screen on the shots ladies and gentlemen can I have the shots on air constantly Aditi because the view viewers want to see the full frame pictures right now that we have from Arvind Kejriwal's residence thank you so much thank you we stay with the pictures there what the aam aadmi party has been trying to do ladies and gentlemen what you're seeing on the ground is that they're trying to get thousands and thousands and hundreds of workers to the ground to start political protest the challenge at this point of time will be to take Arvind Kejriwal out from his residence and to the ED headquarters which is already being given maximum security so to avoid a political confrontation things have to move very very fast uh, these are pressure tactics so obviously the aam aadmi party is a party mobilized in delhi they will do everything possible to stop arvind kejriwal from being taken to create some kind of a law and order situation on the ground out there we have the bjp facing off with the aap on the debate on both sides of the screen said zafar aslam joining the debate right now are you fearing a law and order situation here right now with akshay marathi on the screen and akshay is this very bad form nine summons you dodge ten summons you been given you refuse to cooperate you tell the ed you will not cooperate you instruct them on what they should be doing this is after the thrashing that you have got you got a thrashing in the high court the high court has pulled you up you lost your case there and now you are trying to block the arrest you are trying to block an arrested leader akshay no, marathe from I, being taken can I, can I into custody now? akshay no. akshay on the right can i respond can i yeah. can i respond now no. arnab i think you have been misinformed that we yes. got a thrashing in the high court in the high court the court asked the enforcement directorate to show even one single piece of evidence that they have against mr arvind kejriwal and the ed was not able to show even but your interpretation is wholly and completely incorrect the in the high court can today I, I, in the high court today you went and asked them can i have you on air on the right hand side and 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 the other guests on the left the debate is on now akshay marathe today in the court today in the court let me finish let me finish today in the court you said please please issue instructions please issue instructions one minute i am speaking over you because i'm countering you can i just come in please okay and in Are the court today you went and said you went and said can i have you on the screen i can't see you on the screen so i can't take this debate forward aditi thank you Yeah so the question is today in the court you went and said I that I should not be arrested and the court said I am giving you no such guarantee you demanded the, you, you the said, said I should let not be arrested you, the court did the not court give said. you any such guarantee did let you ask for you protection from said. arrest I, and not get it am i right or wrong there can i finish my point now <coughs> the court said the court asked the enforcement directorate are you planning to arrest mr again back to these do you have any evidence against him the ed said that we have no evidence against him right now we are Ar not Ar planning Ar to Ar arrest can i just come in please he is speaking for so long that is what can i just come in please the court so then issued a show cause notice that is not what the ed said asking them for explanation The court asked for the ED for an explanation. Why Arnab, do you want to arrest Mr. Arvind Kejriwal? The ED was supposed to respond by 22nd April. I'm sorry, you're completely mistaken and completely wrong. I don't know who's giving you a lowdown of the court. Kejriwal. You are going to the court. Arnab, I'm sorry, you're completely mistaken and completely wrong. I don't know who's giving you a lowdown of the court. You went to the court. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Can we have three windows there at the bottom screen? Today you went to the court. One second, one second, one second. Just one minute. First, Ishkaran is countering you on what happened in the court today. I'm saying you lost the case in the court. Yes. You refuse. No, you could not get protection. You could not get protection from coercive action. In fact, the court put you up for trying to set terms for an appearance, and I said that yesterday as well. Ishkaran Lauda. For my knowledge, who is Ishkaran Lauda? Because there is epic misinformation being spread. Your viewers should know what happened in the honorable high court both yesterday and today. Arnav, can I make my point? If you could lower the speed up, because this is absolute misinformation being spread, if not outright lies. Who are you? What happened in the court on two days? Are you from the BJP or? 
on the first Are day itself, the, the court government? orally observed, why can you not appear on the summons? Because you have received nine summons. Now, today, there were two basic... Uh, prayers before the court. One, the summons are illegal, which the R party has Make been saying outside super. the court. The summons are illegal. The ED could not summon. The summons should Get be stayed. Back. The summons should be quashed. The second aspect was on which they were asking the court was interim relief, a protection from coercive measures. In simple language, a protection from arrest. Both these requests, neither the summons were stayed, that means the ED had the right to summon him, nor was he given any protection from arrest. And the third part, on to what the ED has a good case or not, ED said during investigation, we do not show the case to any accused. That's the standard procedure by all investigative agencies. But the court insisted that you show us, the courts, the proof or whatever files you have. That was seen in the chamber. After that was seen in the chamber, the Honorable High Court by an express order declined to Zafar give him order. any relief, declined to give him a relief of prevention. That is absolutely arrest. false. That is, that is absolutely false. false. That, what, what, that what? is a legal... Are, how what, can what? you not know the that law? That is absolutely because false. That is absolutely false. Let me, let me respond now. Arnab, let me respond. That is absolutely if false. Court gave you that is absolutely you false. You are lying. You are lying on national television. That is why you have been arrested. Can I... Arnab, allow me to come in now. Allow me to come in. I can't believe that on this issue of law also... Talk for the last three minutes. Without interrupting him, you, but you did not let me speak even for one minute. Can I just come in, please? Akshay Marathi. Akshay Marathi. Akshay Marathi. Before that, I want to update viewers. He has I, I want spoken to update enough. everyone, and I have Zafar on the left, Akshay Marathi on the right. And Zafar, Zafar, I want to just recap the breaking news right now. Uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. About five mobile phones have been seized by the ED. All the items have been taken into custody. The Enforcement Directorate reached his house after Arvind Kejriwal lost the case earlier today, where the Delhi High Court flatly refused any interim protection from coercive action at this stage to Arvind Kejriwal. Arvind Kejriwal had filed an application seeking interim relief in his plea, challenging the ED summons. And there was a division bench comprising of Justice Suresh Kumar uh, Kat and Justice Manoj Jain. Uh, they gave full liberty to the Enforcement Directorate to file the response to Kejriwal's application. And the judge said that at this point of time, we cannot give him any protection from arrest. Uh, uh, the ED reached his house. The ED told him, the joint director told him to come to the office. Kejriwal said, I won't. Kejriwal said, I refuse to move. The ED said he's not cooperating. The ED has then arrested Kejriwal. Kejriwal is right now under arrest. The AAP says he's run the government from lockup. And uh, we should be, and uh, the AAP has started mobilizing its workers outside the house to create some kind of a physical situation there. That is the sequence of events. Now, Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP, former Arnab, MP Rajya me, Sabha. Uh, Arnab, they, see, you heard Arnab, the Arnab, spokesperson, Arnab, yes. Arnab, see, Arnab. I, I, heard, I heard the AAP spokesperson, I heard the various Arnab, leaders of AAP speaking Arnab. same rhetoric which they are speaking for the last several days. But this will not work anymore, Arnab, because he has to pay for his sins. The sins he has committed, everyone knows, and the no authorities has all the evidences proving him that he is guilty of committing crime along with the, uh, many other people involved in liquor scam. So he wants to take all the protection from this, from the legal protection which he is attempting, but there is absolutely no relief from High Court, and he will not get any relief from even from Supreme Court because I am saying because of the crime he has committed. No matter what the what their AAP spokesperson says, no matter what the leader of other spoke AAP, AAP leader says, but the fact is that that he has committed a crime, he has committed a sin, and he is paying price for that sin. Now, whether he appeals to a Supreme Court, it not, it nothing will happen because he every the agencies have proof, and proof has been shown to the High Court, and that is why High Court didn't give back. him any relief from the arrest, which he was thinking that he will get protection from. Secondly, what is more important, uh, Arnab, that uh, AAP is trying to somehow create law and order situation, but let me tell you that no matter whatever they try, law and order situation will be maintained as it has to be maintained, and they, they will not be able to disrupt the law and order situation in the state of uh, Delhi. Because all the precautionary measures have been taken by the security people, by the authorities, and these these people may try to disrupt, but we will not allow it to happen. Say, Can that, I respond that now? is more important point, uh, uh, Rajiv. That uh, uh, Arnab, 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 third very important point that he was thinking that he is above the law. 
But today it has been proven. If you commit a crime, then law has its own uh, way. I'm not, how you. law today are you? Am I supposed to listen to everybody else? Delhi speak? And the you have not interrupted this person even once. That he has committed a crime, he has committed a sin, and he has to be interrupted by you. Which is not even to make a single point. Throughout the show, no, you are. Let if me you are interrupting me, you'll have to face my questioning. I will certainly you question you, but it cannot be a one-way street. Uh, one minute, one minute. It cannot be a one-way street. One minute, one minute. Uh, uh, Sa 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 Zafar, one minute. One minute, one minute. One minute. One minute. Just one minute, viewers. Viewers, this this impression, this I I I just want to make one point out here, that it is very easy for Akshay Marathe. Or Pankaj Sharma or Akashdeep Muni or Mahesh Bigala, all of whom are on air and Mr. Bigala is spokesperson of the BRS to come on air that this is wrong, that is wrong, etc. However, I swear by every word of what I'm saying here tonight, viewers, and I know that you believe me. I'll tell you what has happened today, viewers. First ED summons, 2nd November 2023. Arvind Kejriwal doesn't go. Second ED summons, 22nd December, Arvind Arnab, Kejriwal refuses. Third ED summons, 3rd January, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Fourth ED summons, 18 January, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Fifth ED summons, 2nd February, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Sixth ED summons, 19th February, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Seventh ED summons, 26th February, Arvind Kejriwal says nothing doing. Eighth ED summons, 27th February, Arvind Kejriwal says I will not cooperate. Ninth ED summons, 17th March 2024 and Arvind Kejriwal says I don't care. I don't care what you are saying. These are, are the facts of the, of the BJP. You are a spokesperson of the BJP. That's why I don't care what you say. What you say does not matter. You stand with Ashok Chavar, you stand why, with Ajit Pawar, and you have respond to, it? to come up. You yeah, care for no one. You don't care for the courts. You don't care for the two people on the screen, please. One minute, one minute. You don't care for the courts. You don't care for the law. You don't care for the facts. You don't care for the high court. And the high court has turned you down today. You are a sellout. You are a sellout of the BJP. That's what you want. You can say what you want, You don't believe you are a neutral person. You can say what you want. You you can say, say what you uh, want, Akshay. I will say, I say because you mad. today are running an Akshay, agenda. You can, Akshay, 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 you are going to, this way you will only burst an artery and achieve nothing. One minute, one minute, one minute. Can I, can I, uh, Zafar, Zafar, one minute. Zafar, I can completely understand, Pankaj. I can completely understand, Akashdeep. I can completely and totally understand. I can completely, I can... I, I'm not celebrating, I'm reporting it. You are celebrating. And you are the one who's very you hot under the collar today. I completely understand because your, your leader has been arrested. That. Your viewers need to know that Arnab Goswami is with the BJP and he will celebrate Arvind Kejriwal being arrested. But what you will not tell them is two months before the Lok Sabha election, now, an opposition and leader being arrested like that, that you are a, he's a dictatorship. No, your and you party's are leader was a corrupt man. You, you, you should take responsibility I, I, uh, for the dictatorship one, that India one, one minute, has been one thrown under by Now, if you are quiet, I will give it back to you nice and proper. I will give it back to you nice and proper, but 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 one minute, but one minute. I request everyone tonight. I request no 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 no. Zaid Zafar Islam, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Zaid Zafar Islam, one minute. Akshay Marathe has taken it too far, and he will now have to listen to me. If he is not a coward, he will have to listen to me. If he is a coward, he will interrupt me. I have listened to him and I'm now going to give it back to him. And unless he is a coward, he will listen to me. Now, and I'm sure he's not a coward. Today, ladies and gentlemen, fact is that the court refused to pass an order granting interim protection from arrest to Kejriwal. And the court said, and I quote, we have heard both the sides. However, at this stage, we are not inclined to pass any order. Exactly. This is called a defeat in the High Court. Exactly. And you can cry, scream, call anyone a BJP spokesperson, exactly. but it is a fact. Second point, the court emphasized, the court emphasized, it's not the BJP, the court, so you be careful what you say, because Kejriwal's lawyer, Singhvi, had said today that ED has filed six charge sheets, 25,000 documents. What is the purpose of the summons? Then the court said, Akshay Marathe, and you are probably unaware, therefore uninitiated, you are saying things without knowing. The court said, and I quote the words of the court, unless Arvind Kejriwal appears, please note viewers, unless Arvind Kejriwal appears, how will he know what information, documents the ED ultimately wants from him? 
so the court gave an instruction akashdeep that arvind kejriwal yes. must appear yes you will attack the court now yeah i will attack the court now let me let me reply uh, akshay ji pull back uh, just i just and now he'll attack the court you. now he'll attack the court no, are listen to me listen to me no no now he says i will attack the court he'll attack are everybody listen today to me. and listen to no, me no no he listen said i didn't say the aap spokesperson said i will attack the court one minute no, 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 akashdeep no. watch the words the aap no, national I, spokesperson I said i will attack the court now so attack the court i'll give you the fact sir attack the court sir i'll give you I'll no no the, the aap spokesperson akshay marathe just said yes i will attack the court no no i have been attacking the court right sir. to disagree no, with the, the court, the court are, uh, we have to respect, respect the court the everyone has we have to respect the court nobody is attacking the court but i have the yeah, right just now you said the court said nothing when i sir, quoted sir, the court you were saying i disagree sir, with the court for one minute ha i want to put some facts here uh ornab ji you to, to i respect you so much but today you put out the court uh, proceeding selectively sir while to substantiate my uh, argument today the on uh, today the honorable asg who is a lawyer of ed said in the court that neither the aam aadmi party or arvin kejriwal is the accused in this matter of excise scam alleged excise scam even that went to the other level where the court asked enforcement directorate to present material evidence against arvind kejriwal to which enforcement directorate said in the court that material has is being investigated so the material not sufficing so material has been investigated cannot be presented in court court uncourt so the evidence was not sufficed to arrest or to produce in a court of law against arvin kejriwal as per the enforcement directorate lawyer mr raju who is the additional solicitor general third point that delhi has no, completely 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 said something completely and wholly incorrect arvin kejriwal petition in two no, weeks which he said that arnab can i come in fact check so delhi i have just one small fact check enforcement directorate to file that what reply to arvind kejriwal what is the final so judgment by arnab so, uh, by the high court did he did they give any relief this is beyond misinformation is subjudicial to did he get any protection from the abhishek come in yeah i am not making people sit pull the chairs and sit yourself now now no no why everybody on bharatiya janata party is uh, will be attacking arvind kejriwal today we know That no, no, no. Let me ask you one question. No, Arjun, let me ask him one question. Forget about the proceedings. What is the final outcome? What is the final outcome? Did he get any protection from the court? Did he get any protection from the court? Did he get any relief from the court? He didn't get any relief from the court. That's why he has been arrested. जो स्कूल नहीं नहीं जफर इस्लाम सुनो द पॉइंट इज द पॉइंट इज आकाशदीप 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 आई लेट मी सी इफ शवन कैन गिव मी एन इनपुट कैन अभिषेक एंड ऐश्वर्या कम इनटू द स्टूडियो लाइक आई आस्क देम टू कम एट 9:00 क्लॉक टुडे कैन दे कम इन प्लीज ऑन देयर ओन वॉक इन टू द स्टूडियो प्लीज थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड नाउ एंड नाउ आई एम ऑन द डिबेट विद आई एम मेकिंग अ पॉइंट हियर दिस इज ट्रिमेंडसली डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग अभिषेक एंड ऐश्वर्या प्लीज सिट डाउन नाउ आई एम नाउ आई एम मेकिंग अ पॉइंट हियर नाउ आई एम मेकिंग अ पॉइंट हियर आई जस्ट वन मिनट प्लीज जस्ट वन मिनट just one minute just one minute just one minute just one minute see today the high court told arvind kejriwal why don't you file an anticipatory bail application in the court yet okay now the ed in fact assured the court akash deep i don't know to what extent you can lie but obviously you have your own limits the court asked the ed tell us what evidence you have against him yes. for arrest is there any document against kejriwal in response to which the ed told the court my lord we have the documents mm -hmm. and ishkaran says that in confidence yes. the investigating the agency material. shared certain documents yes yes no, no, yeah no, no, so no, no, no. the investigating there, there agency shared charade. certain material in confidence with the court this? material is being investigated that ed said ठीक है ना कोई कोई डॉक्यूमेंट आई मीन ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू आई मीन आकाश दीप आकाश दीप अंदर विच पर्सन अंडर इट गेट्स टू हैव द इन्वेस्टिगेटिव एजेंसीज डॉक्यूमेंट्स 
they don't know the basic law of the land forget the video no investigative agency at the stage of investigation gives documents to anybody who is under the scanner that's the law of the land and of course the bjp judges are supposed to cover it is given to judges this is the basic law of the land i do not know how much information they can spread on national television or not and now this is not misinformation this is outright lies ऑडियो क्लियर अक्षय 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 सी आई वन मिनट पंकज 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 सी यस अक्षय यस अक्षय आई कॉन्ट हियर इम ऑडियो बी हायर इन द स्टूडियो आई कॉन्ट हियर इम अक्षय अक्षय लिसन टू मी द कोर्ट आस्ट अभिषेक मनु सिंह भी हु इज केजरीवाल लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव you are a citizens of the country they are giving you summons why don't you appear when you are given the summons what is preventing you from attending the summons to which kejriwal said i am not avoiding i need protection from arrest because i am not a common criminal i need protection from arrest today the court says i am not going to give you protection from arrest after which the ed went to question kejriwal and told him to cooperate he did not cooperate after nine summons he has been arrested i think that as much drama as you may want to do the delhi high court has rebuked kejriwal's lawyer for giving a flimsy excuse of not knowing whether the summons are sent for kejriwal as accused or witness the court said pursuant to the summons if you attend the call only then will you get to know now the I delhi high court has denied to entertain kejriwal's argument that summons are a trap to arrest him please Can understand what atishi says in our press conference that there is Can no evidence is not the final word the ed you have to understand nobody you see that ed will not arrest a delhi chief minister unless long, it feels how long, how long it is sitting on sufficient to, evidence how long, how long are you going to speak Can no, I but respond why aren't now? you how long nahi hai you have made statements today which are unworthy of you and i i am compelled I respond? to respond to you factually without descending okay, to your personal to you? diatribe i will not descend to you okay, I, I will I, not okay, descend you to you to, to, to your level you but i am telling you today that this would not have happened no 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 question is not you must show some patience i completely commiserate with you your leader is arrested there is a problem in aam aadmi party which will unravel but you can need I? to understand this is what has happened uh one can one. i respond or no is this a can monologue? both of you just hear from Everybody the gets a shavan latest speak, on what's happened shavan what's going on when is going to be arrested midnight midnight hearing midnight this is some hearing. kind of joke that is playing out no no well in fact aishwarya is on aishwarya is on aishwarya strategy of the aam aadmi party is to control akshay marathe hold on akshay marathe your leaders are having a second thought you said you will go you, then you said you will not now you are again going the legal team of the aam aadmi party has already approached the registrar office of the supreme court you are waiting a response you want a midnight hearing after arvind kejriwal being arrested right now abhishek manu singh bhi kon came on record just few minutes prior said no we are not now you have already uh, now you have already approached the you go zoom in on me zoom in on me now yeah. uh, now no one no, no, just just one minute just one minute options running out here abhishek for aam aadmi party do can you think I, they'll get the I urgent hearing any, why should the court give them an urgent hearing they might get an urgent hearing. why on what grounds on what gr- on what grounds with the supreme court given urgent hearing would he be treated like a vvip for the simple reason there is a lobby or no we no if there is a lobby no no one minute i don't understand this if there is a lobby abhishek does not mean the supreme court gives an urgent hearing Will you, I, anyone, any no citizen of the country get an urgent hearing? No then why the question Achha, being why should Arvind Kejriwal get an urgent hearing? When you were arrested, you got an urgent hearing. Just FYI. No, I did not get an urgent hearing. No I did not get an urgent no hearing. hearing. No, you are wrong, Akshay. You are wrong, Akshay. Second time you are wrong. You are very wrong. 
You are absolutely wrong. I went through the whole process. I went through all the courts. I went through the sessions court. I went to the high court, and then I went to the Supreme Court. You are a liar. I did not get an urgent hearing. You are factually incorrect. You don't know what you are talking about. You made multiple mistakes tonight. You are unprepared for the gravity of the situation, and you need to understand this. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot get away anymore. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way unlike. Like your leader, even when Parambir Singh interrogated me, I went every time. Unlike your leader, I did not avoid ten summons. Because you are now, if you are frustrated, desperate, it's your, it's your, it's your problem. You are making wrong facts. You are making wrong facts. Hold on, Akshay. Hold on. Like Manish Sisodia, he has been in jail for more than one year. The court will see it on merit. Hold on. Gabar is not Mr. Gabar. Hold on, Akshay. Hold on, Akshay. Don't get desperate like that. Akshay, hold on. Mr. Sisodia has been in jail without any trial. How is that okay? How is that a democracy? How is that? Zafar has to be on the left hand side of the, the screen. The legal process, Akshay, you don't decide. The legal process is fraud. You don't it decide that. The process is compromised by the Bharatiya Janata. Why can't you put Anybody Zafar Islam on the, the left when necessary? Aditi, right now is necessary. Anybody who is against the Bharatiya Janata Party gets trapped in the legal system. Yeah, that is the system. courts have kept him behind bars. I mean, not you don't know what is what has been discussed. We don't even want to. We don't even want to court what has been discussed. Hold on. We only want to see what. The final outcome. Final outcome was only one thing that he didn't get any relief from the court. That is something which everyone should know. Just one minute. He has committed crime. Court has seen all the documents and court has seen all the evidence. Says that based on that, he didn't get. Court didn't give him any relief. Akshay, Akshay, Akshay. That is something which is important for us to know. What was discussed in the inside the court is something which is not relevant for us to discuss because we do not know everything. What has happened there? But. We know the Akshay, consequences. What happened Akshay. on the final outcome? So what the, happened to Ajit Pawar? What was the consequence of 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 Ajit Pawar? Ajit Pawar has Who has escaped, escaped the law? He is, the law. He is only Sumedho going Vikari through the law. the law. Through the law. What law? Through the there process. Is no, law in this no. Through, he is going BJP, through the legal process. No, law. no what, what, legal process. How can you say that? Is, the BJP. There is absolute law for everyone. BJP, but you, you, you felt that there is no law for you. You are above the law. Kedriwal felt that there is no court. There is no Supreme Court. There is only one. Chief Minister of Delhi. Who is above the law? Okay, okay. Shawan has Atishi. Shawan, Shawan, cut to Shawan. Shawan now, please, live. Shawan with Atishi. Now, given to understand, Atishi. Let's cut live. Will Arvind Kejriwal step down given the fact that he has always taken the position that any corruption allegation, a person in public life will have to step down? Are we looking at the Chief Minister of Delhi stepping down with the arrest Arvind, taken? Place? Arvind Kejriwal was the Chief Minister of Delhi, is the Chief Minister of Delhi, and will remain the Chief Minister. Are you of Delhi? suggesting that the Are government of Delhi would be running from? The, Yes, the jail? absolutely. It will be running from Tihar Jail because this is the clear modus operandi of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Put allegations of corruption under PMLA on all opposition leaders. Arrest them. Why do they file cases only under PMLA? Because that is the only act in this country under which it is virtually impossible to get bail. As a senior so, leader, Atishi, you would agree that there was no relief coming in from the court. Prima facie, there was evidence against your other leaders, the then deputy is, chief minister. Is, so how is it you are saying is, there is no there evidence? Is absolutely. Where is the proceeds of crime? Can the ED, after two years, say they have recovered even one rupee from any? Any Aam Aadmi Party leader, they can't. Where is the evidence? Where is the proceeds of crime? They have not been able to show any proceeds of crime, despite having hundreds of officers investigate the case, thousands of raids, and the timing of the arrest makes it very clear. Did you tell me someone Coming as a time, senior, as a senior leader, as an IRS officer himself, Mr. Kejriwal says that tell me whether am I a suspect or a witness? Is that even? A logical explanation. It's a logical question. Because is the fact not, of the under the no, I'm asking only under the section 50, under section 17 of the PMLA Act, it is the prerogative of the agency. I have a simple question for you. Why is it that all PMLA cases get filed only against opposition leaders? Well, that's the question that you should ask the enforcement directorate. Yes, absolutely. The second question: Why is it that all cases against the opposition? 
areas do not happen under the CRPC Act. They do not happen under the Prevention of Corruption Act. The only one act in which cases get filed. That's also because, because but there is a corruption because, case by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Precisely because that is the only law in the country. It was the law was put in place to prevent terrorism, to prevent trading of narcotics. Today, but it's also money laundering. Whether Vijay, Shavan, can you ask her whether she thinks Vijay Nair is innocent? Can Shavan hear me? Well, well. Shavan, fact, can you hear me? One of the factors that I know, right I, now I don't most think of the party leaders. Yeah. Well, uh, you know I. Unfortunately, or not, because uh, she's already stepped out. Because right now, if, you can, if I can just show you what's really happening on the other side, is no uh, right now most of uh, the Amadi Party leaders have come on the road. Right now. That's the current situation. Reason why, is if the, you're wondering is why, is speed exactly coming in, Aditi? If it is coming, we'll cut to it. Is it coming in right now? Uh, one sec. I was just told that Sambit Patra's feed is also coming in. Yes, yes. We're seeing live BJP reactions coming in. Can we cut to that, please? Can we cut to it immediately, please? Thank you very much. Moving ahead on the story. Thank you. Let's hear the reactions, viewers. The idea, the idea of corruption, the idea of minting money through a, I would say, through an excise policy. I mean, this is unheard of. Louder. A CM, a CM who talks about education. Louder in the studio. Mani Shishodhiya, inke education mantri te, siksha mantri te. Aapne vishwa mein kahin suna hai, siksha mantri, sharaap ke ghotale se paisa mana raha hai. जो सीएम कहता है कि हम तो चांद में भी स्कूल खोल देंगे वो शराब के पैसे से पैसे बना करके शराब के ठेकेदारों से शराब के बड़े बड़े माफियों से डॉन से पैसे की उगाई करता है और करोड़ों करोड़ रुपयों का चंदा लेता है क्या यह विषय नहीं महेश बेगाला स्पोक्स पर्सन प्रकार की कार्यदिति प्लीज कट आउट महेश बेगाला स्पोक्स पर्सन of the BRS. Mr. Bigala, today Arvind Kejriwal was confronted by some statements we are told. Now we are also told that the Joint Director of the Enforcement Directorate who went there to question and then arrest Arvind Kejriwal is the same officer, I think Kapil Raj, hmm. who arrested K. Kavita. So is it possible that your leader K. Kavita has made certain statements about the role of Arvind Kejriwal? Because Definitely things have moved very not. fast after uh, Kavita's uh, arrest. No, I think this is not from the last arrest of Kavita ji, because this case is going on, investigation is going on for the last two years. But we need to look at the timing and how it is motivated. It's a, it's the elections are coming in the next month and the, probably in the month of April and May. But you know the arrest took place of Kavita ji and Arvind Kejriwal ji now. What, why they took the last two years even to investigate and arrest? But and other thing we need to question is, but is are there any cases on the BJP leaders or even the NDA leaders? It's only the ED is investigating only the opposition's leaders. See, like the all these ED PMLA cases are filed and investigated and arrested all the opposition's leaders only. That's what like you know the but India Mr. has. Mr. Bigala, Mr. Bigala, all the all the all the all the as you are aware, all the all the opposition leaders went together to the Supreme Court and says we are being collectively targeted. The Supreme Court said this has no basis and sent you back. The Supreme Court said these are political matters, you can't bring them in the area of the court. They are not legally tenable arguments. So the Supreme Court has already dismissed that, you know, that argument of victimization. Now we need to go by what the courts are saying. Pankaj, this, I don't think this is going to lead to any mass sympathy campaign. It already doesn't seem to me. I mean, the AAP was expecting that people would be out on the streets protesting morning, day and night. It doesn't seem to be happening. See, the crux of the matter is that Atika Bhalana Barasana, Atiki Bhalina Dhu. Too much of anything could, could destroy. Excessive sorrow laughs, excessive joy weeps. Let me tell you, arrest of Kejriwal is going to boomerang politically very badly on these don't say that Ejriwal is not going to get any sympathy out of this. He will. For many years and especially for a few last months, the entire nation is debating the issue of selective treatment by the investigative agencies of Modi government. It is charitable attitude towards the leaders of the ruling dispensation and its bullying approach. Bullying approach 
towards opposition leaders is the actual cause of concern. Why two sets of execution methodologies for the similar laws? People are asking this. And it has become so obvious in the last 10 years of Modi regime that you ask uh, any Pankaj, commoner on the streets. Pankaj, ask on any 30th commoner October on the streets. 2023, on 30th October 2023, Pankaj ji, on 30th October 2023, uh, the court, Supreme Court, said we will not give bail to Manish Sisodia. And the Amadmi party was shocked. Amadmi party, before that, and I want to go back to this, Abhishek, said Zafar Islam and Akshay are on the Supreme debate. Also said there is a money trail. The Supreme Court said there is a money trail. The Supreme Court said that a money trail of not 1 crore, 2 crore, 33 plus. crores, but 338 crores has been tentatively enough. established. That is not true. I do not that understand not after that how any Ahmadmi Party spokesperson can come and say that the courts are with us, the law is with us. In fact, can I, can I the now? Supreme Court had made the fact that the money trail of 338 crores was tentatively established the basis for denying the bail of the former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, Manish Sisodia. It's as clear as that these are the words can of the I court. Respond? And they also said the new... Yes. So, uh, Akshay, are these the words of the court or not? You just respond with saying no, yes or not. no, then you can say what you want. This is what the Supreme Court said. Is this what the Supreme Court said or not? No, no, no. Is this no, 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 no? You can't avoid the question okay, anymore. Me, is this the, what the Supreme Court said? No, you can't avoid the question. You give me a no, I am asking you and don't do tum tum with me, please. I am calling you up. I will not descend to your level. Please, please do not. Please do not. I am showing you respect. Don't try to go too familiar with me, Akshay. Me respect, You're speaking to a senior journalist. You, let me you don't cross the line. You let me speak. Yeah, but you it doesn't matter, speak. man. Whatever you what say, I'm still calling respect? you. I'm calling you out respectfully. What do I do with your respect? What do I do with I you? Don't I don't care what you do. Respect. One minute, Akshay. One minute. I don't I care what do you do. Respect. I am asking you a question. Is that what the court said? Is that what the court said? let me speak. You let me speak. Is that what the court said? Let me speak. Let me speak Is this what the court said? No, the 338 the crore money trail. No, did the Supreme no, Court refer court to the 338 crore money trail said, or not? Are, bhai, did they or did they enough not? Is enough, Arnab. I, I, enough is enough, Enough is Did the Supreme Court mention, so he said he can't answer the question. That is precisely the problem out here. The simple question being, if you are asked, was there a 338 crore money trail? You don't want to answer the question. But Akashdeep, there's no running away from that. Arnav, this is the I fundamental question you'll be asked in the courts Arnav, of public opinion also. See, Arnav ji, no, no, one minute. Let right. Akashdeep take that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll answer the question. You are right. That the Honorable Court said that whatever the profits made in this policy, that will be considered as proceeds of crime. That is, that came to 331 crore. I acknowledge that. <laughs> but the profits made, by, it was by the companies, not by the uh, there was no money trail to Manish Shodhya, Sanjay Singh, or even Arvind Kejriwal. Till now, there is otherwise uh, ED would have treated yeah, with the tax of money. Now, Zafar Islam, please don't heckle. Please don't heckle. Please let me speak, sir. Please. Now, now one of the most important factor I want to tell today is that normally today, while all of us are talking about Kejriwal being arrested. Sanjay Saroj, who was named as terrorist by UP police in 2018, joined Bharati Janta Party. So terrorists join Karre Bharati Janta Party. But a person who school a school, a clinic, a good teacher, Exchequer ko fayde mein leke aata hai. Delhi Exchequer is the only Exchequer. Achhi siksha kya deta hai bhai? India against corruption pe aa gaye. Book mantri ban gaye aur corruption shuru kar diya. Aap mujhe bata dijiye Modi ji ki sarkar profit mein hai. No, but all I am trying to tell you that. No, no, all I am trying to tell you that. How come you are giving him a certificate? How come you are giving him a certificate? When court has not given the certificate, how? How Are can you give him the certificate? Person, what has shout. enough evidence? Agencies have enough evidence against him. There is a money trail. There is enough evidence that. against him. The, all the proceeds Sanjay of the crime Sarov has gone to him. He is the beneficiary. So he thought he is the only beneficiary. The deputy chief minister is also the beneficiary. 
जफर इजवान संजय सरोज बीजेपी में है कि नहीं है यूपी पुलिस ने उनको टेररिस्ट बताया थे नहीं बताया था दो में अरे कौन है नहीं है छोड़ो उसके बारे में कोर्ट No, did he get any relief from the court the or not? Today, no, he didn't get any relief. The Why? Court, the Because there is enough the evidence against him. You must understand. Yes, what were those would have given him definitely some relief, and he would have given, been given protection from the arrest. Since he did yeah, get the protection, definitely mean meaning all that all there the is enough evidence that against him. Like there is the enough evidence the against Kavita and the chief minister also. Okay. Okay. Raju, who says the way the Aap or Arvind K. The way the case is likely to go. The way the case is likely to go. One minute. One minute. The way the case is likely to go. Viewers, people are asking, what will happen next, Abhishek? You see, now that it is a question of a sitting chief minister who has been arrested. I don't think the agencies can afford to take a. Hemant Sorin resigned. Hemant Sorin resigned. So in this case, he is a sitting chief minister technically who is arrested. Then the court, therefore, has to the agency has to prove that Kejriwal has violated the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. So obviously, they would have had to force a money trade. See, it's not the CBI which has arrested him. Are you sure here that the there agency? There is a CBI case, but the ED has chosen to arrest him, which, which means that it's an act of finality by the EDI. Yes. So they can't out take a risk of arresting a sitting chief minister and facing the embarrassment yes. in the court of being pulled up yes. by the court, yes. saying that you do not have reasons to arrest him. Yes. So would they take that risk? They would not. I mean, and so look at the kind of stance Supreme Court has taken over the last couple of weeks or not. They've been very tough, and uh, there is no indulgence whatsoever with whatever position the government takes. So obviously, agencies like the Enforcement Directorate and CBI, which are uh, under attack from the opposition, they would not take any chance whatsoever in so far as documents, evidence, and collation of data is concerned. Correct, correct. So I, I believe, uh, and all those people who are attacking these agencies uh, on the panel also would understand. Yeah. that when everything is happening under such a glare lens of media and court scrutiny the agencies would be very cautious and conscious of the fact that their work is under great scrutiny yeah. and today they shared their work with the honorable judge yeah. today the ed showed every document they have all proofs they have mail trail money trail everything to the to the to the high court judge and then let the judge, judge and the decide judge, right? whether you want to give protection or not So, so the, the judge did not give protection. But the judge asked, "Why are you not arresting him?" Yes. So, 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 so fundamentally, I think I'll take a break at this point. Viewers, uh, when I come back, I'm going to go live because Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. But my last information is on the ground that he has not been physically taken to his residence yet. Now, how do I look at it? Viewers, the liquor gate scam is under investigation. These are pictures here. Let's hear the ambient sound. Okay, these are. I'm not getting audio here in the studio. Okay, so 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 so, ladies and gentlemen, Ma Manish Sisodia, who is one of the accused in the Delhi Liquor Gate scam case, former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, he has also got multiple criminal charges slapped on him by the CBI. What I'm trying to say is, this is not just a PMLA case. This is not just a ED case. This is also a criminal case under investigation. Under IPC Section 20B, so there are serious charges out here. Uh, there is no doubt that there was a liquor scam. The only difficulty for the agencies will be that Arvind Kejriwal, so far as I know, has not had signing authority on any of these cases. So, you know, the people who've been signing off on the files have been Manish Sisodia and others. However, is there something else which can be established which corroborates his role? Viewers, Kejriwal arrested. I'm back in a few minutes.
भारत की स्टार्टअप क्रांति का नेतृत्व आज देश के छोटे शहरों के युवा कर रहे हैं कुछ लोग सोचते हैं कि हमारे स्टार्टअप सिर्फ टैक्स पेस तक ही सीमित है लेकिन मुझे खुशी है कि आज एग्रीकल्चर टेक्सटाइल मेडिसिन ट्रांसपोर्ट स्पेस इवन मैंने देखा योगा में स्टार्टअप शुरू हुए हैं आयुर्वेद में स्टार्टअप शुरू हुआ है और एक दो नहीं मैं थोड़ा इन, मैं रुचि लेता हूं तो देखता रहता हूं तीन सौ तीन सौ चार सौ चार सौ की संख्या में है और हर एक में एक से बढ़कर एक न कुछ कुछ नया है जी कभी तो मुझे भी सोचना पड़ता है कि मैं योगा कर रहा हूं वो ठीक है कि स्टार्टअप वाला कह रहा है वो होगा ठीक है साथियों स्पेस जैसे सेक्टर में जो कि हमने अभी कुछ ही समय पहले ओपन अप किया पहले तो सरकार में जैसा स्वभाव रहता है जंजीरें बांध देना और मेरी पूरी ताकत जंजीरें तोड़ने में लगी रहती है स्पेस में 50 से अधिक सेक्टर्स में भारत के स्टार्टअप बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं और ऑलरेडी हमारे स्टार्टअप स्पेस सटल लॉन्च करने लगे हैं जी इतने कम समय में साथियों भारत की युवा शक्ति का सामर्थ्य आज पूरी दुनिया देख रही है इस सामर्थ्य पर भरोसा करते हुए देश ने स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम निर्माण करने की तरफ अनेक कदम उठाए हैं शुरुआत में इस प्रयास पर भरोसा करने वाले बहुत कम थे जैसा मैंने प्रारंभ में कहा हमारे यहां पढ़ाई का मतलब नौकरी और नौकरी का मतलब सिर्फ सरकारी नौकरी यही सब था From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for the debate. Arnab Goswami on the debate at 10 powered by Reva University Quick Heal Secrite Policy Bazaar co-powered by 99acres.com Dark Editions by Tata Motors Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the debate and now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion the big story today is that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested now i followed arvind kejriwal's career extremely closely for the longest period of time in fact at some point of time people said that i was responsible for providing sort of media support for the aam aadmi party's predecessor which was india against corruption and i always held the view that we were not supporting an individual we were at that point of time supporting a cause He was I clearly remember at that time Arvind Kejriwal came into my studios and promised to me that he would never join politics. So Arvind Kejriwal is known to change his position and nobody knows that more than me. However, today he is in a vulnerable position. What is my reading of the situation? What I would like to tell you on the nation's sharpest opinion this evening, dear viewers, and if you look at the situation very very logically, is that it's absolutely an all out case now. either arvind kejriwal gets fully exonerated in which case it's going to be supremely embarrassing for the bjp or arvind kejriwal gets convicted in which case it is going to be the very end of his political career there is no halfway house in cases like this and therefore arvind kejriwal knows that the bjp knows that 
the central government knows that now if arvind kejriwal after being arrested gets the support of the courts if the courts say there is no case it'll be a body blow for the central government before the general election and i think knowing all of these variables there would have been some very cool political calculation done by the central government that if it is going in for the arrest of arvind kejriwal it better have enough information to back up and build a case against him now on the other side arvind kejriwal's entire political career has been built not on the freebies which he started giving when he was chief minister it has been built fundamentally on his initial positioning as an anti corruption crusader whether he was in reality one or not we can't argue about it some people say it's arguable but the fact is that when he started his political career he was seen to be one of the followers of anna hazare and it was the anti corruption campaign a lot viewers a lot has changed since the spring of 2011 and the spring of 2024 in these 13 years arvind kejriwal has become an absolutely hardened politician arvind kejriwal knows that it's all out arvind kejriwal has made fundamental mistakes he has used tax payers money to build himself an extremely expensive home and things like that which are not good for public perception but he's also been extremely careful on no document or government policy has he ever taken his own signature which means he has always tried to look at the long term political career that he has ahead of him and uh, try and wait what works for him what does not work for him and try and if required put the blame on his colleagues whether it be manish sisodia whether it be satender jain but made sure that none of that taint ever comes back to him so viewers also tonight another point to make is that the congress party is in a spot because this is the very congress that had said that the entire kejriwal government the entire kejriwal cabinet is immersed in corruption and when did they say that they said that in 2023 and as an icing on the cake the congress party said the chief minister should be arrested for corruption i would like to remind the viewers tonight that it will be very difficult for the congress party to do what it has to do after this because the congress party had said that because of liquor gate arvind kejriwal is drenched in corruption and arvind kejriwal should be arrested in liquor gate this was till a few months back 2023 arvind kejriwal pretended to be the beacon of the anti vvip racism he was against the lal batti but ladies and gentlemen this is the same kejriwal is doing in his own sauce viewers therefore some people would say it is time for the mask of morality or rather immorality of arvind kejriwal to come off it is time for the people to see his real face out here the very people who believed in his story of being the aam aadmi with having the strong values of the middle class will now define his future so viewers these are some very you know clear questions that emerge out of the situation tonight let me go first to shawan to get a sense of what's happening shawan it's been a long time it's been a long time how many people have turned up outside kejriwal's house and why is he not being taken out yet and what's what's going to happen now that he's been arrested well well in fact the arrest memo has already been served in fact the grounds of arrest has already been read out to the chief minister the reason for the delay that we are seeing right now is because of a law and order situation uh, that is basically developing outside the chief minister's residence i'll just quickly show you uh, these are the images of senior aam aadmi party leaders who are out on the road right now uh, you have atishi here uh, and the several of the other aam aadmi party leaders now this as you can see right now on this entire area has been completely blocked because a short while back you've had senior aam aadmi party leaders uh, blocking this road not allowing any movement to take place so you have had the rapid action force that has been brought in on both sides so on the other side it's on the other side as where the chief minister's residence is that area has been completely uh, barricaded we're expecting that to happen in a short while from now meanwhile there has been an additional deployment that has been brought in uh, that to at uh, the enforcement directorate's uh, office so in a short while from now it's expected that he'll be taken out that's where a medical examination will also take place but yes there is a law and order situation building outside the chief minister's residence Okay, Shawan is there. Abhishek. I don't know. You mentioned about the fact that Kejriwal cut his teeth into Other politics uh, with, with anti-VVIP movement, but look at what's happening really. Almost five to seven kilometer jams is what we are getting to understand. Shawan was just mentioning about the law and order situation. 
people are coming out blocking roads and obviously this is being mobilized and orchestrated yeah. so this is not following the letter and spirit of the law this is trying to hoodwink manipulate etc in terms of when you're facing the law also also the fact that you were mentioning about arvind kejriwal not signing any document now there is this section in ipc now the bns would have a different number uh, in the bharatiya nyaya uh, sanhita uh, section 33 read along with section 120b of the ipc which is conspiracy taken together with common intention and common objective then you don't need a signature because if you're part of a conspiracy there is common intent if something is proof for one it proves for everyone involved in the conspiracy right yeah, yeah, yeah. so i think so i think that that bit that bit of homework obviously the agencies would have done so the whole attempt here aishwarya has been to try and project arvind kejriwal as the ringmaster what they call loosely the kingpin kingpin the kingpin of the scam uh, the aam aadmi party says that you, you this is a positioning you've created but you don't have concrete evidence against kejriwal yet what's the inner thinking in government circles within the ed within the bjp that you're hearing no, it's very clear as far as bjp is concerned bjp says let the agencies decide and today the agencies because the allegation which the aam aadmi party levels on to the agency that they work on the behest of the government that is the bjp so today the agency gave all the documents all the proofs they had to the judge and allowed what do you mean and all the proof i mean no, they proof presented against, the complete against file kejriwal. against kejriwal against, against and kejriwal. not only kejriwal the whole mail trail the whole line of connection between samir mahindru a vijay nayar all the people who are involved in this liquor scam and then confidential information yes, was shared which, which with has, the high which, court yeah with with the delhi high court judge today okay. and then he was told sir there is only one request please don't share it with anyone else and now you decide Okay, should so, protection been given so, should so, protection so, be so, given so, so, and he said no don't forget there are approvers yeah. or not there are approvers yes, there, are, there are there are we are still not questioning the brs leader said no there is no connection the day after k kavita was was arrested or not for the first Things time arvind kejriwal was made a co conspirator with an amount of 100 crore being mentioned yeah. by ed true so uh, i'd like to go across to siddharth who's on the debate right now siddharth sharma of the aam aadmi party and pratush kant of the bjp okay. is with us uh, we have with us subrashta i see her on the screen uh, now a point being made here siddharth i can see i i appreciate the fact that you are smiling you have a smiling face tonight your other colleague was so angry almost exploded on the show akshay marathe but you are a man with more experience uh, however the 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 specific point tonight it's it's futile to ask you for your reaction because i know what your reaction will be the specific point we are coming to tonight with you siddharth is that uh, the court was given a file and pratyush please pay attention to this the the government was very keen to win the case to make sure that arvind kejriwal does not get any protection from arrest so the government went all out and through additional solicitor general sv raju it placed i am told a full confidential envelope and file before the honorable judge and said my lords here is the information on the basis of which we have to interrogate him take action against him him being arvind kejriwal but the court was also requested by the agency that this is highly confidential and very explosive information regarding mr kejriwal and i am sharing this with you in confidence and please do not stop us from arresting him if necessary the honorable high court saw the file siddharth and after seeing the file said you have to cooperate and i am not going to give you any protection from arrest so obviously there is some information which has been shared with the courts some very sensitive facts some astonishing details perhaps have been shared by the courts with the courts so siddharth this is going through legal process yeah or no it's not a fish net anymore answer? it's a very straightforward accurate legal process yes uh let me at the very outset tell you that uh, uh hundreds of uh, nearly 100 years ago we also saw that uh, when faced with the bradman the england cricket team led by 
Douglas Jardine resorted to body line bowling. Now it was for the people to judge whether that was right or wrong. That was that was one of the reasons why I was smiling. This is in politics as in sports. Uh, you you compete, you compete. Everything becomes fair in a war and politics. Anyway, I'll come to the very specific points, uh, the legal jargon that you were speaking to. And I think the uh, viewers of uh, Republic TV also have a right to know what happened today in the courts. I'll be very succinct. It will be very crisp, uh, hardly for 10 sentences within 10 sentences. I uh, Today, what happened was Arvind Kejriwal challenged ED notices to him. Uh, the court gave ED April 22nd to respond. Uh, if, if earlier, as you said, uh, the, the court was apprised of some sensitive information, the court would have said, ask Arvind Kejriwal to uh, get arrested forthwith or, or cooperate with the ED forthwith. It did not do so. It, uh, the court gave ED 22nd April to respond. The ED had earlier in its own press release has named Arvind Kejriwal as the top leader of Amadmi Party. But paradoxically, in court today, the ED said that it, were, it has neither named him, named him as an accused nor wants to question him as an Amadmi Party leader. Now, going further, the ED also said that it can arrest anybody anytime, but it had not done so till that time. Now, what these things make clear? It is now clear that there is no, no money trail found either with Arvind Kejriwal as a person or as an accused. Now, ED had two options today after that. Either respect law and convince the court on April 22nd that Arvind Kejriwal was some kind of beneficiary or the ED had an option to respect the BJP and arrest a constitutional figure who was neither an accused nor a beneficiary in ED's own admission. Now, this was a catch-22 situation for, for BJP. It had to arrest Arvind Kejriwal knowing fully well that it is doing so at its own peril to, and confessing to its panic that it does not have answer to Arvind Kejriwal's model of governance. It is as simple as that. Every Even a layman today knows that subjudice matters can't be acted upon. Still, BJP going ahead means uh, BJP is so spooked by Aam Aadmi Party that it can go from illegal to blatant acts to stop Arvind Kejriwal. It is now crystal clear that after getting ca caught pants down today, incidentally what had happened today was at 5 o'clock the election commission had also put on on its website the 8,250 crore illegal money that BJP had. So BJP had those illegal funds. That publication desperately BJP needed a headline change and I think that is what they are trying to do. Now, as far as Amadmi Party is concerned, Arvind Kejriwal is a model of governance. That model of governance uh, got acceptance not just in Delhi but Punjab also. I think so that you are one, one minute. Uh, 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 one minute. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I stop you right there, sir? Absolutely. See what You're happens sure. is You're that. Sure. What happens? What happens is that I I think that we must remain uh, keep to our focus. And my focus is on the legal case that has to be there or not there against Mr. Kejriwal. Before that, once let me go across to Deepak. Uh, Shavan is there, of course. Deepak, if you can hear me, what's your location? What's happening around you right now? Sarji. What are you hearing about when Mr. Kejriwal may be brought out? And why is it taking so much time? Right, Arnab, uh, I'm currently outside uh, the ED headquarters and behind me, if I could ask my uh, video journalist to pan and show you, these are Thank the you. barricades that have been no set up here. outside the ED There's headquarters. No Heavy security deployment has also been put in place at the ED office and, and beyond no these barricades, that's where the Arvind Kejriwal will be taken and uh, further questioning will be done. And uh, what we are also getting to understand here is that uh, four companies of paramilitary force as well as 100 police, Delhi police force have been deployed across uh, the national capital all the roads leading from the Delhi chief minister's residence till the ED office uh, the entire uh, route has been jam-packed and uh, the police deployment is also high in the roads leading up to the ED headquarters so what we are given to understand is that shortly Arvind Kejriwal will be brought to the ED headquarters where uh, RML uh, health officials will carry out his medical examination similar uh, uh, situation as to what happened with uh, Sanjay Singh and uh, Satyendra Jain as well. So similar process will be followed first. Yes. Arvind Kejriwal okay. will be brought 
to uh, the ED headquarters after which uh, a medical examination will happen. RML uh, health officials will also reach uh, the ED headquarters, four companies of paramilitary forces and also 100 police, uh, Delhi police have been deployed. And if I could show you the route leading up to uh, the enforcement directorate's office, uh, Delhi police, uh, you know, uh, convoys have been rallying up and down this road to, uh, to detect any sort of untoward incident and it is also expected that a large number of Ahmad Mi party leaders will also arrive at the enforcement directorate's uh, headquarters right here okay and in thank view you. of thank you Deepak. Uh, uh, thank you thank you Deepak thank you thank you Deepak Deepak the, the there is a there is another question here now <coughs> Pratyush the Amadmi party says Arvind Kejriwal will be chief minister from Tihar jail or from custody is this tenable is this possible can you have the chief minister of Delhi run his office from jail? I mean, there has to be some reasonableness to suggestions now. Pratyush, what's your take on that? Well, whatever Kejriwal does doesn't shock me. His thought process, Arnab, I really watched this man's career very closely. And I'm so surprised that today when he's going to jail, I was just remembering that his whole politics is based on lies. Sitting in Delhi, he's trying to run Punjab. Basically, he was a kingpin to corruption everywhere. Either you look at water, bijli, uh, uh, infrastructure projects. There was not a single place where he and his people didn't want to make money, including the Shish Mahal, which he made where he lives. Even there, the contractors were uh, given money. I, I mean, there's a whole saga of scams which this man was heading all through. And today when he goes to jail, and I was listening to the AAP uh, uh, spokesperson and I realized that he missed a point. The Aam Admi Party went to the lower court. When they saw the papers, they didn't listen to him. They went to high court. They went to double bench. They went to the apex court. The single judge said, there's a clear trail of 300. Please don't disturb my time. Go to the lower court and come to us again. Even tomorrow he'll get arrested, he'll go to Supreme Court. Supreme Court will never listen to them. They will say, please follow the due procedure which is laid down in this country. That you go to the right appropriate bench and then you come to us. Kejriwal was trying to ask the ED, you send me the questionnaire, do it on video chat. Tomorrow you'll ask the judges, your lordship, you are, please give judgment and tell me why you have given this judgment. Do we have this in our constitution? Is this man above constitution? He was trying to run away from all these summons because he knew that all the roads were leading to his house and eventually, finally, today the people of Delhi will be relieved that this corrupt man <coughs> is going to jail and it was high time he that, had to be fixed because that, Delhi has that, really suffered we also in have, 10 years. Pratyush, Pratyush, we have a developing story. We have a developing story. Uh, Ashwarya wants to come on it. The Delhi LG is to sub report, submit a report to, report the, MHA. to the MHA. Absolutely, there is a huge issue about whether you can be chief minister uh, from prison. No, the uh, law. What's the latest on that? Absolutely. At this point of time, keeping in mind that there is a special status of Delhi, keeping in mind the law in place, what we are being told by our sources that a chief minister cannot be in prison and run the government. This will hamper the process, and in that case, no, is there a technicality there? There is a jail manual. No, there is a jail manual. No, no, no. There is a jail manual or not? What is the jail manual? What is happening for the first time? The jail manual. What is the jail manual? So the jail manual clearly says. Camera two, please. Yeah, thank you. Jail manual clearly says that there is no provision under which a minister can work from inside the jail. A minister. Minister cannot. Or a chief minister, also a minister. Yeah, minister. So the the jail the jail manual in the, the, in case of Tehar jail, That's I'm being told, it. is very clear. That is Tehar yeah. jail specific or all jail? No, manual? no. But I'm getting to know from Tehar no, jail. It's a jail manual. The MHA has manual. already sources are clearly telling me MHA has gotten active. MHA is saying either he has to be replaced or removed. So it is up to the Aam Aadmi Party because right now there is a whole bravado of the Aam Aadmi Party saying Atishi comes out, Swara Bharadwaj comes out. You'll have the Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson here also comes out and say that no, he will run the government from no, he cannot. The yeah. law doesn't allow that. And in that case, if the Aam Aadmi Party sticks to it, 
then either he has to be suspended, a new chief minister has to be sworn in, or the process will follow tomorrow morning because till now the official, as Shavan was just saying, the arrest memo is and, being worked on. Case, the letter is still not out, so the case, AG will be uh, submitting Siddharth, the report. Siddharth, and why, while you are speaking, on, why, a, why, on a, just live movement there, the ED vehicles have just gone in inside the vehicles I'm and they will be bringing the out. There, there, if I can get the shot there or where the movement is coming in, and it's I'll live put, there. And live, I'll put that live. question, I'll go back to Shavan. Shavan, can you be there? Shavan, can you move your camera to where the action is happening? It'll be very useful because I think you're being too static today. Why don't you just move to where the action is happening? We'll follow you. Tell your camera person to follow you. Not put his camera on a tripod, please. Can we get out of the tripod shot, please? Can you be on a handheld and move to where the action is happening? Thank you so much. Can that also? Can that instruction also go to the camera persons, the video journalists, with Deepak on their frame? We would like both of you to move to where the action is because it's not. I know we are not going to get the news in if we have you static on the frames where you are. So, Shawan, can you start moving in, please? And while while you move in and while you establish your shot and while the establishing shot for you is where the action is happening, so you are not away from the place of action. Thank you very much. I would like to go right now to Siddharth. Siddharth, if there is a rule here, you can't defy the rule. Siddharth, Siddharth, you cannot defy the rule. If the rule says that, if the rule says, Siddharth, can you hear me? If yeah, the rule I can hear says you. that you cannot be chief minister from jail, you cannot create new rules for yourself. Yeah, two things. One is that uh, Delhi will not be, Delhi does not get administered through a Bihar jail manual. Point number two, uh, in this same India, the stalwart like Atal Bihari Vajpayee had uh, reminded the of a Raj Dharma to one Mr. Nare Narendra Modi in 2002. Was. But he did. He he chose not to accept it. So right now, Aam Aadmi Party is a political party. We have won with a people's mandate. We have asked the people of Delhi that Arvind Kejriwal gets arrested. What should be done? No, you cannot. And 95 percent of One the minute. people we are getting of some Delhi shots there. have overwhelmingly said that we have uh, elected Arvind Kejriwal to serve us. He can serve us from wherever he wants to. It's as simple as that. I need I need someone to be there. No, no. I, you I, need I, to understand Arvind Kejriwal is not over and above the law. You may feel so, but if no minister, no Arvind Kejriwal, no other minister, irrespective of party, Amadni Party, Congress, BJP, I can't SP, see. and the man who comes out to defend you today is none other but Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Rahul Gandhi is coming out uh, in the defense. Aishwarya, but you Aishwarya, need to understand Aishwarya, Aishwarya, that law does not you allow cannot, that. You, you law, cannot law superimpose, does not allow that. You cannot superimpose the Bihar jail manual the law, on the Aishwarya. constitution the of, the of India. Can you show me the constitution of India and say that a chief minister cannot shall be hmm. running the chief Hindi ministership Hindi. from X, Y or Z place? Can you show me the constitution of India saying so? If not, let's understand that the law according yes, to explain. you is not, I, Delhi I will explain. not be administered according to the Bihar jail manual. Of India, Delhi will be administered according to the constitution of India. Explain, and if the constitution of India says... I can explain, that sir. The under the constitution of, of India, there is a provision of delegated so legislation once government. parliament makes a law and delegates... Oh, okay, fine. See. Under the uh, Constitution of India, there is a provision of delegated legislation. The Jade Manual comes under what is called delegated legislation and hence it's integral to the Constitution of India. And so, the Chief Minister, if he's inside the jail, has to follow the jail manual. Uh, my my, my, by, my by essential that, question that, here right now to Siddharth will be, and Siddharth, I can understand the emotional tenor of what you're saying tonight. Can I have him on the shot and not be on the eight window, Aditi? Thank you. I am asking, I am asking something to Siddharth Aditi. Thank you so much. Just one minute, Siddharth. Just chill, okay? Yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Now, Siddharth, Siddharth, listen to me. <laughs> absolutely. It's a debate, Why was, is, is Manish Sisodia Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi today? He is in jail. He is in jail. For, is he a present Deputy Chief Minister or former Deputy Chief Minister? Well, if you go back to the timeline, you will see that uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Manish is... I can't hear him loud enough in the studio. Fall back, please. Yeah. Uh, I think if you go back to the timeline... Why Arnav, was he, you will why was he that removed that as Deputy uh, Chief Minister? Timeline, why was he removed by Arvind Kejriwal as Deputy Chief Minister after he went to jail? Two why things. was he if not kept to, if you as go, Deputy Chief if you Minister? Go back to the, and you, why, why did he not defend, operate you know? as Deputy Chief Minister from jail? I've heard your question. No, no, I'm asking I'm... you to answer my question. I've heard your question. Yeah, 
but as a defense you have to give me time to answer if you go back to the timeline and see mr manish sisodia was neither removed from the deputy chief ministership immediately after his arrest after a considerable period of time being the uh, deputy chief minister he himself said that he would have, he would resign and that is why that action was taken please under go back to the timeline and see immediately after his arrest he was not removed as the deputy chief minister after a considerable amount of time, period of time had uh, elapsed mr manish sisodia himself said that he would like to resign and that is why it was accepted it is as simple as that go back to the timeline and see na no? okay well, 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 just just just, just 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 one point sir uh, i would like to remind you that yeah. the manish sisodia was deputy chief minister of delhi he was arrested and the post of deputy chief minister has been vacant since the 1st march of last year however the post of chief minister cannot be kept vacant it is not vacant as of Because today arvind kejriwal continues to, to be chief, chief minister, minister. as of delhi now, may not have a deputy chief minister but delhi has a chief minister it is as no. simple as that you can't break the rules for that Where you can't the break the rules for that. It's as simple as that. You want the secretary? Do you want the? Do you want the IAS officers? Do you want the Delhi secretary to operate from the house? If it is not there, it was not there for Mr. Narendra Modi in 2002 when Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee reminded him of Raj Dharma. So what does not apply? What is good for the goose is good for the gander. How come it? How come you, there is some other rule for BJP and other rule for Amadmi Party? Point Mr. number Narendra two. Mr. Narendra Modi if was never so arrested. Are you out of your mind? Makes him a convict. Mr. Narendra Atal Modi was never arrested. There is no point number two. You are all doing that. Mr. Modi was never arrested. There is no comparison. He was not arrested. Arrested. When was Mr. Modi arrested? How can you draw a comparison to that? Why wasn't he asked by the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, to follow Raj Dharma? Was he arrested? What, What was, was he arrested? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it right that Mr. Narendra Modi was under? Was he arrested? What is that argument? Team? No, no, no. I, I mean, you have to. Time. You have to be reasonable at some point of time. You can't say anything and get away with it. You can. You can. You can read a nursery rhyme with a lot of force. It doesn't make your point right. Mr. Narendra Modi was under incarceration. Pratyush, not according to the according to the law. Emerging subject of debate. Can I go back to Shawan, please? Shawan is reporting live. Shawan, what's happening around you? Shawan. I go. I go straight to Shawan. I don't have to go to the eleven window. Shawan. Well, in fact, this is the last point from where we can report right now, uh, order, because uh, the rapid action force has been deployed here. Uh, all the barricading that has video. been done. In a short while from now, we expect it from the other yeah. gate. I'll just, I'll just try and explain this to you. Stay. Don't be It's static. Stay in one place. It's about fifteen minutes from where we are reporting right now. That's the chief minister's. <laughs> this is the chief minister's residence, which have been, as you can see right now, completely locked. That's the last point. The enforcement directed team is right inside. He will be taken out from this is the gate. Right now, there are a number of Ahmadi Party workers who have all been gathered here. And what you see right now on my right hand side is the rapid action. that it been brought in because there is a bit of a law and order situation that developed a short while back with the roads on the other side from where i was reporting a short while back that was completely blocked that's the reason why there has been a considerable delay right now in terms of the arrest formalities that have been that has already been completed i have given to understand in a short while from now uh, the enforcement directed uh, headquarters where the security has also been brought in the arrangements have already been done Okay, Shawan. Uh, I think we are getting a lot of video glitches on that. Uh, Pratyush, uh, the AAP is very, very adamant that Arvind Kejriwal will remain Chief Minister and operate as Chief Minister from Tihar Jail or wherever he is, right? And they they would Adna, like to make a political issue of it. Adna, they have all been trained by Arvind Kejriwal. Never believe a word of what they say. they will say something in the morning by afternoon they will have a press conference and totally deny and by night they will change the whole story there is no element of truth in whatever they say the rule of the law of the country will prevail nobody can run this city uh, of delhi from jail this man has to resign this man will not get bail because the law is so clear the evidence is there look at all those excise scam uh, offenders they have been in jail for ages 
because the proof is so strong the evidence is except, so strong except, uh, so arvind kejri arvind kejri who gave I, you I electoral never, bond money and you turned him disturbed into disturbed an approver and he is now got free I, I isn't it true isn't it true for the bjp person that you arrested mr ardha you were you were talking absolutely nonsense but still i had the patience to hear you so you please have patience to hear okay just have patience you just have patience I, I i never i never interfered in what you were saying you were talking absolutely nonsense all through louder aditi louder sadar okay aditi okay it is absolute anab i was trying to make a point here which this man is trying to disturb me because he has no other story to tell here the question is the evidence is so strong against him so strong against kejriwal you see it took time for him it took time for him to get arrested because it took time for him mark man who was not signing who is handling audio who is not signing it Louder. This governance deficit. It is as simple as that. The is There is absolutely no recovery of money here. Neither one crore, neither ten crore, neither hundred crore. There is not a single paisa recovery. Still, you are arresting people. You are arresting constitutional authorities. How come? That's on the basis of a person becoming an approver, and that approver too having. Abhishek, during the show, do not be on your phone. Has gone to jail for a very long time. Put your phone down. And this is this is only one case. The the innumerable scams where investigations are going on. Eventually, all of them are going to mature. And this man, for all the corruption he has done in jail, and he is not running away from. Lal Krishna Jadwani was arrested. They were put put behind the bars. They were under the maintenance of Internal Security Act for nearly 17 months in jail. They did that. Stop it! Uh, is BJP saying that Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee and um, uh, Mr. Lal Krishna Jadwani were national threats? No, they were national heroes. We are also saying national heroes. So what you do with there? There is a weapon. How do you use that weapon? You have a knife. I think now it is a polarized fight between BJP's ideology and. Uh, uh, can I get the guest in the screen on the right? Ah, uh, Siddharth, Siddharth, one minute. Siddharth, one minute. Siddharth, one minute. Siddharth, I am not hearing either in the studio now. Whether they want one, one minute, one minute. Siddharth, Siddharth, one minute, one minute. Siddharth, 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 one minute. Siddharth, calm down, Siddharth, calm down, Siddharth, Siddharth, calm down. Siddharth, listen to me. I'm finished. Today. you are fully aware that the case is turning and sanjay singh has been sanjay singh is not running the government in delhi nikhil i cannot hear you in the studio at all kahan kahan se la rahe hain i don't know what you're saying because i can't hear you kahan kahan se la rahe hain kaise laenge pradhan mantri 400 par he should calm down uh sanjay singh anything. is not running the government in delhi Manish Sisodia is not running the government in Delhi. Satyendra Jain is not running the government in Delhi. If these three individuals are not running the government in Delhi because they are from jail, Siddharth, then how can Arvind Kejriwal run as Chief Minister from jail? Arvind Kejriwal has denied any of these individuals. Siddharth, he, Arvind Kejriwal has said that once you go to jail, you cannot be in the cabinet. Then how does that same rule not apply to him? This is a rule that he brought in. he quickly removed his Allocated. existing ministers and brought in atishi why can't atishi be chief minister of delhi i think while he is in jail when he comes out if he is cleared then he can take over again or not what i have answered earlier to your question about the timeline of manish sisodia i think rinkiya papa should be the chief minister i will not go go into repeating uh, repeating it again suffice to say that delhi has a governance model arvind kejriwal as of now is the chief minister of delhi where does the constitution stop ask mr kejriwal to run delhi from x y or z place anybody in the bjp can show it 
BJP cannot show it. So let, let, let us agree. To, let us stop it at that. Now, as far as public image is concerned, as far as po politics is concerned, Aam Aadmi Party and the people of Delhi have overwhelmingly said that they have voted for Arvind Kejriwal to serve, serve them, and they don't really care from where he serves as long as he serves them. And that is what Aam Aadmi Party is doing. And that is what has spooked BJP to this extent today, that with today itself, I'll, at the cost of repetition, I'll say, Ar Arnab, today itself in the court, the, the ED said that Arvind Kejriwal is neither an accused as a person, nor does it have any, nor, nor is it asking Arvind Kejriwal. Who has said all this? Him, Who has said that he's not an accused? ED, what are you talking about? Any accused or Aam Aadmi Party's leader. By evening, what no change within two hours? The only thing that changed is he, he, he has been. You you are not arrested. You don't get bail like this. What are you saying? His lawyer was pleading to the lordship today that lordship please ensure that he is not arrested. Why did the lordship give him any relief? Because the evidence was so clear about him. You you are saying something which has no makes no sense. It is it is becoming. You say something which is sensible that this debate can be taken. Further, you are you are trying to create stories which is not true at all. You cannot challenge the Indian democracy like this. Douglas Jardine and Harold oh, Larwood. Weren't your lawyers today begging that please save him from being arrested? What did the Lordship say? The Lordship clearly said. You, what are you saying? I'm to see the documents. BJP you please go and face the ED. You can change the story point, as you want to. The people of India today, in the next two months, will vote for you. Nobody, nobody can sit on a national channel. That's what is very low. What if Congress has joined the protest on ground? Okay. Okay. You have Indra Singh Lovely. Now, 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 my question to Nikhil and Nikhil and Subrashtra is Nikhil, Nikhil, Nikhil and Subrashtra on the screen, please. And can I have the audio in the studio? Nikhil, the Congress party had said that Arvind Kejriwal should be arrested because he's the mastermind of corruption in the liquor gate scam. Today, the government has done what the Congress wanted. This was the very statement of the Congress. That the Amadmi Party is at the center of Liquor Gate and Arvind Kejriwal is the mastermind. Anab, and Arvind you. Kejriwal should therefore be arrested. Anab, the audio is not clear, I can't hear you. Arnab, may I may I have I... just been informed that the Congress Arnab, I... that the Congress Party may is joining the protest. So I'm reminding everyone, yes, Subrashtra coming to you. I am reminding everyone that it is the Congress party which had said that Arvind Kejriwal should be arrested because of Liquor Gate. So please keep that in mind when the Congress party joins the protests along with the Amadmi party tonight. Yes, Subrashtra. Uh, Arnab, there are two, three things which are very clear. Point number one, today Arvind Kejriwal has lost any kind of moral high ground that he was in. He should take moral responsibility and he should resign. I think I don't want to get into legalities right now, but this is what he should do. Point number two, this country has had a, you know, that there, there have been precedents in the past. We have seen Yadurappa ji, Uma Bharati ji, Lalu Yadav ji, Jay Lalita ji all resign. They never said, I, mean, I, I didn't hear this narrative of there is emergency in the country, that there is politics happening all around. People when they were accused, when a lot of evidences came to the forefront, they fought the entire case. They did continue in politics. Nobody is <laughs> asking Arvind Kejriwal to resign from politics. But the constitutional post that he has, there is a sanctity attached to the post. And for the different kind of politics that he was trying to endorse, I think he should just take moral responsibility and resign. Also, you know, uh, there are a lot of these big talks being made by Amadmi Party leaders. Let us understand that if Arvind Kejriwal ke man mein, I am talking especially to, to, about the India Alliance leaders. If these guys are fighting for the constitution and fighting for the rule of law and fighting for different the sanctity of different institutions, unko in sabhi ke samne sar jhukana chahiye. Unki tuch aur boni ke aage ye bahut badi hai. भरोसा रखें जनता पे भरोसा रखें अपने कर्मों पर भरोसा रखें रिजाइन करें आगे सर झुकाएं सारे विपक्षी नेता 
तो विपक्षी राजा इतने कमजोर कैसे पड़ गए राजा की छप्पन इंच की छाती कहा गई सुब्राश आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस वट आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट पोलिटिकल लीडर्स इन कंट्री है I'm talking about the fact that when you are giving राजा की इसी शक्तियों से क्यों लड़ने की बातें हो रही हैं? You look at the principal opposition party of the country, the Congress party, all its bank accounts have been frozen. JMM Chief Minister has been put behind bars. Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi has been behind bars. Now the Chief Minister of Delhi is behind bars. None of these people have been convicted. You are talking about Lalu Prasad ji. Lalu Prasad ji resigned from the post when he was convicted by a court by a judicial process, not by a sham criminal court of ED. What you are doing right now is put. Putting the entire opposition of the country behind the bars of trumped up fake charges without any judicial process, you are stifling democracy in the country. The world is looking at us, and you've made this country into a mockery. For the past 74 years, India has been a democratic republic, despite being a poor country with a low literacy level. When we started out, when the British left, India maintained, continued to be a democracy through successive parties and governments. But your dear Supreme Leader. I'm sorry to break this news to you. India's democracy does not seek validation from Arvind. He was the chief minister. Let it sink in your head. If Arvind Kejriwal has committed has committed grave financial errors, he will have to go to jail without any conviction by a court of law. What are we talking about? What mockery is this? We are talking about the sanctity of constitutional institutions in this country. We are talking about a fact that there is a born man in Delhi who is being arrested by the police today. Why does ED not arrest such a person? Prime Minister Narendra Modi, when he was a minister of Gujarat, made scathing allegations against such a person. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he was being arrested by the police today. He does not have the moral guts to stand up and say that he Uh, before I get Siddharth back, Hakim Rizwan Elahi is a, a, a leans towards the up. Hakim, Hakim, if one minute, can I get Hakim in, please? Thank you. Replace on the right, Hakim. Nikhil, thanks very much. Hakim, if Kejriwal is made an accused formally, then should he quit? At least, if he's formally made an accused, like Sanjay Singh was formally made an accused two days back. If he's formally made an accused in Liquor Gate, which seems likely. Then should he quit? <coughs> I can't hear him in the studio. Please, can you unmute yourself, please? Okay, I don't think I can hear Hakim there. The question that emerges right now: Can I go to Shawan, please? If I can go live to the shots, full frame, ladies and gentlemen, I want to see what exactly is going on at the spot right now because it's been a very, very long time. We are waiting for any information on what's happening. I would like to stay with those pictures. Yes, Aditi, thank you very much. I'd like to stay with the pictures. And viewers, I'll give you a commentary over what's going on. Uh, I'm getting the freeze frame pictures. I'm sure there are lots of feeds there right now. I'm sure we have Shawan live on Deepak's camera, and I hope that that camera can be made to be live. Deepthi, if it's not a problem, uh, Shawan, can you hear me? Can I take Shawan's audio because he can completely hear me? Not get the pixelated frame on the screen, but I would like the non-pixelated video over Shawan's video. Aditi, can you please do that? Thank you so much, Shawan. What's happening, please? What's happening right now, please? Well, in fact, all the procedures have been completed over the delays because of the long duration. I can't hear you. By the time we correct the audio order of the Aam Aadmi Party and Congress have joined forces, the Congress leaders, you have Sandeep Dixit, you have Arvinder Singh Lovely, you have the complete Congress Party Delhi unit coming out in support of the Aam Aadmi Party. But the irony is that the Punjab unit of the Congress, that is the Vice President of the Congress Pradesh Committee of Punjab has come out 
and welcomed the move of arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. So it's a clear divide uh, in the Congress party in Delhi. They come out and support and they are protesting right on the streets with the supporters of the Aam Aadmi Party. While in Punjab, the same Congress party is welcoming the move of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Both are on camera, on record statements, so a clear division, no clarity, but that's the story of the Congress party. So, but what is these are live what issues. What is intriguing me right now is why oh, no. they have not been able to bring Arvind Kejriwal out of the house. Because I, the process I would, is still on. I would, be, I would be very, very keen to know what exactly is going on. The process doesn't happen so no, far. it took six hours so or Obviously, no. With, no, 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 it, with him and Soren, no, no, with it, Soren, it, it took it six take, hours. But this is clearly a situation here where the ED is facing some discomfort inside. And Arvind Kejriwal knows that he can stretch this. So obviously, politically, the game plan here is to get the maximum number of people outside the residence and make it difficult, make it, yeah. uh, make it as difficult as possible yeah. and make a big political spectacle out of it, Abhishek. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here because it's extraordinary. Drama. If he has been arrested yeah. at around 9 o'clock, sharp 9 o'clock, on top of 9, then this is taking extremely long. It's been two hours and the entire force of the ED has been unable to take Kejriwal out. Now, I'm getting to hear that in that entire neighborhood, there are long, jam long jams and uh, there is mobilization happening. These are people who are not there just because they happen to be there, but they have been brought in. And so, obviously, uh, the, as Shavas wa Shavan was also mentioning, that there was briefly a law and order situation also. So, uh, so every attempt is being made to obviously intimidate the agencies into conduct conducting themselves in a certain fashion. Remember, just a couple of hours back before the news broke of uh, arrest of uh, Arvind Kejriwal, the agency had to requisition security from uh, Delhi police for their headquarters. From, from CRPF or PALA, all the complete para, paramilitary forces have been called in and that was someone was just showing us. You have Atishi coming there, you have Saurabh Bharadwaj coming there, you have the complete, you have at least 30 MLAs of the Amadni party and then calling their supporters. Rakhi Birla has been detained, so all of this has been deliberately done. And those are the live visuals coming in of CRPF and RAF which has been deployed right outside. But those those lanes of civil lines of Delhi, that is old Delhi. So roads are not that broad. So Delhi police is trying to create that space so that the ED vehicles can move out. They have barricaded, they have put in jammers and that's why we are having difficulty in getting Shavan's frame which we will so be may getting within the next 30 seconds. Yes, so maybe the delay is assured uh, just because the agencies want to be doubly sure that there is no law and order situation when the chief minister of Delhi is brought no, out. No, but I that think, is what I the think, think, is deliberately think, trying to do. I think the delay is that you are dealing with the chief minister, he knows procedural issues, he will have his people around him. He can make uh, several reasons to delay it. I know he can't, he knows he can't delay it indefinitely, but he can delay it by another couple of hours. He, be, he knows that because people are a watching. Parallel movement and because the legal team is at the Supreme Court Registrar's He is going office. to buy time till he can get a midnight hearing. Once they know that midnight hearing is happening or not happening, and on that itself, we have got very differing uh, feedback. Initially, we were told there will be a midnight hearing. But then after then that, know. I thought there was a statement, I'm not sure, yes. by, the, by Abhishek Manu Singhvi who came and said, no, we are not pushing for a midnight hearing at all. And, we then, do there not want to push. and then there was another yeah. turn and the AAP said again that, no, no, we want a midnight they're, they're hearing. Going to us we don't know. And I, I personally do not expect the Supreme Court to be that overindulgent in this case. Okay, Shaman is just giving but, some information or not yes, that he's saying that the delay is happening because the arrest memo has to be signed by Arvind Kejriwal, which he has not signed. So he's once again not cooperating. So this is precisely so what I was Arvind, saying that, yes. that, that it's yes. Arvind Kejriwal who's blocking it. Yes. And who's refusing to cooperate, yes. knowing fully well that there's a situation that is developing outside. Now, if in a situation he knows that he's foul of the law, but he's not foul of politics. So it's a smart game by Arvind Kejriwal, where he's saying, I don't care, I'm going to be arrested anyway. I'm going to make this some kind of arrest satyagraha out here okay. and I'm going to stand there and I'm going to make it extremely difficult mm -hmm. and I hope that at the same time while I'm doing that thousands of people will gather outside my house and this is a matter which is going to get me a lot of publicity in a short or limited run. He knows that he has this time period between now and when he's in custody because once he's in custody everything changes. It is the short window that he has now which he's going to capitalize the most out of and that is exactly what we are seeing here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very interesting play. It's very interesting developments, very close developments, very fast developments which are happening here. We are told right now, and that's the breaking news on the grid, that Arvind Kejriwal is refusing to sign the arrest memo. But there must be a way beyond that. I, I don't know if Shawan is on with us, but there has to be a way beyond that, Shawan, that even if someone does not sign an arrest memo, that way nobody would ever be arrested. If every person who was an accused or someone who was going to be picked up knew that by not signing the arrest memo, a person would, uh, would avoid being arrested, then it would be a very convenient way of ever 
nobody ever being arrested so i don't think this is going to work uh so let me see if i have with me uh uh hakim rizwan yet shawan is back i think we have a better frame of him shawan what's going on you gave an update shawan some time back we heard that update we just carried it that kejriwal is not signing the arrest memo now that you are in and we are getting your frame tell us everything that we missed last 20 minutes arrest memo has already been served but he has to sign that there has been a considerable delay the last update i got that they have got the signature of the chief minister it's pretty much a delay tactic employed by himant sorel in fact there was almost 3 hours of delay i have given his mic on he was given the arrest memo around 9:00 evening can i get his mic on switched on camera to please hold on and see if i can get the mic connected himant or sorel Can you get your mic connected? I'm getting your ambience audio, but your mic audio is not coming, Shawan. Your mic audio is not coming, so you need to get your mic connected. You need to tell your cameraman to check his connection with your mic, or maybe you're holding the wrong mic. Thank you. Shawan, trying to fix his mic. Shawan. Ambience jara. Yes, I can hear you now. Go on, Shawan. It's better now. Go on, go on, go on. We can get out of the seven window for a bit, Aditi, and get Shawan purely, back on the frame. Thank purely, you. Now, just just take a look at it. Now, right now, right now, this is exactly what's happening. You have Ahmadi Party workers just outside his residence. They have blocked the entire road, so there is certainly a, a law and order situation that's developing. At the same time. Arvind Kejriwal hasn't signed the arrest memo that's the reason other reason why there has been a delay but shot. remember that's purely a tactic that is employed by everyone in fact even Hemant Soren did the same thing uh or that's the reason why now the fact of the matter is that they will in a short while from now if at all Arvind Kejriwal does not he also knows that that goes against him because this is something that will be highlighted when he is actually produced before the court and that can actually once again go against arvind kejriwal show, showing that he hasn't been cooperating with the agency to so agency right now uh, perhaps you know being a little lenient but at the same time this works in favor of the agency if at all this continues because remember right now as we speak there is a clear law and order situation as you can see the rapid action force has already been brought in there is an altercation that's uh, going on between the aam aadmi party workers and the delhi police as well as the rapid action force this entire area has been completely blocked so if you see on on the right hand side on my right hand side straight down is arvind kejriwal's residence that area has been completely blocked uh, barricaded at least two layers of barricading has already been done and the reason why the reason why there is a, another company that has now been brought in from the other side so there are two gates here or no there are two gates gate number 1 that you see right now on my screen i'll just ask my camera person to move a little ahead a little fast to actually quickly show you as the movement basically takes place that's the gate number 1 on the other side is gate number 2 from the from where the other vehicles are also moving in so they're trying to clear this off look at on my right hand side where the area was completely blocked so there is the situation still remains a little volatile right now in terms of the law and order situation hence the delay i'm seeing that situation there i don't think this is going to work well for mr kejriwal at all i think shaban you are right stay there i need your frame i need your shot there completely you are on camera non stop shaban we have you full frame on the screen so you are moving towards there i mean can we speak to any of these people who are trying to put out these protests because i i think that what we are hearing here is that uh, the supreme court registry has not taken a decision yes. yet on this matter they just told them and to hold on the, yeah so till the supreme court registry does not the take process. a final decision on this matter then they they will try and hold this off so there are two parallel things happening a legal process that's going on where the app is trying to go to the supreme court i don't know if their registry so will have so we have the petition we have the petition we have the diary number So the diary number is one three five nine eight slash two zero two four. It has been filed at eight fifty seven. The case it is still showing pending. 
So we have that. We have the case file number. It is Can petition. Can we get up on this, yeah, please? Yeah. Can, can our input team please rhythm collect there. Rhythm Anand Bhardwaj? We get a legal view a legal on, letter, yeah. on that as well. Yeah. So when yeah. we have that, we will try and connect her. We'll get her on a Zoom link. But there's this huge protest going on outside the house. And I think the courts will take a very dim view of this because this is obstructionist. You are stopping the investigating agency from continuing with a due legal process. The gentleman has been arrested. The roads have been blocked. Uh, absolute non-cooperation going on inside. So while they are buying time, and this may look like a very worthwhile tactic, I think it's going to be a blowback in the short to medium term. Uh, what do you think? Subhrashta, you're watching this uh, live drama going on right now. Uh, what do you think is the game plan? What is, what is on Kejriwal's mind as he faces this moment? Uh, I, I think, Arnav, that Kejriwal will try to make as many political benefits as he, he will try to reap as many political benefits he can out of this uh, this entire uh, drama which is uh, which is fair because if 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 the Amani party politicians keep saying that this is all political then he uh, you know the rest is political then might as well uh, uh, you know make a spectacle out of it i i don't think anybody would mind that however the larger question in front of all of us is this people like us who genuinely believed in the power of revolution, who genuinely believed that there is an Aam Admi getting to the chief ministerial position and trying to bring in some changes, what is going to happen to, to this generation? I don't think India, for the next 30-40 years, can wake up to any kind of political revolution anymore now. This is a really, this is a real sad day for, uh, for any kind of political hope in this country. This is what I have to say on this entire fiasco. So, you know, viewers, I look at this right now and the kind of company that Arvind Kejriwal now is in, Abhishek, Lalu Prasad Yadav. Lalu Prasad Yadav was also arrested uh, 1997 for the Fodder scam case. And some yeah. people thought, oh, there's going to be an overwhelming amount of political support for him. But Lalu Prasad Yadav went to jail uh, for the first time for 135 days. Then again, 1998, he went in for 73 days. Then in 2000, he went in uh, for the disproportionate assets case. And after that, the party's support base actually fell. Yeah. The RJD faced a massive fall, got 22 seats with just 18% vote share in 2010. And the question is whether the Aam Admi Party, Kejriwal is of course younger, but he's, uh, Lalu was approximately Kejriwal's age uh, 25 years back. Kejriwal would be about 56, 57. So, you know, it's, 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 it's not impossible that the BJP strategy is that if you get the main man in jail, then it's very difficult to keep a party together outside. Well, uh, also, also the fact that there is no structure within the Aam Admi within Party. The pub, yeah. Just one man show. It's one man, yeah. So obviously, when there are no internal institutions or structures, it collapses if the one man who's running the show goes. So it's not going to be easy for the Aam Admi Party uh, if, the, if, if, if uh, as the jail manual says, that Kejriwal can't run the government from the, inside the jail, then obviously it, the onus comes to the next person available and in the absence of structures it becomes a free for all so yes. uh, it's not going to be uh, and, and remember it's not like in the case of lalu prasad yadav there was a family holding the fort now the other the other point is if legally nikhil tomorrow if legally this matter goes this way that the supreme court uh, that the courts uh, deny bail to arvind kejriwal or no, at this point of time, we have court, no special bench of the Supreme Court being set up tonight to urgently have the, the Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal's petition challenging oh, his arrest. So, no so, special bench of the Supreme Court, so more, no midnight hearing. That's what I'm we have been told. I'm sure right that now. Abhishek Manu Singhvi would have known that. This is only buying time. Let me tell you, the Arvind Kejriwal knows that under 99% of the time, he will not get a special hearing. This is all buying time. What is happening outside is the real story. They want a lot of people outside. So that we know, they know that when Kejriwal is taken out after 12 o'clock, there will be a large number of people. They will make it a moment for opposition unity, etc., etc. But Nikhil, if Kejriwal is denied bail, I'm sure these lawyers are going to rush for bail. If he's denied bail once, twice, thrice, then the going gets tough, doesn't it? 
Arnab, then the BJP succeeds in its idea of creating a constitutional crisis in Delhi that you have an elected chief minister who's being kept in custody behind jail without any conviction by a court of law. This is classic case of being afraid of the opposition. That is what Narendra no, Modi is I, doing sorry, right but, now. He's uh, been but, going but, around. Uh, the Supreme Court, the country, the Supreme court has denied bail to Manish Sisodia. The Supreme Court has denied. The courts have denied. The police has just arrived. I'm getting visuals there. Shaman, the if I can get his audio. Ladies and gentlemen, being moved, out, being moved out. Moved he's out, being moved out. out. He's, no, no, no. Is, no, I think vehicles, it's going Vehicles in. are moving in. Vehicles the are vehicles moving are moving in, in right now. Are these moved in. out? Where the presumption this looks like moving out. out. This, this looks out. like one minute. Can I have Nikhil off for a minute and get Shaman on air? A huge car kit just went out. Was that Arvind Kejriwal being taken out? Yes, I'm not sure. These are shots of him being taken out. Can I please have? I am told Arvind Kejriwal has been taken out. Kejriwal's been taken Kejriwal out. Kejriwal has been taken, taken out, out from his yes, residence. Those, I'm not getting the rules. updates. Can I go full frame with those shots? Aditi, yes, just as yes, I yes, said, yes, 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 yes. we can spare yeah. Nikhil for a minute. Thank you very much. Okay, this is this is an ANI feed. This is uh, this is not the Shavan's feed from the ground. So this is full possibly uh, 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 from a different taken out, taken area. Out, taken out, taken out. Uh, taken out we are heard out, he's been out, taken, taken out. out. So there he's are two shots. Shavan, we are being told he's been taken out from another side. We are Shawan, we have just been told he's been taken out from another side. We're getting the carcade shots. What are you getting as information, Shawan? We are told that from another location, Arvind Kejriwal has been taken out. He's en route to the ED office. What are you hearing, Shawan? Shawan, what are you hearing? Shawan, what are well, you fact, hearing? Sir, he's just been taken out. He, he's been taken out from the other Shawan. gate. He he's been taken baby. out from the other gate. We'll just try and move to this side because there's a possibility, he's, there's a possibility that they would be taking this route. Because if you see, uh, there has been security that has been brought in this side to... I'll just quickly probably step on this side and see if I can get a closer look of that car kit that is basically moving in right now. It's expected. It's expected that it will be coming out in a short while. So we are sh showing you from the other gate. That's the other gate uh, on a, from where the movement has actually taken place. Uh, this area has now been cleared a short while back. This was completely blocked. He's going to straight away taken to the enforcement directorate's headquarters where a medical team from RML hospital has already been brought in. So a medical examination uh, takes place immediately after he is uh, brought to the Do enforcement directorate's uh, yeah, yeah. headquarters okay. in the national capital and, and thereafter yes and, and yes, we Jatun. do have a camera there deepak deepak in fact deepak is there uh, on up at outside uh, the enforcement directorate's uh, office where he will be taken it's roughly about 30 30 to 35 minutes or little than that right there's no traffic he's going to be straight away taken to the where the examination takes place and immediately after the medical examination gets over uh, perhaps there is a possibility that the questioning will actually continue because uh, what is essentially going to happen is that till the time he is produced before the Rouse Avenue court we well, let's just see I believe there's some movement this side let's just move towards yeah we're just moving towards uh, the other gate on up right now to see if we can just get a quick glimpse of that uh, cavalcade that's uh, moved out right now it appears uh, sir, that they've taken another that another while, Meanwhile, at the other stakeout, Shavan, at the other stakeout, I have Deepak with me at the ED office. Shavan, the media is waiting there uh, at the ED office. Any inkling you got because, Deepak, we got information about six minutes back that there was movement. I don't know. Uh, from one of the gates, there is news that a uh, uh, 10, uh, 11, 10 to 11 uh, uh, vehicle carcade has moved out of Kejriwal's residence uh, with a lot of sirens and is moving towards the ED office. Any information you have there? Uh, right, Arnab. Uh, right now, the only thing that we can see right now, and I could ask my uh, video journalist to show, is that barricades have been set up at the entrance of the road that, uh, that leads uh, to the enforcement directorate's headquarters and the police security <laughs> is uh, being ranked up with uh, ramped up with each uh, passing minute and the patrol vehicles are also on site here uh, if i could ask my video journalist to pan and show you that these are the patrol vehicles these are delhi police uh, patrol vehicles that are busy clearing the streets right here uh, in the road that uh, where uh, the ed headquarters is situated and it's a 20 uh, 20 minute yes, route from the delhi chief minister's residence till uh, the ed headquarters and all along uh, arna what we witnessed is 
heavy deployment of police cover every uh, nook and corner of the roads of the route leading up to the enforcement directorate's headquarters is completely ramped up with uh, the delhi police uh, taking charge and also uh, diverting traffic from uh, the route to ensure that kejriwal's movement is facilitated without ease and without any delay and right now what we are given to understand is that as soon as uh, arvind kejriwal arrives here he will be taken inside uh, the uh, ed headquarters have, where a medical team from the rml hospital yeah. has already reached and they will be conducting the medical test of uh, the delhi chief minister after which the questioning is likely to continue and if i could uh, tell you what's happening here the barricades have uh, been set up here the police uh, deployment is also increasing with each passing minute and what we have given to understand Friday, is that uh, the yeah, so security so cover will yeah, only what increase what here because uh, aam aadmi party the leaders the are also expected to come tomorrow. here and yeah, yeah, round tomorrow. two of a blockade will also uh, be witnessed here because okay. uh, round one was at the delhi chief minister's residence and round two will be at the ed headquarters where the aam aadmi party leaders will have their last ditch effort yes. to stop the enforcement directorate from taking arvind kejriwal inside the ed headquarters for further questioning and tomorrow according to sources delhi chief minister if everything works out at the, the ed deepak, office deepak, deepak one minute hold on i am getting chief rhythm in right now rhythm but right now yeah deepak one minute please i just I, want to viewers what you are seeing on the left hand uh, side are the visuals of arvind kejriwal being taken out that's coming in right yes, now yes uh, rhythm deepak court is not going to have any urgent midnight hearing tonight even though he's it's he's challenging his arrest by the enforcement directorate in the delhi liquor policy case the hearing is going to only happen on friday uh, i also tried to have a word with his lawyers today that is dr abhishek manu singh we steam that's going to be leading this charge in the supreme court tomorrow uh, they have tried to approach the registrar in fact we at republic tv have also tried to speak to the registrar and a few minutes ago when we tried to speak to him he said that till now nothing had come forward before him now the news that's coming in is that supreme court is not going to be giving any hearing in this case today it's only going to be happening tomorrow like all of us have been discussing this is a course with the enforcement directorate case but as of now no urgent midnight hearing as was being speculated by arvind kejriwal's team in the top court of the country and they've been trying to seek an urgent hearing they even tried to apparently go to the registrar's house uh, but the registrar has not stated anything it is at the discretion of the chief justice of india if any midnight hearing is given and it's not going to happen tonight only tomorrow as per protocol this case is going to be heard in the supreme court so <laughs> let's also update our viewers on why there is no occasion for a midnight hearing in this case uh, uh, we remember it was even earlier when mani sisodia had been arrested last year around this time uh, but he's been uh, denied bail in these cases now the uh, matter is how soon once he approaches the supreme court will the supreme court intervene in such cases even though a big hue and cry is being made by the aam aadmi party legally speaking there are very rare chances that the supreme court will interfere in the powers of the enforcement directorate this is also after the supreme court's judgment that has come justice khanvilkar the former supreme court judge had given a judgment in the enforcement uh, on, on the powers of the prevention of money laundering act and the powers of the ed which were making it the dictat very clear when it comes to arrest when it comes to some the ed has power or not that power cannot be taken away just because a hue and cry is being made by the aam aadmi party and i i, I also uh, want to one minute hold your breath and i want to ask you a question uh i want to ask you a question here uh yes okay we have a bite of saurabh bhardwaj we'll play that and then i'm coming back to, yeah seedhi mancha ed ki mukhyamantri ji ko arrest karne ki hi thi कोई पूछताछ नहीं थी कोई प्रश्न नहीं था सब कोर्ट के अंदर नाटक किया जा रहा था मुख्यमंत्री जी के घर की पूरी तलाशी इस छापे में ली गई सिर्फ सत्तर हजार रुपये नकद मिले जो कि ईडी वापस लौटा के चली गई मुख्यमंत्री जी का मोबाइल लिया गया और मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करके ले गए हैं पूरे छापे में कोई सबूत कोई एविडेंस कोई प्रॉपर्टी का कागज कोई गैर कानूनी पैसा कोई मनी ट्रेल नहीं मिली 
बात बिल्कुल साफ है अगर अपोजिशन के अंदर प्रधानमंत्री जी किसी से डरते हैं और उनको लगता है कि उनका कोई विकल्प है भारत में तो वो अरविंद केजरीवाल हैं और मैं दोबारा यही बात कहूँगा कि वो अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार कर सकते थे उन्होंने किया क्योंकि आज उनके पास सत्ता है आज उनके पास सारी की सारी एजेंसियाँ हैं उनको रोकने वाला कोई नहीं है जो चाहे प्रधानमंत्री करें अभी तक दो मुख्यमंत्रियों को गिरफ्तार किया है हो सकता है औरों को भी कर लें मगर अरविंद केजरीवाल की सोच अरविंद केजरीवाल एक आइडिया है जो हर गली हर मोहल्ले में अब तैयार हो रहा है हमारे वकील शाम को सुप्रीम कोर्ट की रजिस्ट्री में उन्होंने अपनी पटिशन दायर की इस अरेस्ट को चैलेंज किया कि ये गैर कानूनी है गैर संविधानिक है कोर्ट की रजिस्ट्री ने कहा कि उन्होंने सुप्रीम कोर्ट के मुख्य न्यायाधीश को ये मैसेज दे दिया है मगर कोई जवाब नहीं मिला तो हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट के रजिस्ट्रार साहब से मिलने गए हैं उनसे बातचीत करेंगे और हमारा सुप्रीम कोर्ट से करबद निवेदन है आज जोड़ के निवेदन है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट रात को ही मुख्यमंत्री जी की जो याचिका हमने दायर की है उसको सुने और दिल्ली को देश को और हमें न्याय दें आगे सरकार कैसे चलेगी क्योंकि अब इन्फेक्टर्स हो चुकी है जो आपकी याचिका है जो गिरफ्तारी हो चुकी है दो पिटिशन थे ये गलत खबर चलाई जा रही है कि इन्फेक्चुअस हो गई है नहीं हमारी दो अलग अलग प्रेयर थी कि मुख्यमंत्री जी की गिरफ्तारी इमिनेंट है होने वाली है लिहाजा उसको रोका जाए और यदि इस दौरान गिरफ्तारी हो जाती है तो उस गिरफ्तारी के ऊपर भी कोर्ट रोक लगाए तो वो इन्फ्रक्चुअस नहीं है दूसरी बात सरकार हम लोगों ने सारे विधायकों से सलाह की सारे काउंसलर से सलाह की दिल्ली के एक एक वार्ड के अंदर हमने सभा की सबका कहना था कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जी का मैंडेट है दिल्ली की जनता चाहती है अरविंद केजरीवाल सरकार चलाएं तो अरविंद केजरीवाल ही सरकार चलाएंगे जेल के अंदर से भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी हमारे मुख्यमंत्री हैं दिल्ली के नेता हैं कानून है मुमकिन है ऐसा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से अलाउ है सर के काफी नियम है जिसमें ये पॉसिबल है मीटिंग कैसे करेंगे आप कैबिनेट कैसे करेंगे कैबिनेट के प्रपोजल्स तो सर्कुलेशन से ही कई महीनों से जल रहे हैं मुझे याद है सहारा परिवार के जो मालिक थे उनको बाकायदा कोर्ट ने कमरा दिया था कंप्यूटर दिया था सारे रिसोर्सेज दिए थे ताकि उनके ऊपर जो भी जिम्मेदारियां हैं वो जिम्मेदारियां वो पूरी करें और ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट का फैसला था तो फैसले बहुत हैं हाँ ये ज़रूर है कि केंद्र सरकार के पेट में दर्द है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सरकार ना चला सकें वो पेट का दर्द हम समझ सकते हैं कोर्ट के सामने क्या ही सरकार चला सके कोर्ट के सामने रखेंगे कोई बाधा ना है उसमें देखिए जो भी हमारी लीगल टीम हमें बोलेगी उसके ऊपर फैसला लेंगे बट हमारे लगता है जितनी जानकारों से हमने सलाह की है कि इसके अंदर कोई दिक्कत नहीं पार्टी के तमाम लोग यहाँ पे मौजूद रहे आपको लगता है कि पूरी इंडिया ब्लॉक साथ मिलकर इस लड़ाई को लड़ेगा देखिए मैं अपनी पार्टी की तरफ से सभी विपक्षी दलों के नेताओं को हाथ जोड़ के धन्यवाद करूंगा चाहे वो कांग्रेस के लेटर हो दिल्ली प्रदेश के हो, ऑल इंडिया कांग्रेस के हो, चाहे अभी समाजवादी पार्टी से हो, अखिलेश यादव जी राहुल जी का भी ट्वीट है, चाहे प्रियंका गांधी जी हो, चाहे राहुल गांधी जी हो, चाहे के सी वेणुगोपाल हो, सब तरीके के लोगों ने जो विपक्ष की आवाज हैं उन्होंने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की इस गिरफ्तारी पे गुस्सा जताया है और वो सब लोग ये कह रहे हैं कि केंद्र सरकार तानाशाही पे उतर आई है और अपने हार के डर से आम चुनाव में केंद्र सरकार हार के डर से विपक्षी नेताओं को गिरफ्तार कर रही है जो स्टार कैंपेनर चुनाव कैसे मैनेज करेंगे चुनाव कैसे लड़ेंगे कैसे मैनेज करेंगे अच्छा मैंने कल भी कहा था हमारे नंबर दो के नेता नंबर तीन के नेता नंबर चार के नेता जेल में हैं नंबर एक के नेता को जेल में डालने की तैयारी है अब हमारे चार टॉप लीडर्स को 
जेल में डाला गया है जिस पार्टी को अमित शाह जी कहते हैं सुपारी जितनी छोटी पार्टी है उस सुपारी जैसी पार्टी से आज इतना खतरा है कि उसके चार शीर्ष नेता आज केंद्र सरकार ने जेल में डाले हुए हैं इससे ये बात पूरे हिंदुस्तान को साफ होती है कि क्या इस वक्त देश के अंदर हो रहा है और मैं एक और चेतावनी पूरे देश के लोगों को बताना चाहता हूं अभी अभी रशिया के अंदर पुतिन चुनाव से जीते हैं सतासी प्रतिशत चुनाव पुतिन को मिला है सतासी प्रतिशत वोट और वो इसलिए मिला है क्योंकि जितना विपक्ष है पुतिन साहब ने सबको जेल में डाल दिया और जो सबसे बड़े विपक्षी नेता थे उनकी जेल में मृत्यु हो गई तो आने वाले समय में हिंदुस्तान में भी यही होने वाला है सब विपक्ष को जब जेल में ही डाल देंगे तो प्रधानमंत्री जी खुद ही चुनाव लड़ेंगे और फिर अभी तक तो अड़तीस परसेंट वोट आया है तो प्रधानमंत्री जी भी नब्बे प्रतिशत वोट ले लेंगे वो देखेंगे सोचेंगे केजरीवाल if it is a uh, due process then what really is the example which can be cited by their lawyers before the yes. supreme court and what's the history of how the court usually deals with cases like this well uh or not in such cases one has to understand he is challenging his arrest if he is challenging his arrest the supreme court is going to be hearing the case they are going to be hearing the challenge also from the enforcement directorate they are going to be seeing the behavior of the accused and i want to remind our viewers this is not just some ordinary person here he has been named as the 32nd accused 32 32nd accused in the liquor scam case if we actually see the sheer number of times arvind kejriwal has been summoned and he's not come to the enforcement directorate's offices it's ninth today it was the ninth time raids have been conducted in this particular case in 245 locations across india when we talk about the liquor scam case or now and we've been hearing and seeing the six charge sheets filed in this case it's a very serious case we at republic tv have been debating it for the longest time if i can also just take our viewers towards what really is the case because uh, this is not just some random okay, arrest or a political move that has been made but an arrest that has been made after very very crucial details that come out in the liquor scam case which have people who were very close to arvind kejriwal being named here there was a person called vijay nair the ed had long ago stated that vijay nair had uh, that 100 crore rupees kickbacks had been paid in advance to vijay nair who was the aam aadmi party's communication in charge there were also sisodia's former secretary who spilled the beans and who gave lots of details into 2022 in december to the enforcement directorate what is the ed now saying the ed says a conspiracy has been hatched by political leaders that includes arvind kejriwal manish sisodia and now k kavita who was arrested last week in this case he is of course the most high profile person to be arrested but it takes time for an investigation to continue and to come to terms with this case is really pertaining to money laundering charges which the delhi government's excise policy of 2021 22 has spoken about they had also claimed aam aadmi party received kickbacks they also spoke about 100 crore rupees kickback tax in the excise policy his name had not been mentioned earlier but in multiple charge sheets kejriwal's name came and finally it was him who was named as the 32nd accused uh, or not even as we are speaking about this dramatic visuals on the screen which are clearly showing the aam aadmi party is going to try and derive as much political mileage as they can today because there will be protests that continue to be held the legal yeah, team is going to try and go to the registrar's office but the word from the supreme court is clear no midnight hearing in such a case it's only tomorrow that the case will be heard if i can actually tell our viewers once again what's been happening in the case there was also the 45 crore rupees bribe that had been spoken about for the goa assembly elections this is also something mentioned in one of the six charge sheets that had been filed by the enforcement directorate in this case <laughs> the financial crimes probe agency had also stated that there were several individuals including parliamentarians who will be in this case 
Uh, we also, of course, know Manish Sisodia and Singh, Sanjay Singh are currently lodged in Tihar jail in the very uh, same case. The liqueur scam case is clearly something now that's going to be haunting the Ahmadmi party. And they have a lot of evidence with them when they say this. Uh, in fact, in one of the chart sheets, the ED has also pegged the losses at 2 1,873 crore rupees. So, uh, Orna, when we're talking about this kind of a motivated, illegal uh, money laundering case, in proceeds of crime case, as the ED has stated, one has to be very clear, they have immense evidence before them. In fact, in some of the chart sheets that I had also gone through, it was very so they have even immense evidence. Kept cropping up. Yes. So, uh, there was also... The South Group that was comprising of businessman Sarat Reddy, there was also uh, Magunta Srinava Al Su Reddy, who were a part of that. I remember reading in K Kavita. It was stated that in Delhi, under nine zones out of 32 in Delhi, under the new excise policy, there was an extraordinarily high 12% profit margin for wholesalers and almost 185% margin that had been given for retailers. 6% of the 12% margin was to be collected back for the wholesalers as kickback. This is about proceeds of crime. This is about kickback. I'm going to simplify this for the viewers uh, because like I said, we need to understand the liqueur scam is something we've been debating for the past two years. It's not suddenly arisen. Kejriwal's arrest was imminent. Today, he's been named as the 32nd accused. There are six huge chart sheets in this case. There are people who've been arrested. There are people who've spilled the beans. In fact, people who are close to them who've spilled the beans and have spoken about it. This policy that had started, the Delhi excise policy, was later scrapped. The agency had alleged that uh, accused were in touch with Kejriwal for formulating the excise policy. He skipped summons. The uh, ED also claimed that there was a conspiracy. Uh, I also want to tell our viewers here about, yes. like I said, Vijay Nair, one of the key people who was earlier arrested, a hundred rupee, hundred crore rupees kickback that was spoken about earlier. It no was doubt, said no he doubt. was managing the scheme and was conspiracy on behalf uh, of the Aam Aadmi Party. Practically speaking, uh, Rhythm, we are getting some action from outside the ED. I'd like to go to the pictures there. Uh, live full frame, please. Deepak, I can see the cars yeah, are reaching. Full frame pictures, please. Where, uh, medical I think tests will, will be moved. carried out. And after Let's which, the questioning will uh, continue. And tomorrow, he will be he will be presented before the PMLA court. These are live visuals from uh, the ED headquarters. Where Kejriwal is on his way and he will be arriving in just moments from now. This is the first round of cavalcade that has uh, led Kejriwal's uh, convoy. And after this, this is just uh, the first wave of the police uh, vehicles that are arriving at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. And after this, Kejriwal will be arriving at the headquarters where he will be questioned. A medical test will be done and after which he will be uh, produced before a PMLA court tomorrow. Right now, this is uh, these are the live visuals from the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. The security has been beefed up and the barricades have been put in place. In moments from now, Arvind Kejriwal will be here at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. We're getting different shots there. Uh, stay with us, Deepak. Right now, uh, uh, this is the massive so security deployment the that has been done at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Uh, around 100 uh, Delhi police uh, personnel have been deployed oh, at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Now, a team of the Enforcement Directorate, uh, according to... Uh, well, we are getting some live visuals of uh, vehicle movement from uh, the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. This is the first wave of uh, vehicles that has arrived at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Now, Kejriwal will be coming in very soon, right now. Another another set of vehicles have uh, reached the Delhi, uh, have reached the uh, headquarters of the Enforcement Directorate. Well, uh, a wave of Delhi police uh, convoys have uh, started arriving at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Well, we saw from all directions Delhi police. These are the seizures from uh, the Kejriwal's uh, residence. And uh, very soon, 
Arvind Kejriwal will also be brought. This is extra deployment of police that is being uh, pressed in at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Another police van has arrived at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters to prevent any sort of untoward incident that is expected to take place because round one was at uh, the Delhi Chief Minister's residence in civil lines and right now Amadmi party leaders are also expected to come here to block uh, the enforcement directorate from uh, taking Arvind Kejriwal inside uh, the premises of the enforcement directorate headquarters so the P Delhi police is making sure that uh, no situation goes out of hand and in order to ensure that additional forces are also being deployed this is another van of uh, Delhi police which has arrived at the enforcement directorate headquarters. Yes, Deepak, and we are staying with these live visuals, and these are also pictures of Arvind Kejriwal, the deputy, uh, the Delhi Chief Minister, who has witnessed her first visuals after arrest in the police car. That's a police car in which Arvind Kejriwal has been taken out of his residence. He's about to reach. We have our colleague Deepal, uh, Deepak live there, right outside ED headquarters. We have our multiple teams there. Shavan is at the Arvind Kejriwal's residence. He's also reaching ED headquarters, and now Deepak. We are being told that more and more cars are coming in. He's in a white Innova. We can see right. him. Uh, can you also spot that white, white color? Yeah, white color MUV. Deepak. No, Arnab. Over to you. Right now, that uh, that car that we're speaking about hasn't arrived yet. What has arrived here is uh, a slew of convoys of the Delhi police. And uh, when we showed uh, right uh, about a few seconds back, another uh, police van has also arrived at the ED headquarters to prevent any sort of untoward incident. Because Amadmi Party leaders are also expected to arrive here in large numbers to block the, uh, you know, block uh, the enforcement directorate from taking Kejriwal inside. So what will uh, follow after he's yes. taken into uh, inside uh, the ED headquarters? Is that a medical checkup will be done, a tight security is in place, and after the medical checkup yeah. by the RML health officials, Deepak, he will be uh, if, I may, once again. if I may say so, and so far, tomorrow, if, uh, uh, one of the dangers, Piyush, one of the dangers for the Amadmi party is that by nature it's an extremely centralized party, Piyush. Decision making is extremely centralized. Uh, there are no clear structures of organization, uh, control. And the danger for the Ahmadmi party, I'm not talking anything else here, the legality of course, whether the Supreme Court entertains them tomorrow, we'll have to see. But the danger will be that this is a party which is a very flat structure. Yeah. And the only structure that existed Piyush below Kejriwal was an unwritten structure where in the Delhi government it was Manish Sodia, in parliament it was Sanjay Singh. Because everybody with else who was senior with the Ahmadbi party is gone. Ashutosh and all the others are gone. It's their Ayogendra Yadav, Ashutosh, they are not there. And Atishi, right. despite being finance minister, is politically very raw. Right. Hmm. right? I'm just analyzing this. Politically, she's not considered to be senior at all. Atishi Saurabh both. Right? Yeah. Atishi Saurabh both. Or Atishi and Saurabh Bhadwaj are both mistakes. much younger, yeah. less experienced. They will not be accepted as leaders. Yeah. by the remainder of the cadre of the Ahmadmi yeah. party. So my question will be, on a practical level, below the emotive part of it, on a practical level, there will challenges will be. If, if Arvind Kejriwal continues to be in jail for a month, two months, three months, the extraordinary situation will develop for the Ahmadmi party. But it is yes, already an extraordinary situation because uh, you know, the backer, leader what would you of say? Uh, the largest, uh, the fastest growing political party of the country has been put behind bars. And um, uh, the accounts of the largest opposition political party were frozen. You know, uh, we may call it uh, that, you know, it is legal. Fair enough. Might be legal. You create laws in such a manner that which gives you an opportunity to use it in a partisan manner against the people whom you see uh, as threat to yourself. So, you know, to my mind, this uh, this is a legalized atrocity, which uh, the BJP has uh, unleashed on uh, Ahmadi Party and Arvind Kejriwal. I am under, uh, uh, you know, um, no no illusion that it is going to be difficult for Ahmadi Party without Mr. Kejriwal. Mr. Kejriwal uh, is the inspiration from, uh, from whom the whole party derives uh, energy. And uh, but uh, I think the top leadership has made it amply clear that uh, it will be but, Mr. Kejriwal only who will be running the government even if he's put behind bars. I am pretty much Piyush, sure. Piyush, yeah. Piyush, 
when any when any when any party enters into a battle like this and you are saying that it is a battle i don't yes, disagree with you that it is a battle and i i'm we are under no illusions that there is no political angle to this but when if any center gets into a battle of this kind it has to be confident enough to win you either get into the battle when you have enough facts yeah. with you now my question is karan and piyush to both of you if arvind kejriwal gets convicted it might take a long time it might take 3 months 6 months 1 year but if there is a long period of his physical absence by being in jail followed by a conviction on pretty much the same grounds as sanjay singh and manish sisodia then what happens he has reached if you. at the age of 56 or 57 whatever his age is now he is a convicted person then what happens how does the party I tackle think how does the party tackle me, it what honestly, happens to aam aadmi party what happens to kejriwal if he is convicted honestly so the question you know arnab the party has fallen apart i mean i don't think it will fall apart it has fallen apart there's no credibility left when you skip eight summons when the supreme court says there is a money trail of 338 crores established i think that the, the doors were closing on kejriwal he knew what was coming his way crying when data or saying this is legal atrocity it doesn't work now and people also see this let's understand they've lost sympathy today people are no longer sympathizing with the aam aadmi party they understand that liquor scam happened the cag has pointed out a minimum loss of 2000 crores so people they've lost in the eyes of the people also this has dented them politically this has dented them legally and it's only fair that they fall apart now because and But it's a Lalu, great testament Lalu to our legal system that he might convicted. be the cm no, no, no. but lalu resigned after he was job. convicted aap says a kejriwal is not convicted You know, uh, Arnab. Jailalita was too, convicted. Too no, no. Lalu no, was he, convicted. Born at those days, Arnab. No? Okay, so let us go. Let us come back to the uh, Why, organization of Aam Aadmi Party. Okay, like I come from the state of MP. We might have lost badly here in the uh, state assembly elections. I was one of them who lost. So that's fair enough that uh, we were not able to garner enough votes uh, apart from two or three seats in which we uh, did uh, all right okay in in all other seats we did badly but this is this is how it is done right pehla chunav harne ke liye dusra harane ke liye aur teesra jeetne ke liye as uh, the honorable kashiram used to say and we have we have shown that we have shown our seats party, in the state of madhya uh, pradesh we have Piyush, we have Piyush, organization in Piyush, all the a party districts. which is growing piyush 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 Piyush, and you have I know what you're culture. saying is right, but you are a party you that is growing. Supremo, Arvind Kejriwal. You have a supremo. And it's fallen apart, lost all it's credibility. It's like it's like today, Trinamool Congress, Trinamool Congress at least has a number two in Abhishek Banerjee. They don't. But Aam Aadmi Party does not have a number two, Nikhil. Number two. It's a it's a, it's a you, you know it's a very big risk. Number two is also in jail. Yeah, number two, number three, number four are in jail. Now you it's are, a flat you structure. Are, you are forgetting one man who is who is See, who is right now overseas. Emerged. That is who was being pipped to be the de facto. And the by the way, sir. by the way, Piyush. One man is still overseas. By the way, Piyush. Lot of people has... commenting. Lot of people commenting, Piyush, on the on the conspicuous absence Abs of Raghav Chadda. I'm told he's gone for some eye surgery, which is very necessary. I wish him well. I hope he recovers. the timing is interesting but he was caught and with the and, british mp and and you know the fact that he's choosing to be as far away as possible Arnab, for medical reasons of course and largely quiet away from politics Arnab, the timing not could very also be active on the ed's part that they had their the head of the delhi jal board yes, there's a delhi jal board investigation he was he was he was the was a de facto chief minister in security for punjab number 2 to arvind kejriwal where is he yes. Well, as you have yourself mentioned, that he has gone for an eye surgery. And if somebody is in a surgery, do you expect them to come out of it and sit on the street in protest because the ED chose to arrest? Oh, he is not. Have you seen the latest pictures? What line of argument is this? Yeah. Oh, is he? Oh, he is on the streets of London. He he is he is on the streets of London with the British Member of Parliament getting pictures clipped. Just too busy. To be, to be, he goes to Arvind Kejriwal. He have to take a flight back. No, so let's. Like, now he you goes. You have to at least take a flight back. You have to give the man no, that enough it's, time. That's it. You have yeah, to give yeah, the no, man no, that no, enough no, time. No, and no, it's, it's quite no, interesting no, that we've been Arvind talking Kejri about Kejri the party which is entirely tomorrow. dependent on one supreme. Arvind Kejriwal's biggest chances tomorrow. Nobody has yet named the BJP and Narendra Modi. 
What is the BJP without Narendra Modi today? No, no, rhythm, rhythm. Or rather, what is the BJP without the ED, rhythm. IT, CBI, and uh, all this? Very... Without the ED, IT, CBI, and all... Yes. There are a battery of leaders in rhythm. BJP. Tomorrow is the biggest comparing? chance for Arvind Kejriwal. If if Arvind Kejriwal yes. does not get relief before the Supreme Court tomorrow, yes. and yes. given that no. the High Court has not been very charitable to him after seeing the preliminary evidence put before them yes. in a sealed cover by the investigating agencies today, yes. if Arvind Kejriwal does not get relief tomorrow from the Supreme Court, does your experience tell you that he is then in for a longer term in custody? Or not, uh, if we go Given by the, the stature and, and the Sisoda. investigation that has been carried on by the enforcement directorate in this case, it is not a case that is uh, going to be seen as being very easy on Arvind Kejriwal. It's been two years the case has been carrying on. He's the 32nd accused. Like you yourself said, that after, after so much time, after so much effort, after Vijay Nair, after uh, the, uh, Mani Sisodia's own secretary spills the bean, only after evidence being collected from the South lobby and the fourth high-profile arrest in this case of Arvind Kejriwal is made. I very much that doubt that the Supreme Court would like to interfere in a criminal investigation that is being carried on by the Enforcement Directorate. Yes, they will try and move. Uh, I'm also trying to get in touch with the legal team that is being led by senior advocate Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi in this case. There has been false news that had been earlier given that a midnight hearing would be there. However, the legal team has yes, said that there was no such plan. In. They would only be Can leaving I play that in the middle? for this right case now. in the Supreme Court. And uh, now the registrar's okay. office has also stated that there is no such chances of a midnight hearing coming. If we actually also uh, look at what has been stated in the High uh, Court, it's very evident and clear what the legal team is actually going to be stating tomorrow. It's not, uh, you know, it's not anything different that they're going to be stating other than saying that this is a politically motivated case. They're also going to be questioning the powers of the Enforcement Directorate under the PMLA Act, which they're trying to challenge. So I'm not to shortly answer your question. It's going to be extremely difficult for them to be able to get Arvind Kejriwal out by challenging the statute and the Enforcement Directorate rules. It is the Supreme Court's bench of Justice Khanvilkar that had ensured that the PMLA Act gets the supremacy that it has and it's supposed to also include political leaders who cannot get uh, who cannot get away from the hands of a central agency only because they are political leaders. Keeping that in mind, uh, it will be very difficult to do anything. But Arnab, uh, one thing is for sure, today after the medical checkup, Arvind Kejriwal is going to be spending his night in the ED lockup. He is not going to go anywhere. He is not going to be allowed anywhere. Yeah. So and this Piyush, is also him going Piyush to be wanted to add something. Is he an accused? Yeah. Is he an accused? Because I think ASG Raju said uh, something contrary to it in the Delhi High Court so, today. Uh, ASG Raju in the Delhi High Court has said if he had joined one of the summons in the case, we would have been able to tell Arvind Kejriwal whether we are calling him as an accused or as a witness. But yes, after all the six charge sheets have been filed, he has been named as an accused. When the case came up before the Delhi High Court yesterday, ASG Raju said at least he should have answered one of the summons. Then we would have told him whether he's going to be seen as a witness or an accused. Alas, he never came for any of the summons. Even and, Dr. And further to that rhythm, further to that him. rhythm, so the, six the six question is asked by Piyush and an many accused. Amadmi Party spokespersons as well, that is he an accused now? Uh, Piyush, you are fully aware that Sanjay Singh was formally made an accused just two days back. But he has been in custody for months now. No, so that, that is, is not because, an argument because, because which holds. On your channel, I've been, I, I've been listening to this conversation and uh, I got this information through, uh, through this, this program only that he is the 32nd accused. So far, I was not aware of it. Hmm. And I, I don't think, to my mind, I may be wrong. Uh, so please the correct me if I'm wrong. No, he, he's, he's obviously, in, the, in, he's in, obviously in, in, in his name Raghav uh, Chadda or not, and he tweets. In front of the high court, never you name Raghav Chadda and he tweets, he says, and he says what he has to. Well, uh, Joshi, he is obviously an accused. That's case. why he's being arrested. Pratima what you're talking about is the formality of arraigning him as an accused in papers. Yeah, that is that is that is, that that's the legal part of uh, it. Go ahead, Rizam, it? please. That's the legal part of it, isn't it? Unless and until the charge sheet mentions him, names him as an accused, how can we say that he is an accused? And if the sixth charge sheet does mention him as an accused. 
Then AS G Raju will probably lie to the court. The agency has ninety days, Baba. I understand the they have ninety days. Has 90 but days I am already, I am already listening, 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 listening about it on your channel, right? That he is the thirty-second accused. So the uh, you know, uh, and that is the fact that has been put forth uh, before before the, the country by your by, by, by my and, panelists. Uh, whether ASG Raju, the additional solicitor general S V Raju, who's been appearing in the case in the Supreme Court and the lower courts and the Delhi High Court yesterday, mentioned it in so many words or not? Uh, is the fact that this ED has conducted all these investigations in 245 locations across India. We also know finally he's been arrested. But, uh, you know, uh, if you just want to go on words, the fact of the matter also is he's going to be spending this night in a lockup because of several reasons. One of them, of course, but being the entire okay, investigation that, was a very that specific has been done charge in the leveled by you, ma'am. That he is in the, the 32nd accused. For the last two years in the money laundering case, to challenge the ED's uh, dicta, you know to challenge the that statute that itself, seems to it, be a little a tough to info. get belief that you're looking for Arvind Kejriwal in the Supreme Court tomorrow. Ma'am, that was a very specific information that you provided that he is the 32nd accused in the alleged Delhi liquor gets scam. So that was very specific information, and the uh, the ASG never never uh, said anything to that effect in the uh, in the uh, high no, court. Uh, you, uh, How do you get this information on the basis no, no, of the me... chart sheet and the number no, of people Piyush, who have already Piyush, been arrested? There has been also a plethora of go. other specific informations which you have. Very comfortably, I'll, just sideline. No, no, one minute, one yeah. minute. I I think she he's trying to go by words. Mm. I will mm. settle this matter, Piyush, by saying that okay. what she has said, and I will make it amply clear. She has said there are six charge sheets in Liquorgate excise yeah. policy investigation. She has said that 31 individuals and entities have been named, including former Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia, MP of AAP Sanjay Singh. Both Sanjay Singh and Manish Sisodia are currently in Tihar Jail, and Kejriwal is the 32nd to be arrested in this case. Now, yeah, so that's it. That, it that is a matter of time because before he's made right? an accused. That was an assumption. So, that why do you want assumption. to battle on technicalities? Yeah. Oh, the issue is what happens politically. You the have only question right now is what will happen politically. 70 odd programs on this matter. You know, this Delhi Liquor Gate, I think no, I am I'm not on technicalities. I am, I am entirely on a point right now that I would have got a sense of where things are going, Piyush based upon the views, okay. responses of the courts. You will agree with me. You will agree with me that the courts have not been very charitable to the Amadmi party in Liquorgate. And that has been one of the disappointments. You have ace lawyers on your side. Abhishek Manu Singhvi is not like Kapil Sibal. He's a competent lawyer. But you have seen how unsuccessful even Abhishek Manu Singhvi has been in this case. Both this is a complex case, Piyush. This saying. case is not one on which there is any success so far. It is in this case, AAP is not getting success despite pulling out all its legal aces. It is absolutely in a the complex court. case because still they... This is the, the 20 second video or not? This is a 20 second long mind. video Man. where you see Arvind Kejriwal getting arrested. Okay, viewers, this picture there, if you run it full frame, yeah, it's a 20 second video. It's a 20 second video. From Shaman can describe it. It is on the screen. You will see Arvind Kejriwal go in residence while he is being arrested. Yeah. There is Arvind Kejriwal coming out. I think I see him there. Yeah. And his entourage with him. Yes, his family. They are moving very slowly. Him. And they're realizing his family is standing there. Arvind Kejriwal comes out and is being taken in the car, all very orderly. And uh, I think this is after they realize that the Supreme Court is not entertaining them. Shawan has the latest while we stay on the pictures. Shawan, what's up right now? Well, in fact, he is going to be kept inside a lockup, uh, which is inside uh, the enforcement directed headquarters. Uh, this is uh, at the ground floor where he will be kept in a short while from now. Uh, there would be a team of uh, the oh, RML coming strong. in from the RML hospital for the medical checkup to be done. After the medical checkup is completed, uh, uh, 
or not we, we give it to understand that questioning will continue because the latest update that uh, I got uh, after the team left from Arvind Kejriwal's residence is that they have seized certain documents. However, the enforcement director were tight-lipped about the nature of the documents that were seized uh, by the enforcement director. Was it pertaining to the liquor scam? That is not known at this point in time, but they say that uh, they are going to examine these documents that have been seized from his residence. Electronic devices have also been taken, uh, or that has been seized, a backup would be taken up once uh, they reach uh, the enforcement director's uh, office and is handed over to the investigating officer. A report is essentially going to be prepared because it is expected roughly after 2 o'clock in the afternoon is when he's going to be produced before the Rouse Avenue court where the remand is prepared. Another big development because there was a lot of speculation whether at all K. Kavita has actually spilled the beans and is that the reason why the arrest has taken place? We are given to understand primarily on the basis of certain statements that were recorded in the last few months which we includes uh, witness Bagunta Reddy, apart from that Bucci Babu and Arun Pillai. Their statements were quite crucial because for the first time the name of Arvind Kejriwal actually figured and they have specifically spoken about the meeting that took place between Arvind Kejriwal trail? and K. Kavita but is there a and money the trail, conversation Shawan? that uh, was between K. Kavita and but Arun Pillai. But is it a money Pillai. trail yes, or only witness trail. testimonies? Of course there is a money trail because that's... Of course there is... Of course, there is a money trail that they are looking into, but one has to understand and not fall into the trap of what the Ahmadbi party wants everyone to believe, that when you say money trail, there would be wads of cash lying uh, around. That's not what happens because there is a Hawala transaction that has taken place. And let's not forget, there is also the role of Satender Jain. Satender Jain was actually uh, questioned by the enforcement director because it turns out that the transactions that have essentially taken place for the Goa election has happened through Hawala transactions. Multiple Hawala transactions and an out, outdoor broadcasting advertising company was actually paid allegedly by the Ahmad Bay party and this money that was actually paid was the alleged kickbacks received in the liquor scam. That money went in for the Goa elections and that is the reason why every time the Ahmad Bay party says where is the money, the response that comes in from sources within the enforcement directed that it is perhaps laughable to expect that someone would have kept uh, the money in some sort of a bank locker when the money is actually moving around through Hawala operators. That is the reason why they say that what is important here is witness statements and these are statements that are taken under oath. These are statements that have been recorded under Section 50 of the PMLA Act and it stands before the court. That is the reason why they are quite confident that the court will take cognizance of this matter and in the remand that is going to be produced tomorrow, which is expected to be a detailed remand, including the statements that were shown before the Chief Minister. The Chief Minister was shown the statements of Magunta Reddy and a few others to which there was no response that has been given. In fact, in the grounds of arrest that have been shown, they've also indicated the fact that when he, he was that? shown the statements what that have been recorded so What did he say when he was so confronted far, with he, that? He has, he, the responses, the responses, the responses were evasive. He hasn't, he hasn't responded to any of those statements that ca came in. In fact, there were few other documents that were produced. One crucial document was of a man called C. Arvind, who used to be the private secretary of uh, the then Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia, because the draft policy was actually certain notes were provided at the Chief Minister's residence to Mr. C. Arvind. And this was just before the, the policy was actually implemented. Herein came in the suggestion of changing the profit margin. The profit margin was changed from 5% to 12%. And the difference amount, the difference amount is what the enforcement director says are the kickbacks that were allegedly received by the Ahmadwe party. These are few details that are likely to be produced before the court tomorrow when Arvind Kejriwal is produced before the court. Okay, viewers, as we end with these pictures now, and I'll take a break, we're tracking this. I would like to end by just taking you back exactly 10 years to January 2014. So it was 10 years and two months ago. It was close to midnight, like it is tonight. And the difference is that at that time, Arvind Kejriwal, then about 47 years old, seemed to be a young emerging leader. 10 years back. Uh, he was camping and sleeping outside Rail Bhavan. It was a winter day 
and he was camping outside rail bhavan he said the congress is corrupt there has to be a roll back of the policy of the congress led upa and he said i am doing this on behalf of the people 10 years later same arvind kejriwal is arrested he didn't sign the arrest memo it's a democratically enabled process and he's been caught in a case in which he owes the people and the courts of law an explanation so today before you viewers there are three arvind kejriwals the first arvind kejriwal piyush i'll tell you frankly told me piyush are you hearing me the first arvind kejriwal told me that he will never enter politics he came to my studio swore by his family and said i will never enter politics the second kej arvind kejriwal camped in 2014 and said the congress is corrupt i will never do business with it and the third arvind kejriwal today is with the congress in a case in which all his fellow leaders have been arrested now can he get away by saying i didn't have signing powers we'll have to see what happens it'll also be interesting to see what happens to a party and whether the party can survive without the centralized structure focused around arvind kejriwal complex cases viewers as arvind kejriwal spends the night in custody well we'll track the story in politics nothing is impossible i agree i agree but the excise policy case is a complex one last word here i think nikhil wants to come before that karan who hasn't spoken karan you know arnab i remember each one of the instances that you pointed out and uh, it's it's been a sad commentary on how a man who came about to change the system how low he has stooped today he used to say that people should resign on moral grounds people should not reject ed and cbi summons his tweets are today going viral from 10 years back that who are those shameless politicians who don't show up on ed and cbi summons today is one of them he rejected he did not turn up for eight summons and now when my friend from aap says that oh this is a threat to democracy this is no threat to democracy law taking its own course nobody is above the law today the chief minister has serious serious answering to do and it's only fair that the democratic process is rolling out the way it's rolling out in fact it's a shame okay. how this man managed That's to con delhi nikhil because you've been patiently waiting mandates, but alas he couldn't handle it because of his own conduct Arnab, so the interesting thing is that Nikhil, 10 years because ago, you've been Arvind Kejriwal, Anna Hazare and the entire India Against Corruption movement was asking for a Lokpal bill which came into being and now today there is a Lokpal in the country which we don't hear of and the Lokpal currently is Justice Khanvilkar, the same person who had given the PMLA judgment wherein, it, uh, wherein the court had upheld the powers uh, amendment that was made to the PMLA which has basically shifted the presumption of guilt onto the accused which has made it extremely hard for any court to grant bail in an ED case. And by the way for your viewers, the selection committee of the Lokpal has the majority of the government. That's all I have to say. By the way, I will just correct you. Manish Sodia is not against the PMLA right now. Thank, thank you very much. I am not taking this further. I am not the taking this further. Justice Kanvilkar is a very respected judge. He was heading the Central Water Commission. You can't be convenient on things like this. We have to understand the stature of the individual we are speaking about before we weigh our words on this. Ladies and gentlemen, full frame pictures. Arvind Kejriwal. He knows there is a long political battle ahead. In politics and in life, it's not over till it's over. But he has a tough road ahead of him. And he knows that. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night and goodbye. Amity has been ranked India's number one private university for the 11th year by India Today. A testimony to Amity's world-class education whilst imbibing values and sanskars in students. Government's decision last week to reduce the import duty by 15% for electric vehicle makers who pledge $500 million or Rs 4,150 crore investment in India is a significant move for the country and the Make in India objective. The electric vehicle policy was notified by Heavy Industries Ministry and is being steered by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade under the Ages of Industries and Commerce Ministry. 
the government incentivization on EV imports is likely to benefit billionaire Elon Musk's Tesla. Vietnamese Winfast has also pledged to contribute for Make in India with Rs 4,000 crore EV factory in Tamil Nadu. Chinese automaker BYD recently launched its sedan SEAL in India. India's electric vehicle policy allows companies to carry forward their annual import backlog. The electric vehicle policy permits car makers to import a maximum of 8,000 EVs into India annually. EV makers benefiting from incentives must utilize 35% local components. India's EV policy expects car makers to achieve 50% DVA or domestic value addition in next 5 years. I, why she said that? In the, in the press conference. Yeah, 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 but why? Why she said that? Because I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't cheat. I didn't dope. So it's better if we read the decision from TAS that it was a contaminated supplement, was not doping, and I, it never, I never had something to do with doping. So I never doped, so I, I'm not a cheater. So thank you to the tournament for giving me the wildcard and to have the possibility to play in such a big tournament. It was great to be back and only one person being negative about me is not that important because I have hundreds of people that are giving me love. So I will take that. You know, with, with the meeting yesterday, I don't know if you referred to that, with, with the PIF, there's, there's more questions looming and um, you know, I don't think many players are too privy of, of information. You know, Jay, Jay's been trying to be transparent with, with emails based on, you know, what's happening, not giving, he obviously, you can't reveal information of, 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 of talks, you know, that are ongoing to the membership, which obviously makes sense, but he's been trying to be as transparent as possible on that front. So um, I think this is probably bridge, I'd say, leaning more that way, more than set in stone. I think, you know, the tour is just trying to find the right way to, to push forward and it's going to be impossible to keep everybody happy. The day after my game, I saw him in a, in a restaurant and when I saw him, uh, I went to his table to say hello to him because I know that he's, you know, a big legend in in, in football and in, in English football as well. So I'm just, you know, uh, just say hi to him, and and I think some people was at him as well. So he just told me that I have to keep going, uh, having a good season, and uh, he told me I was a good footballer. So I think, uh, you know, it's it's a big compliment coming from such a big player like that. Non, non, pour Kylian, c'est valable pour Kylian, pour tous les joueurs. Euh, la notion de fraîcheur pour une grande compétition, c'est quelque chose de d'important. Tous les joueurs arriveront de toute façon avec une certaine fatigue en fin de saison. Et si cette fatigue elle peut être un peu diminuée, après hier il a joué euh, euh, tout le match, Kylian qui joue, c'est n'est pas ma décision, c'est celle de Louis Saint-Briqué. Euh, voilà, il est... From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Welcome viewers. Viewers, I had predicted yesterday that Arvind Kejriwal's arrest is very likely. 
You will remember we debated it in detail. And as I said, it is moving exactly in that direction. Now, there are two ways of looking at this. One that after his arrest, Arvind Kejriwal's supporters will start a sympathy campaign for him. Secondly, that like Hemant Soren or K. Kavita, both of whom have been arrested in corruption charges, it is unlikely that Arvind Kejriwal will get any mass support given two facts. One, that the charges of Liquorgate, the corruption charges against him are very serious. And two, I have got news that Kejriwal has been arrested, ladies and gentlemen. I am breaking that right now. Shavan is with me, so I am breaking away from my lead. Ladies and gentlemen, let's carry the big grid. Kejriwal arrested. Shavan, what's the latest? Shavan, you can confirm that Kejriwal has been arrested. Shavan, well, order, Kejriwal order arrested. Top. First breaking here on Republic, yes. Much ahead. Much ahead. Yes. Much ahead. Much ahead, much ahead, much ahead or not before anyone else, Republic TV is now confirming, we have got the 100% confirmation, Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal has now been arrested by the enforcement director. In a short while has from now, arrested. Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out from here, taken to the enforcement directorate headquarters and I'm confirming this, his statement has already been recorded under section 17 1F of the PMLA. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal hasn't cooperated with the Enforcement Directorate. A confirmation now coming in that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Order, I'm also getting some more calls from my sources. I'll just quickly take our viewers through the quick developments. He was confronted today with you some take, of the you evidence. You take a couple of calls. I'm holding it till then, ladies and gentlemen. The holding it there. Take the call. The stay on air. Mute the audio. Let fact, him stay on air. Let him take fact, the calls, ladies and gentlemen. Been, the big... In fact, in fact, in fact he has... Yeah, so take the calls, take the calls, you stay on air. Ladies and gentlemen, Shavan is on air. You can see him speaking to his sources. We mute the audio there, producers, because that's live news gathering going on before you. You can see him getting WhatsApp messages and Shavan Sen, ace reporter, ace television reporter Shavan Sen breaking the news of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. He's going to move away from the camera right now, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. And Arvind Kejriwal has been questioned for at least a couple of hours, but he's not been cooperating. He has made it absolutely clear he's in no mood to cooperate. He refused to go to the Enforcement Directorate office. He told the Joint Director of the Enforcement Directorate that he will not cooperate. He said that he will not move out. He was setting terms and conditionalities. The Joint Director is the same director, ladies and gentlemen, the same director who has questioned and arrested uh, K. Kavita earlier. He was confronted with statements. He was confronted with proof. He was told by the Enforcement Directorate that they have come with a swathe of information that they need to speak to him about it. But Arvind Kejriwal is buying time. And the whole strategy of Arvind Kejriwal and the Ahmadmi party is to have a whole group of people outside, whole group of people outside, you know, who can sort of, you know, do this build up. Let's get the Ahmadmi party spokesperson also live right now, ladies and gentlemen, way ahead of any other network, way ahead, way, way ahead of any other network, way ahead of any other channel, breaking the news of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal here on Republic. And uh, we are now, uh, we'll be joined by Akshay Marathe. In just some time, Akshay Marathe is with us. Akshay Marathe, spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party. Ahmadmi Party Chief, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. We can confirm right now. Should he not have cooperated earlier? Should he have waited for nine summons? Moment of reckoning for the Ahmadmi Party. And he's refusing to go to the ED office. What, if, what does all of this indicate? Akshay, non-cooperation at this, this level will not be seen well by the courts. All of this. Anab Enforcement Directorate is an extortion department of the Bharatiya Janata Party. It is not taken seriously by anybody except for those who are blind bucks of the Bharatiya Janata Party. So I understand that there are sympathizers of the ED who think that Arvind Kejriwal should have just walked into the ED office, gotten arrested on right on day one. But Arvind Kejriwal is an honest leader who will get reprieved from the courts eventually. And he has chosen the difficult he's path. Arrested. Your leader has been arrested. If he has, if he has Sir, your leader is under I, arrest can complete, now. Can I complete my point? You can celebrate it, Arnab. I understand so you are happy today. Your leader has been arrested. But, should but he not? But let me finish. I'm not point. celebrating. I'm point. saying that should but he not go on his own? Should he not go on his own to the ED office? 
celebrating. No, he should. No, not. I'm not celebrating. He, I'm breaking a wants, story. Should he, he wants, not go on his he own? He wants to go to the ED office. He might as well go to the Bharatiya Janata Party office. Why should he not? Because the Bharatiya Janata Party takes in all the leaders against whom the ED has notices. And then when the the leader joins the Bharatiya Janata Party, those cases are dropped. So Arvind Kejriwal should have done the same thing. Can we have the live shots and not the archive shots? Aditi, running right now. When we have live shots from the spot, there are drone shots. There are live shots. I'm telling the producers to keep the live shots along with Shavan. We have multiple cameras on the spot. No archive shots, please, not right now. Okay? And Shavan, you have more details. Shavan, tell me more. Shavan, who broke the news first about the arrest. Shavan, tell me more. Shavan, tell me more. Well, in fact, Shavan, if you can hear me now, right now. Well, in fact, order. Yes. Right now, right now, the arrest, yes. arrest move. I can, I can, I can order. Arrest, arrest memo will be served. Arrest memo will Can be served the to the chief minister. Can we have the visuals on air? The of arrest is going to be read out to the chief minister. I am told that I am. I am told. I am told that there is a sense of uh, you know that there has been a brief altercation between the chief minister and the enforcement directorate officers. Pretty much what happened uh, with the uh, chief minister Hebat Sorain too. But right now, because it is going to be important that Arvind Kejriwal signs that arrest me memo. The moment we that have is a sound bite of Atish Shri coming something. in. This is a rajnaitik sazish. Prime Minister Narendra. मोदी जी को अगर डर लगता है तो वो नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल है दो साल में दो साल में जब से इस केस का इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है दो साल में एक रुपए की भी रिकवरी ना ईडी ना सीबीआई कर पाई है 500 से ज्यादा अफसर इस केस में लगे हुए थे हजार से ज्यादा रेड्स हुए आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं के घर मंत्रियों के घर उनके ऑफिस में हर जगह रेड हुई लेकिन उसके बावजूद एक रुपया आज तक नहीं मिला है तो आज लोकसभा का चुनाव अनाउंस होने के बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट एक राजनीतिक साजिश है लेकिन मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को कहना चाहती हूँ कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी मुख्यमंत्री अपने पद से इस्तीफा नहीं देंगे आपने क्लियर कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये बिल्कुल साफ है और ये बिल्कुल स्पष्ट है इस पर कोई दो राय नहीं है आप कानूनी लड़ाई का क्या होगा हम बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल Zafar Islam is joining the debate with Akshay Marathi ladies and gentlemen I'm staying with the shots throughout I'm staying with the shots throughout there are a lot of security personnel can I have the shots on the air maximum time of the screen on the shots ladies and gentlemen can I have the shots on air constantly Aditi because the view viewers want to see the full frame pictures right now that we have from Arvind Kejriwal's residence thank you so much thank you we stay with the pictures there what the aam aadmi party has been trying to do ladies and gentlemen what you're seeing on the ground is that they're trying to get thousands and thousands and hundreds of workers to the ground to start political protests the challenge at this point of time will be to take Arvind Kejriwal out from his residence and to the ED headquarters which is already being given maximum security so to avoid a political confrontation things have to move very very fast uh, these are pressure tactics obviously the aam aadmi party is a party mobilized in delhi they will do everything possible to stop arvind kejriwal from being taken to create some kind of a law and order situation on the ground out there we have the bjp facing off with the aap on the
the debate on both sides of the screen. Syed Zafar Aslam joining the debate right now. Are you fearing a law and order situation here right now? With Akshay Marathi on the screen. And Akshay, is this very bad form? Nine summons you dodge. Ten summons you've been given. You refuse to cooperate. You tell the ED you will not cooperate. You instruct them on what they should be doing. This is after the thrashing that you have got. You've got a thrashing in the High Court. The High Court has pulled you up. You lost your case there. And now you are trying to block the arrest. You are trying to block an arrested leader, no, Akshay Marathe, from let, being taken can I, can I into custody. Now? Akshay, no. Akshay on the right. Can I respond? Can I, yeah. can I respond now? No. Anab, I think you have been misinformed that we yes. got a thrashing in the High Court. In the High Court, the court asked the Enforcement Directorate to show even one single piece of evidence that they have against Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. And the ED was not able to show even one Your evidence Your interpretation is wholly and completely incorrect. The, in the High Court can today, I, I, in the High I, Court today, I, you went I, and asked I, them, can I have you on air on the right hand side? And, and and the other guests on the left, the debate is on. Now, Akshay Marathe, today in the court, speak over me. today in the court, let me finish. Let me finish. Today in the court, you Let said, please, please issue instructions. Please issue instructions. One minute. I am speaking over you because I'm countering Adam, you. Can I just come in, please? Okay. And in Are the court the today, you went Let and said, you went and said, can I have you on the screen? I can't see you on the screen, so I can't take this debate forward. Aditi, thank you. Yeah, so the question is, today in the court, you went and said Arnab. that I should not be arrested. And the court said, I am giving you no such guarantee. You demanded, the, you, you the said, said, I should let not be arrested. You, the court the did court not give said. you any such guarantee. Did let you ask for you protection from said. arrest I, and not get it? Am I right or wrong there? Can I finish my point now? <coughs> the court said, the court asked the enforcement directorate, are you planning to arrest Mr. Again, back to these Do you have any evidence against him? The ED said that we have no evidence against him right now. We are uh, not Arnab, planning Arnab, to arrest him because he has not even been made speaking for so long. That is what the Can I just come in, please? Said. The court so then issued a show cause notice. That is not what the ED said. Asking them for explanation. The court asked for the ED for an explanation. Why Arnab, do you want to can I just Mr. come in, please? The ED was supposed to respond by 22nd April. I'm sorry, you're completely mistaken day. and completely wrong. They I don't know who's giving you a lowdown of the court. Rival. You went to the court. Arnab, one minute, one minute. Arnab, one minute, Arnab, one minute. Can, one minute. One minute. can you have please. three windows because there at the bottom screen? Today you went to the Arnab. court. One second, one second, one second. Just one minute. First, Ishkaran is countering you on what happened in the court today. Arnab. I'm saying you lost the case in the court. Yes. You no, refuse. You could not get protection. You could not get protection from coercive action. In fact, the court put you up for trying to set terms for an appearance. And I said that yesterday as well. Ishkaran Lauda! For my knowledge, who is Ishkaran Lauda? Because there is epic misinformation being spread, your viewers should know what happened in the Honorable High Court both yesterday and today. Arnav, can I make my point if you could lower his feet up? Because this is absolute misinformation being spread, if not outright lies. Who are you? What happened in the court on two days? Are you from the BJP or First, on the first day itself, the court orally observed why can you not appear on the summons? Because you have received nine summons. Now, today, there were two basic. Uh, prayers before the court. One, the summons are illegal, which the R party has Make been saying outside the court. The summons are illegal. The ED could not summon. The summons should Get be stayed. The summons should be quashed. The second aspect was on which they were asking the court was interim relief, a protection from coercive measures. In simple language, a protection from arrest. Both these requests, neither the summons were stayed, that means the ED had the right to summon him, nor was he given any protection from arrest. And the third part, on to whether ED has a good case or not, ED said during investigation, we do not show the case to any accused. That's the standard procedure by all investigative agencies. But the court insisted that you show us, the courts, the proof or whatever files you have. That was seen in the chamber. After that was seen in the chamber, the Honorable High Court, by an express order, declined to Zafar give him any it. relief, declined to give him a relief of prevention from arrest. That is absolutely false. That is why that's 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 absolutely false. false. That is a legal... Are, how can what? you not know the that law? That is absolutely because false. That is absolutely false. Let me, let me respond now. Let me respond. respond. That is absolutely if false. Court gave you that is absolutely you false. You are lying. You are lying on national television. That is why you have been arrested. Can I just... Allow me to come in now. Allow me to come in. You have let me share a bit, Daddy. Talk for the last three minutes. Without interrupting him, you, but you did not let me speak even for Arnab, one minute. Can I just come in, please? Akshay Marathe, Akshay Marathe, Akshay Marathe. Before that, I want to update viewers. He has I, I want to update enough. everyone, and I have Zafar on the left, Akshay Marathe on the right, 
and Zafar, Zafar, I want to just recap the breaking news right now. Uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. About five mobile phones have been seized by the ED. All the items have been taken into custody. The Enforcement Directorate reached his house after Arvind Kejriwal lost the case earlier today, where the Delhi High Court flatly refused any interim protection from coercive action at this stage to Arvind Kejriwal. Arvind Kejriwal had filed an application seeking interim relief in his plea, challenging the ED summons, and there was a division bench comprising of Justice Suresh Kumar uh, Kat and Justice Manoj Jain. Uh, they gave full liberty to the Enforcement Directorate to file the response to Kejriwal's application, and the judge said that at this point of time, we cannot give him any protection from arrest. Uh, the ED reached his house. The ED told him, the joint director told him to come to the office. Kejriwal said, I won't. Kejriwal said, I refuse to move. The ED said he's not cooperating. The ED has then arrested Kejriwal. Kejriwal is right now under arrest. The AAP says he's run the government from lockup. And uh, we should be, and uh, the AAP has started mobilizing its workers outside the house to create some kind of a physical situation there. That is the sequence of events. Now, Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP, former Arnab, MP Rajya Sabha. Uh, Arnab, they, see, you heard Arnab, the AAP spokesperson, Arnab, yes. Arnab, see, Arnab. I, I, heard, I heard the AAP spokesperson, I heard the various Arnab, leaders of AAP speaking Arnab. same rhetoric which they are speaking for the last several days. But this will not work anymore, Arnab, because he has to pay for his sins. The sins he has committed, everyone knows, and there are no authorities, has all the evidences proving him that he is guilty of committing crime along with the, uh, many other people involved in liquor scam. So he wants to take all the protection from, this, from the legal protection which he is attempting, but there is absolutely no relief from High Court, and he will not get any relief from even from Supreme Court because... I am saying because of the crime he has committed. No matter what the what their AAP spokesperson says, no matter what the leader of other spoke AAP, AAP leader says, but the fact is that that he has committed a crime, he has committed a sin, and he is paying price for that sin. Now, whether he appeals to Supreme Court, it not, it nothing will happen because he every the agencies have proof, and proof has been shown to the High Court, and that is why High Court didn't give back. him any relief from the arrest which he was thinking that he will get protection from. Secondly, what is more important, uh, Arnab, that uh, AAP is trying to somehow create law and order situation, but let me tell you that no matter whatever they try, law and order situation will be maintained as it has to be maintained and they, they will not be able to disrupt the law and order situation in the state of uh, Delhi. Because all the precautionary measures have been taken by the security people, by the authorities, and these these people may try to disrupt, but we will not allow it to happen. Second, Can I now? That is more important point, uh, uh, Rajiv. That uh, uh, Arnab, 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 third very important point that he was thinking that he is above the law, but today it has been proven. If you commit a crime, then law has its own uh, way. Arnab, how you. long are you? Am I supposed to listen to everybody else speak? You have not interrupted this person even once. That he has committed a crime, he has committed a sin, and he has to be interrupted by you. Which is not even to make a single point throughout the show. No, you are. If you are interrupting me, you'll have to face my questioning. I will certainly question you, but it cannot be a one-way street. One minute, one minute. It cannot be a one-way street. One minute, one minute. Sir, Sir Zafar, one minute. One minute, one minute. One minute. One minute. Just one minute, viewers. Viewers, this this impression. This, I, I, I just want to make one point out here, that it is very easy for Akshay Marathe or Pankaj Sharma or Akashdeep Muni or Mahesh Bigala, all of whom are on air, and Mr. Bigala is spokesperson of the BRS, to come on air that this is wrong, that is wrong, etc. However, I swear by every word of what I'm saying here tonight, viewers, and I know that you believe me. I'll tell you what has happened today, viewers. First ED summons, 2nd November 2023. Arvind Kejriwal doesn't go. Second ED summons, 22nd December, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Third ED summons, 3rd January, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Fourth ED summons, 18 January, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Fifth ED summons, 2nd February, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Sixth ED summons, 19 February, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Seventh ED summons, 26 February, Arvind Kejriwal says nothing doing. Eighth ED summons, 27th February, Arvind Kejriwal says I will not cooperate. Ninth ED summons, 17th March 2024 and Arvind Kejriwal says I don't care. I don't care what you are saying. These you are, are the facts of the, of the BJP. 
You are a spokesperson of the BJP. That's why I don't care what you say. What you say in does not matter. matter. You stand with Ashok Chavan, you stand why, with Ajit Pawar, and you, you have the to, to come You care for no one. You, you, you don't care for the courts. You don't care one minute. Two people on the screen, please. You, you, one minute. You don't care for the courts. You don't care for the law. You don't care for the facts. You don't care for the high court. And the high court has turned you down today. You are a sellout. You are a sellout of the BJP. That's what you want. You can say what you want, Dakshin. You don't believe you are a neutral person. You can say what you want. You don't believe. You you can I say what say you that. want, Akshay. I will say I because you today are running Akshay, an agenda. You can, Akshay, 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 you are going to this way. You will only burst an artery and achieve nothing. One minute, one minute, one minute. Can I? Can I? Zafar, Zafar, one minute, Zafar. I can completely understand, Pankaj. I can completely understand, Akashdeep. I can completely and totally understand. I can completely. I can. I I'm not celebrating. I'm reporting it. You are celebrating. And you are the one who's very you hot under the collar today. I completely understand because your, your leader has been arrested. That. Your viewers need to know that Arnab Goswami is with the BJP and he will celebrate Arvind Kejriwal being arrested. But what you will not tell them is two months before the Lok Sabha election, now, an opposition your, leader being arrested like that. that you are a, he's a dictatorship. Your, your, your you party's leader was a corrupt a man. You you. You should take responsibility I, I, uh, for the one, dictatorship that one, India has thrown under one, five. Now, if you are quiet, I will give it back to you nice and proper. I will give it back to you nice and proper. But, but, but one minute, but one minute. I request everyone tonight. I request. No, 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 no. Zaid Zafar Islam, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Zaid Zafar Islam, one minute. Akshay Marathi has taken it too far, and he will now have to listen to me. If he is not a coward, he will have to listen to me. If he is a coward, he will interrupt me. I have listened to him, and I am now going to give it back to him. And unless he is a coward, he will listen to me. Now, and I am sure he is not a coward. Today, ladies and gentlemen, fact is that the court refused to pass an order granting interim protection from arrest to Kejriwal, and the court said, and I quote: "We have heard both the sides." However, at this stage, we are not inclined to pass any order. Exactly. This is called a defeat in the High Court. Exactly. And you can cry, scream, call anyone a BJP spokesperson, exactly. but it is a fact. Second point: the court emphasized. The court emphasized. It's not the BJP. The court. So you be careful what you say because Kejriwal's lawyer Singhvi had said today that ED has filed six charge sheets, twenty-five thousand documents. What is the purpose of the summons? Then the court said, "Akshay Marathi, and you are probably unaware, therefore uninitiated. You are saying things without knowing." The court said, and I quote the words of the court: "Unless Arvind Kejriwal appears, please note, viewers, unless Arvind Kejriwal appears, how will he know what information, documents the ED ultimately wants from him?" So the court gave an instruction, Akashdeep. That Arvind Kejriwal yes. must appear. Yes. You will attack the court now. Yeah, I will attack the court. Now let me let me reply. Uh, Akshay ji, pull back. Uh, just I just. Now he'll attack the court. Now he'll attack the court. No, are listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> no, no. Now he says I will attack the court. He'll attack are everybody listen today. To me. Listen to no, me. no. He listen said I didn't say. The AAP spokesperson are said I will attack the court. One minute, no, no, Akashdeep. No. Watch the words. The AAP no, national I, spokesperson I said I will attack the court now. So attack the court. Sir, I'll give you the fact, sir. Attack the court. Sir, I'll give. I'll no, give no. The, the AAP spokesperson Akshay Marathi just said, "Yes, I will attack the court." No, no. I have the attacking the court, right sir. To disagree no, with the court. The courts are. Uh, we have to respect, respect the, the court. court. Everyone has. We have to respect the court. Nobody is attacking the court. But I have the. Yeah, yeah I just I now you said the court said nothing. When I quoted the court, you were saying I disagree with the court. For one minute. Ha! I want to put some facts here. Uh, Arnab ji, you to, today I respect you so much, but today you put out the court uh, proceedings selectively, sir. While to substantiate my uh, argument, today the on uh, today the honourable ASG, who is a lawyer of ED, said in the court that neither the Amadi Party or Arvind Kejriwal is the accused in this matter of excise scam, alleged excise scam. Even that went to the other level where the court asked enforcement directorate to present material evidence against Arvind Kejriwal, to which enforcement directorate said 
in the court that material has been investigated so the material not sufficing so material has been investigated cannot be presented in court court and court so the evidence was not sufficed to arrest or to produce in a court of law against arvin kejal as per the enforcement director and lawyer mr raju who is the additional solicitor general third point that delhi has you uh, completely uh, completely completely arnab said something completely and wholly incorrect arvin kejal's petition in two weeks which he said that arnab kya hai come in fact check so delhi has just Hikon one small fact check enforcement director to file that what to reply to arvin kejriwal what is the final so judgment by arnab so, uh, by the high court did he did they give any relief this is beyond misinformation did he get any protection from the abhishek come in yaar yeah. i'm not making people sit pull the chairs and sit yourself now now no no why everybody on the party is that uh, will be attacking arvin kejriwal today we know That in 2018, no, no, no. Let, let me ask you one question. Arjun, uh, let me ask him one question. Forget about the proceedings. What is the final outcome? What is the final outcome? Did he get any protection from the court? Did he get any protection from the court? Did he get any relief from the court? He didn't get any relief from the court. That's why he has been arrested. The school, no, no. Jafar Islam, listen. The point is, the point is Akash Deep, Akash Deep, Akash Deep, Akash Deep. I let me see if Shavan can give me an input. Can Abhishek and Ashwarya come into the studio? Like I asked them to come at nine o'clock today. Can they come in, please, on their own? Walk into the studio, please. Thank you very much. And now, and now I am on the debate with. I am making a point here. This is tremendously distracting. Abhishek and Ashwarya, please sit down. Now I am, now I am making a point here. Now I am making a point here. Ah, uh, just one minute, please. Just one minute. 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 See, today the High Court told Arvind Kejriwal, "Why don't you file an anticipatory bail application in the court yet?" Okay. Now the ED, in fact, assured the court, Akash Deep, I don't know to what extent you can lie, but obviously you have your own limits. The court asked the ED, "Tell us what evidence you have against him yes. for arrest. Is there any document against Kejriwal?" In response to which. the ed told the court my lord we have the documents mm -hmm. and ishkaran says that in confidence yes. the investigating agency shared certain documents yes yes no, no, yeah no, no, so no, no, no. the investigating yeah, agency shared, shared certain material in confidence to the court this material is being investigated that ed said theek hai na koi koi now now you have i mean obviously you have to I mean, Akash Deep, Akash Deep. Are the which person under investigation gets to have the investigative agency's documents? They don't know the basic law of the land. Forget the video. No investigative agency at the stage of investigation gives documents to anybody who is under the scanner. That's the law of the land. But of course, the judges are supposed to cover. It is given to judges. This is the basic law of the land. I do not know how much information they can spread on national television, Arnab. Arnab, this is not misinformation. This is outright lies. How is it? Arnab, court notified it. Arnab, court gives orders. Court does not notify. How is it that the ED had to notify? Court gives orders. Court does not notify. 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 There is evidence. Arnab, it is ridiculous. Court does not notify. Just one minute. One minute. I am not getting the audio clear. Akshay. Akshay. अक्षय 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 सी आई वन मिनट पंकज 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 सी मनीष सिसोदिया अक्षय 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 अक्� you are a citizen of the country they are giving you summons why don't you appear when you are given the summons what is preventing you from attending the summons to which kejriwal said i am not avoiding i need protection from arrest because i am not a common criminal i need protection from arrest today the court says i am not going to give you protection from arrest after which the ed went to question kejriwal and told him to cooperate he did not cooperate after nine summons he has been arrested 
I think that as much drama as you may want to do, the Delhi High Court has rebuked Kejriwal's lawyer for giving a flimsy excuse of not knowing whether the summons are sent for Kejriwal as accused or witness. The court said, pursuant to the summons, if you attend the call only, then will you get to know. Now, the I Delhi High Court has now, denied to entertain Kejriwal's argument that summons are a trap to arrest him. Please can understand, what Atishi says in our press conference, that there is can no I evidence, respond? is not the final word. The ED, you have to understand, nobody, can I you see that the ED will not arrest a Delhi Chief Minister unless long, it feels long, long, it is sitting on sufficient evidence. How long are you going to speak? Can no, I but respond why aren't now? you? How long? Nahi hai. You have made statements today which are unworthy of you. And I, I am can compelled I respond? to respond to you factually without descending okay, to I your personal to you? diatribe. I will not descend to you. Okay, can I, respond to you? I will can not I, okay, descend you to you to, to me. your level. You but I am me. telling you today that this would not have happened. No, no, no. Question is not. You must show some patience. I completely commiserate with you. Your leader is arrested. Arna, Arna, There's a problem in Ahmad in party which will unravel. But you can need I? to understand this is what has happened. Can I, uh, one, can I one, respond can, or no? Is this a Can monologue? both of you just hear from Everybody Zah gets a Shavan latest on what's happened? Shavan, what's going on? When is he going to be brought up? Midnight this is some hearing. kind of joke that is playing out No, no. Well, in fact, uh, uh, Aishwarya is on. Aishwarya is on. The strategy of the Amadhi party is to and fro. Akshay Marathe, hold on. Akshay Marathe, your leaders are having a second thought. You said you will go. You, then you said you will not. Now you are again going. The legal team of the Amadhi party has already approached the registrar office of the Supreme Court. You are waiting a response. You want a midnight hearing. After Arvind Kejriwal being arrested right now, Abhishek Manu Singh we con came on record just few minutes prior, said no, we are not. Now you have already uh, now you have already approached. The you go zoom in on me, Supreme zoom Court. in on me. Now, yeah. uh, now, now, no, no, one, just just one minute, just one minute. Options running out here, Abhishek, for Amadmi Party. Do you can think I, they'll get the I urgent hearing? Any, why should the court give them an urgent hearing? They might get an urgent. And why? On what grounds? On what gr on what grounds would the Supreme Court give an urgent hearing? Would he be treated like a VVIP? For the simple reason there is a lobby, Arno. No, if there is a lobby, no, no, one minute, I don't understand this. If there is a lobby, Abhishek, does not mean the Supreme Court gives an urgent hearing. Will you, I, anyone, any no citizen of the country get an urgent hearing? No then why, the question being, why should Arvind Kejriwal get an urgent hearing? When you were arrested, you got an urgent hearing, just FYI. No, I did not get an urgent hearing. No, I did not get an urgent no, hearing. No, you are wrong, Akshay. You, you are wrong, you Akshay. Got, Second time you are wrong, you are very wrong. You are absolutely wrong. I went through the whole process. I went through all the courts. I went through the Sessions Court. I went to the High Court. And then I went to the Supreme Court. You are a liar. I did not get an urgent hearing. You are factually incorrect. You don't know what you are talking about. You made multiple mistakes tonight. You are unprepared for the gravity of the situation. And you need to understand this. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot get away anymore. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way unlike your leader, even when Parambir Singh interrogated me, I went every time. Unlike your leader, I did not avoid 10 summons. Seven days. Because because you are now, if you are frustrated, desperate, it's your, you it's your, it's your problem. You are making wrong facts. 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 You are how is that okay? How is that a democracy? How is that? Zafar has to be on the left hand side of the, the screen. The process, Akshay, you don't decide. The legal process is fraud. You don't it decide that the it process is compromised by the party. Why can't you put Anybody Zafar Islam on the, the left when SKM necessary? Aditi, right now is necessary. Anybody who is against the Bharatiya Janata Party gets trapped in the legal system. Yeah, that is our decision. The courts have kept him behind bars. I mean, you don't even want to. 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 You don't the final outcome. It is a final outcome was only one thing that he didn't get any relief from the court. That is something which everyone should know. He, is, he, is, he has committed crime. Court has seen all the documents. And the court has seen all the evidence. And based on that, he didn't get. The court didn't give him any relief. Akshay, Akshay, Akshay. That is something which is important for us to know. What was discussed in the, inside the court is something which is not relevant for us to discuss because we do not do everything. What Zoom happened in on there? But. We know the Akshay, consequences, what happened Akshay. on the final outcome. So, what the, happened to Ajit Pawar? What was the consequence of Ajit Pawar? What was the consequence of Ajit Pawar?
मस रहे Will Arvind Kejriwal step down given the fact that he has always taken the position that any corruption allegation a person in public life will have to step down are we looking at the chief minister of delhi stepping down with the arrest arvind, taken arvind place? kejriwal was the chief minister of delhi is the chief minister of delhi and will remain the chief minister are you suggesting delhi? that the arvind. government of delhi would be running from the Yes, the jail absolutely it will be running from tihar jail because this is the clear modus operandi of the bhartiya janata party put allegations of corruption under pmla on all opposition leaders arrest them why do they file cases only under pmla because that is the only act in this country under which it is virtually impossible to get bail as a senior so, leader atish you would agree that there was no relief coming in from the court prima facie there was evidence against your other leaders the then deputy is, chief minister so how is it you are saying is, there is no there evidence is absolutely where is the proceeds of crime can the ed after 2 years say they have recovered even 1 rupee from any any aam aadmi party leader they can't where is the evidence where is the proceeds of crime they have not been able to show any proceeds of crime despite having hundreds of officers investigate the case thousands of raids and the timing of the arrest makes it very Adish, clear tell me someone Coming as a senior as a senior leader as an irs officer himself mr kejriwal says that tell me whether am i a suspect or a witness is that even a logical explanation it's a logical question because is the fact not, of the under the no, i'm asking only under the section 50 under it's section 17 not, of the pmla act the it is the prerogative question. of the agency i have a simple question for you why is it that all pmla cases get filed only against opposition leaders well, that's why a question that you should ask the enforcement director yes absolutely the second question why is it that all cases against the opposition Leaders do not happen under the CRPC Act. They do not happen under the Prevention of Corruption Act. The only one act in which cases get filed. That's also because, LA, but there is a corruption case by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Precisely because that is the only law in the country. It was the law was put in place to prevent terrorism, to prevent trading of narcotics. Today, but it's also money laundering. Whether Vijay, Shavan, can you ask her whether she thinks Vijay Nair is innocent? Can Shavan hear me? Well, well. Come on, can you hear me? One of the factors that I know, right I, now, I most of the Aam Aadmi Party that. leaders. Yeah. The well, uh, you know, I unfortunately, or not, because uh, she's already stepped out. Because right now, if I can, if I can just show you what's really happening on the other side, is no uh, right now most of uh, the Aam Aadmi Party leaders have come on the road. Right That's the current situation. Reason why, is if you're wondering why, is some speed exactly coming in, Aditi? If it is coming, we'll cut to it. Is it coming in right now? I want to. I was just told that Sambit Patra's feed is also coming in. Yes, yes. We're seeing live BJP reactions coming in. Can we cut to that, please? Can we cut to it immediately, please? Thank you very much. Moving ahead on the story. Thank you. Let's hear the reactions, viewers. The idea, the idea of corruption, the idea of minting money through a, I would say through an excise policy. I mean, this is unheard of. Louder. A CM. A CM who talks about education. Louder in the studio. Mani Shishodia, in ke education ministry the, Shiksha ministry the. आपने विश्व में कहीं सुना है शिक्षा मंत्री शराब के घोटाले से पैसा मना रहा है? जो CM कहता है कि हम तो चांद में भी स्कूल खोल देंगे, वो शराब के पैसे से पैसे बना करके शराब के ठेकेदारों से, शराब के बड़े-बड़े माफियों से, डॉन से पैसे की उगाई करता है और करोड़ों करोड़ रुपयों का चंदा लेता है। क्या यह विषय आज दिल्ली से चुपा नहीं? महेश बिगाला इस स्पोक्सपर्सन आदित्य प्लीज कट आउट महेश बिगाला इस स्पोक्सपर्सन ऑफ द बीआरएस मिस्टर बिगाला टुडे अरविंद केजरीवाल वाज कंफ्रंटेड बाय सम स्टेटमेंट्स वी आर टोल्ड 
Now, we are also told that the joint director of the enforcement directorate who went there to question and then arrest Arvind Kejriwal is the same officer, I think Kapil Raj, who arrested K. Kavita. So, is it possible that your leader K. Kavita has made certain statements about the role of Arvind Kejriwal? Because things have moved very fast after Kavita's arrest. No, I think this is not from the last arrest of Kavita ji, because this case is going on, investigation is going on for the last two years. But we need to look at the timing and how it is motivated. It's, a, it's The elections are coming in the next month and probably in the month of April and May. But, you know, the arrest took place of Kavita ji and Arvind Kejriwal ji now. What, why they took the last two years even to investigate and arrest? But and other thing we need to question is, but is are there any cases on the BJP leaders or even the NDA leaders? It's only the ED is investigating only the opposition's leaders. See, like the all these ED PMLA cases are filed and investigated and arrested all the opposition's leaders only. That's what like you know the but India Mr. has. Mr. Bigala, about Mr. Bigala, all the all the all the all the as you are aware, all the all the opposition leaders went together to the Supreme Court and says we are being collectively targeted. The Supreme Court said this has no basis and sent you back. The Supreme Court said these are political matters, you can't bring them in the area of the court. They are not legally tenable arguments. So the Supreme Court has already dismissed that, you know, that argument of victimization. Now we need to go by what the courts are saying. Pankaj, this, I don't think this is going to lead to any mass sympathy campaign. It already doesn't seem to me. I mean, the AAP was expecting that people would be out on the streets protesting morning, day and night. It doesn't seem to be happening. See, the crux of the matter is that Atika Bhalana Barasana, Atiki Bhali Nadhu. Too much of anything could, could destroy. Excessive sorrow laughs, excessive joy weeps. Let me tell you, arrest of Kejriwal is going to boomerang politically very badly on these don't say that Ejriwal is not going to get any sympathy out of this. He will. For many years and especially for a few last months, the entire nation is debating the issue of selective treatment by the investigative agencies of Modi government. It is charitable attitude towards the leaders of the ruling dispensation and its bullying approach. Bullying approach towards opposition leaders is the actual cause of concern. Why two sets of execution methodologies for the similar laws? People are asking this. And it has become so obvious in the last 10 years of Modi regime that you ask uh, any Pankaj, commoner on the streets. Pankaj, ask on any 30th commoner October on the streets. 2023, on 30th October 2023, Pankaji, on 30th October 2023, uh, the court Supreme Court said we will not give bail to Manish Sisodia. And the Ahmadmi Party was shocked. Ahmadmi Party, before that, and I want to go back to this Abhishek, Syed Zafar Islam and Akshay are on the Supreme debate. Also, there is a money trail. The Supreme Court said there is a money trail. The Supreme Court said that a money trail of not 1 crore, 2 crore, 33 plus. crores, but 338 crores has been tentatively enough. established. That is not true. I do not that understand not after that how any Ahmadmi Party spokesperson can come and say that the courts are with us, the law is with us. In fact, can I, can I the now? Supreme Court had made the fact that the money trail of 338 crores was tentatively established the basis for denying the bail of the former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, Manish Sisodia. It's as clear as that. These are the words can of the I court. Respond? And they also said the new... Yes? So, uh, Akshay, are these the words of the court or not? You just respond with saying no, yes or not. no, then you can say what you want. This is what the Supreme Court said. Is this what the Supreme Court said or not? No, no, no. Is this... No, 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 no. You can't avoid the question okay, anymore. Is this the, what the Supreme Court said? No, you can't avoid the question. You give me a no, I am asking you and don't do tum tum let with let me, please. I am calling you up. I will not descend to your level. Please, please do not, please do not. I'm showing you respect. Don't try to go too familiar with me, Akshay. Me respect, You're speaking to a senior journalist. You don't cross the line. You let me speak. Yeah, but you it doesn't matter, man. Whatever you what say, I'm still calling respect? you. I'm calling you out respectfully. What do I do with your respect? 
What do I do with I don't care what you do. One minute. One minute. I don't care what you do. I am asking you a question. Is that what the court said? Is that what the court you said? Let me speak. You let me speak. Is that what the court said? You let me speak. Let me speak. Is, is, is this what the court said? No. The 338 crore money that. trail. No. Did the Supreme no. Court the refer court to the 338 crore money court trail said, or not? Are, bhai, did they or did they enough not? Enough is enough, Arnab. I, I, enough is enough. Did the Supreme Court mention? So he said he can't answer the question. That is precisely the problem out here. The simple question being, if you are asked, was there a 338 crore money trail? You don't want to answer the question. Okay. But Akashdeep, there's no running away from that. Arnab, this is the I fundamental question you'll be asked in the courts Arnab, of public opinion also. See, Arnavji, no, no, one minute. Let Akashdeep right. take that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll answer the question. You are right. That the Honorable Court said that whatever the profits made in this policy... That will be considered as proceeds of crime. That is, that came to 331 crore. I acknowledge that. <laughs> but the profits made, by, it was by the companies, not by the... Uh, there was no money trail to Manish Shodhya, Sanjay Singh, or even Arvind Kejriwa. Till now. there is Otherwise, uh, ED would have treated with they, the they, tax of money. Now, Zafar Islam, please don't heckle. Please don't heckle. Please let me speak, sir. Please. Now... Now, one of the most important factors I want to tell today is that normally, today, while all of us are talking about Kejriwal being arrested, Sanjay Saroj, who was named as terrorist by UP police in 2018, joined Bharatiya Janata Party. So, terrorists join the Bharatiya Janata Party. But one person who makes a school, one person who makes a clinic, banata hai, अच्छी शिक्षा देता है एक्सचेकर को फायदे में लेके आता है दिल्ली एक्सचेकर इज द ओनली एक्सचेकर अच्छी शिक्षा क्या देता है भाई इंडिया गेस करप्शन पे आ गए मुख्यमंत्री बन गए और करप्शन शुरू कर दिया आप मुझे बता दीजिए मोदी जी की सरकार प्रॉफिट में है बट ऑल आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट मैं नहीं है नो ऑल आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट यू आर हाउ कम यू आर गिविंग हिम अ सर्टिफिकेट हाउ कम यू आर गिविंग हिम अ सर्टिफिकेट व्हेन कोर्ट हैज नॉट गिवन द सर्टिफिकेट हाउ how Are can you give him the certificate? Person, what has enough out. evidence? Agencies person. have enough evidence against him. There is a money trail. There is enough evidence child. against him. The, all the proceeds Sanjay of the crime has gone to him. He is the beneficiary. Panda, so is, he is not the only beneficiary. The deputy chief minister is also the beneficiary. Zafar is not. Sanjay Saroj is not in BJP. The U.P. police has told him that he didn't tell 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 him that he didn't well, we will no, respond to that separately. Okay, okay, if, okay. if at all we need to discuss about this, we will discuss this separately. Okay. Right now we are discussing about Kejriwal. Has Kejriwal no, accept, accepted proceeds of crime, cruel and practice, unfair practices or not? Tell me. Why? No, no, no. I am asking you about Kejriwal. Why are you trying to digress? I am not trying to digress. We will have a debate separately. We will discuss everything about it. But why are you trying to digress? I am asking you a direct question. Did he get, did he get any relief from the court? No, did he get any relief from the court the or not? Court said today no, he didn't get any relief. Why? Court, the because there is enough the evidence against him. You must understand. Yes, court work, court would have given him definitely some relief and he would have give, been given protection from the arrest. Since he did yeah, get the protection, definitely all mean, all meaning all that all there is the enough evidence against him. Like there is enough evidence against Kavita and the Deputy Chief Minister also. The way the, the, way the case is likely to go, the way the case is likely to go, one minute, one minute. The way the case is likely to go, viewers, people are asking, what will happen next, Abhishek? You see, now that it is a question of a sitting Chief Minister who has been arrested, I don't think the agencies can First afford to take a... Chief Minister is arrested. Heman Soren resigned. Heman Soren resigned. So in his case, he's a sitting Chief Minister, technically, who is arrested. Then the court, therefore, has to... The agency has to prove that Kejriwal has violated the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. So, obviously, they would have had to force a money trade. See, it's not the CBI which has arrested him. Are you sure here that the agency... There is a CBI case also. There is a CBI case, but the ED has chosen to arrest him. Which, which means that it's an act of finality by the EDI. Yes. So they cannot take a risk of arresting a sitting chief minister Without and facing the embarrassment. Yes. 
in the court of being pulled up yes. by the court yes. saying that you do not have reasons to arrest him. Yes. So would they take that risk? They would not. I mean, and so look at the kind of stance Supreme Court has taken over the last couple of weeks or not. They have been very tough. And uh, there is no indulgence whatsoever with whatever position the government takes. So obviously, agencies like the Enforcement Directorate and CBI, which are uh, under attack from the opposition, they would not take any chance whatsoever in so far as documents, evidence, and collation of data is concerned. Correct, correct. So I, I believe, uh, and all those people who are attacking these agencies uh, on the panel also would understand yeah. that when everything is happening under such a glare lens of media and court scrutiny, the agencies would be very cautious and conscious of the fact that their work is under great scrutiny. Yeah. And today they shared their work with the Honorable Judge. Yeah. Today the ED showed every document they have, all proofs they have, mail trail, money trail, everything to the, to the, to the High Court Judge and then left the Judge decide the judge whether you want to give protection or not. So the, the Judge did not give protection. So, why are you not yes. him so, if you have so, so, so fundamentally I think I'll take a break at this point. Viewers, uh, when I come back, I'm going to go live because Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. But my last information is on the ground that he has not been physically taken to his residence yet. Now, how do I look at it? Viewers, the liquor gate scam is under investigation. These are pictures here. Let's hear the ambient sound. Okay, these are... I'm not getting audio here in the studio. Okay, so, 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 so ladies and gentlemen, Manish Sisodia, who is one of the accused in the Delhi Liquor Gate scam case, former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, he has also got multiple criminal charges slapped on him by the CBI. What I'm trying to say is this is not just a PMLA case, this is not just an ED case, this is also a criminal case under investigation under IPC Section 20B. So there are serious charges out here. Uh, there is no doubt that there was a liquor scam. The only difficulty for the agencies will be that Arvind Kejriwal, so far as I know, has not had signing authority on any of these cases. So, yes. you know, the people who have been signing off on the files have been Manish Sodia and others. However, is there something else which can be established which corroborates his role? Viewers, Kejriwal arrested. I'm back in a few minutes. elections are just round the corner and if you are someone who is wondering how postal ballots work then this video is for you firstly let's understand a concept called postal voting Postal voting, also known as absentee voting, is a method of voting in which electors cast their ballots by mail rather than in person at a polling station. Postal ballots offer a convenient and secure way to cast your vote without having to leave your home. However, not everyone is eligible to apply for postal voting. There is a particular criterion that you have to tick before you can register yourself. I want to tell you that कि भौगोलिक सांस्कृतिक सामाजिक रूप से विविध इतने बड़े देश में चुनाव कराने के लिए हमने अपने आप को कैसे ओवर दी टू ईयर्स पीरियड तैयार किया है दुनिया के सबसे बड़े लोकतंत्र के चुनावों में लॉजिस्टिक्स और मटेरियल प्रबंधन ही अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ी चुनौती है तो लेट अस शो यू व्हाट इज द मैग्नीट्यूड बाय व्हिच वी आर डूइंग दिस इलेक्शंस वी हैव 97 करोड़ रजिस्टर्ड वोटर्स more than the combined voters of uh, a few com continents put together, America, Europe, uh, Australia, all many put together. Over 10.5 lakh polling stations. And how many people conduct it? 1.5 crore polling officials and security officials conduct those elections. More than 55 lakh EVMs, 4 lakh vehicles. And what have we done now? 17 general elections to the parliament. 400 से ज्यादा असेंबली इलेक्शंस कर चुके हैं ये इलेक्शन कमीशन का एक लीगेसी है 16 प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शंस 16 वाइस प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शंस ए ट्रूली गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड इट्स ए गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड इन द एंटायर इलेक्शन मैनेजमेंट 
the postal ballot method is particularly used for those individuals who are unable to vote in person due to various reasons such as being engaged in essential services on election day the eligibility criteria for postal ballots vary depending on the specific election and jurisdiction however some common categories of eligible voters include members of the armed forces paramilitary forces and other government employees deployed on election duty far from their home constituencies government officials and polling staff who are assigned duties at polling stations other than their own media persons on election duty who are carrying authorized letters from the election commission can cast their votes via postal ballots Fourth are essential workers those employed in essential services like metros railways healthcare are eligible to vote via postal ballots in the Lok Sabha and four state assembly elections besides state police personnel on election duty polling personnel and embassy staff on postings abroad can also use this facility to apply for a postal ballot eligible voters must submit an application to the returning officer of their respective constituency The application form typically requires personal details, voter identification information and the reason for seeking a postal ballot. The RO verifies the eligibility of the applicant and issues the postal ballot if the criteria are met. The process of postal voting is quite simple but at the same time sensitive too as all the procedures must be followed with utmost care. Once the application is approved the RO sends the postal ballot to the voter's registered address the ballot package typically includes the ballot paper a declaration form a secrecy sleeve and a prepaid return envelope the voter marks their preferred candidate on the ballot paper in the secrecy sleeve to ensure confidentiality the voter completes the declaration form providing their signature and other relevant details later on the voter affixes the postage stamp provided and mails the return on the lock to the designated address within the specific time various steps are taken to ensure fairness and integrity of postal voting and various safeguarding methods that are implemented that include strict eligibility criteria and an application process clear guidelines for marking and returning postal ballots and scrutiny of postal ballots to identify and reject invalid votes Postal ballots offer a valuable option for eligible voters who are unable to vote in person. By ensuring smooth voting, postal ballots promote inclusivity and accessibility in the electoral process. The general election for 543 Lok Sabha seats will be held in seven phases from the 19th of April with counting to be held on the 4th of June. Elections to state legislatures of Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Odisha and Sikkim will also be held during the same period. So are you eligible to cast your vote through postal ballot? Let us know in the comments below. No Manchester United tem sido coletivamente não tem sido uma época bem conseguida. Um, individualmente eu tenho, tenho noção, perfeita noção que, que tinha capacidade, tenho capacidade para fazer mais e melhor, como sempre um, mas não, não estou neste momento preocupado nisso porque aquilo que eu, que eu venho sempre a dizer é que o meu empenho e a minha dedicação está sempre no, no máximo independentemente de ser a, a representar a Portugal ou, ou Manchester United por isso eu fico, fico tranquilo em relação a isso uh, sabendo que uh, a qualidade das exibições pode sempre melhorar o sonho está, está bem presente na, nas nossas cabeças, juntamente com o nosso povo, com o nosso país. Queremos, queremos voltar a dar essa alegria uh, que todo esse grupo em 2000, 2016 nos deu a nós, porque eu estava de fora, mas senti-me como se fosse um deles, porque é o que eu digo, é o, é o, é o nosso país, é a nossa seleção, é, é algo que nós, todos nós sonhamos em representar e ter essa possibilidade de agora sermos nós a dar essa alegria ao nosso povo, uh, não existe nada melhor do que isso. Let's straight away go and have a conversation with Golden Lal Bhai of Urban Limited and understand how are we looking at the textile industry specifically in Gujarat and elsewhere in the country. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on Republic TV. Uh, first up, if I could speak to you about your sector, I'd talk to you about textile and talk to you about where we are today in the sector and specifically.
From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the debate. And now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion. The big story today is that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Now, I followed Arvind Kejriwal's career extremely closely for the longest period of time. In fact, at some point of time, people said that I was responsible for providing sort of media support for the Aam Aadmi Party's predecessor, which was India Against Corruption. And I always held the view that we were not supporting an individual. We were at that point of time supporting a cause. Viewers, I clearly remember at that time, Arvind Kejriwal came into my studios and promised to me that he would never join politics. So Arvind Kejriwal is known to change his position and nobody knows that more than me. However, today he is in a vulnerable position. What is my reading of the situation? What I would like to tell you on the nation's sharpest opinion this evening, dear viewers, and if you look at the situation very, very logically, is that it's absolutely an all-out case now. Either Arvind Kejriwal gets fully exonerated, in which case it's going to be supremely embarrassing for the BJP, or Arvind Kejriwal gets convicted, in which case it is going to be the very end of his political career. There is no halfway house in cases like this. And therefore, Arvind Kejriwal knows that. The BJP knows that. The central government knows that. Now, if Arvind Kejriwal, after being arrested, gets the support of the courts, if the courts say there is no case, it'll be a body blow for the central government before the general election. And I think knowing all of these variables, there would have been some very cool political calculation done by the central government. That if it is going in for the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, it better have enough information to back up and build a case against him. Now, on the other side, Arvind Kejriwal's entire political career has been built not on the freebies which he started giving when he was Chief Minister. It has been built fundamentally on his initial positioning as an anti-corruption crusader. Whether he was in reality one or not, we can't argue about it. Some people say it's arguable, but the fact is that when he started his political career, he was seen to be one of the followers of Anna Hazare. And it was the anti-corruption campaign. A lot, viewers, a lot has changed since the spring of 2011 and the spring of 2024. In these 13 years, Arvind Kejriwal has become an absolutely hardened politician. Arvind Kejriwal knows that it's all out. Arvind Kejriwal has made fundamental mistakes. He has used taxpayers' money to build himself an extremely expensive home and things like that, which are not good for public perception. But he's also been extremely careful. On no document or government policy has he ever taken his own signature, which means he has always tried to look at the long-term political career that he has ahead of him and uh, try and wait what works for him, what does not work for him, and try and, if required, put the blame on his colleagues, whether it be Manish Sisodia, whether it be Satender Jain, but made sure that none of that taint ever comes back to him. So, viewers, also tonight, another point to make is that the Congress party is in a spot. Because this is the very Congress that had said that the entire Kejriwal government, the entire Kejriwal cabinet is immersed in corruption. And when did they say that? They said that in 2023. And as an icing on the cake, the Congress party said the chief minister should be arrested for corruption. I would like to remind the viewers tonight that it will be very difficult for the Congress party to do what it has to do after this because the Congress party had said that because of Liquor Gate, Arvind Kejriwal is drenched in corruption and Arvind Kejriwal should be arrested in Liquor Gate. This was till a few months back, 2023. Arvind Kejriwal pretended to be the beacon of the anti-VVIP racism. He was against the Lal Bhatti, but ladies and gentlemen, this is the same Kejriwal is doing in his own sauce, viewers. Therefore, some people would say it is time for the mask of morality or rather immorality of Arvind Kejriwal to come off. It is time for the people 
to see his real face out here, the very people who believed in his story of being the Aam Admi with having the strong values of the middle class will now define his future. So viewers, these are some very you know, clear questions that emerge out of the situation tonight. Let me go first to Shawan to get a sense of what's happening. Shawan, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. How many people have turned up outside Kejriwal's house and why is he not being taken out yet? And what's, what's going to happen now that he's been arrested? Well, well, in fact, the arrest memo has already been served. In fact, the grounds of arrest has already been read out to the chief minister. The reason for the delay that we are seeing right now is because of a law and order situation uh, that is basically developing outside the chief minister's residence. I'll just quickly show you. Uh, these are the images of senior Ahmadi party leaders who are out on the road right now. Uh, you have Atishi here. And, and several of the other Ahmadi Party leaders. Now, this, as you can see right now, Arnav, this entire area has been completely blocked because a short while back, you've had senior Ahmadi Party leaders uh, blocking this road, not allowing any movement to take place. So, you have had the rapid action force that has been brought in on both sides. So, on the other side, it's on the other side is where the Chief Minister's residence is. That area has been completely uh, barricaded. We're expecting that to happen in a short while from now. Meanwhile, there has been an additional deployment that has been brought in uh, that too at uh, the Enforcement Directorate's uh, office. So in a short while from now, it's expected that he'll be taken out. That's where a medical examination will also take place. But yes, there is a law and order situation building outside the Chief Minister's residence. Okay, Shawan is there. Abhishek. You mentioned about the fact that Kejriwal cut his teeth into Other politics uh, with, with anti-VVIP movement. But look at what's happening really. Almost 5 to 7 kilometer jams is what we are getting to understand. Shawan was just mentioning about the law and order situation. People are coming out, blocking roads and obviously this is being mobilized and orchestrated. Yeah. So this is not following the letter and spirit of the law. This is trying to hoodwink, manipulate, etc. In terms of when you're facing the law. Also, also the fact that you were mentioning about Arvind Kejriwal not signing any document. Now, there is this section in IPC, now the BNS would have a different number uh, in the Bharatiya Nyaya uh, Sanhita. Uh, section 33 read along with section 120B of the IPC, which is conspiracy taken together with common intention and common objective. Then you don't need a signature because if you're part of a conspiracy, there is common intent. If something is proof for one, it proves for everyone involved in the conspiracy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think... So I think that, that, bit, that bit of homework, obviously, the agencies would have done. So the whole attempt here, Aishwarya, has been to try and project Arvind Kejriwal as the ringmaster. What they call loosely the kingpin. Kingpin. The kingpin of the scam. Uh, the Ahmadmi party says that you, you, this is a positioning you've created, but you don't have concrete evidence against Kejriwal yet. What's the inner thinking in government circles within the ED, within the BJP that you're hearing? It's very clear. As far as BJP is concerned, BJP says, let the agencies decide. And today, the agencies, because the allegation which the Amadmi party levels onto the agency, that they work on the behest of the government, that is the BJP. So today, the agency gave all the documents, all the proofs they had to the judge. And allowed... What do you mean, and all the proof? I mean, no, they proof presented against, the complete against file Kejriwal. against Kejriwal. Against, against and Kejriwal. not only Kejriwal, the whole mail trail, the whole line of connection between Samir Mahindru, Vijay Nair... All the people who are involved in this liquor scam and confidential then, information yes, was shared which, which with has, the High which, Court. Yeah. With, with the Delhi High Court judge today. Okay. And then he was told, Sir, there is only one request. Please don't share it with anyone else. And now you decide. Okay. Should so, protection be given? So, Should so, protection so, be so, given? So, so, and he said, No. Don't forget, there are approvers yeah. or not. There are approvers. Yes, there are, there and are Kavita, we are still not questioning. The BRS leader said, No, there is no connection. The day after K. Kavita was, was arrested or not, for the Things first time, Arvind Kejriwal that. was made a co-conspirator with an amount of 100 crore being mentioned yeah. by ED. True. So, uh, I'd like to go across to Siddharth, who's on the debate right now. Siddharth Sharma of the Ahmadmi Party and Pratush Kant of the BJP Already. is with us. Uh, we have with us Subrashta, I see her on the screen. Uh, now, a point being made here, Siddharth. I can see, I, I appreciate the fact that you are smiling, you have a smiling face tonight. Your other colleague was so angry, he almost exploded on the show, Akshay Marathe. But you are a man with more experience. Uh, however, the, 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 the specific point tonight, it's, it's futile to ask you for your reaction because I know what your reaction will be. 
the specific point we are coming to tonight with you siddharth is that uh, the court was given a file and pratyush please pay attention to this the the government was very keen to win the case to make sure that arvind kejriwal does not get any protection from arrest so the government went all out and through additional solicitor general sv raju it placed i am told a full confidential envelope and file before the honorable judge and said my lords here is the information on the basis of which we have to interrogate him take action against him him being arvind kejriwal but the court was also requested by the agency that this is highly confidential and very explosive information regarding mr kejriwal and i am sharing this with you in confidence and please do not stop us from arresting him if necessary the honorable high court saw the file siddharth and after seeing the file said you have to cooperate and i am not going to give you any protection from arrest so obviously there is some information which has been shared with the courts some very sensitive facts some astonishing details perhaps have been shared by the courts with the courts so siddharth this is going through legal process yeah <coughs> no it's not a fishnet anymore answer? it's a very straightforward accurate legal process yes uh let me at the very outset tell you that uh, uh hundreds of years, nearly 100 years ago we also saw that uh, when faced with a bradman the england cricket team led by douglas jardine resorted to body line bowling now it was for the people to judge whether that was right or wrong that was that was one of the reasons why i was smiling this is in politics as in sports uh, you you compete you compete everything becomes fair in a war and politics anyway i'll come to the very specific points uh, the legal <coughs> jargon that you were speaking to and i think the, the viewers of uh, republic tv also have a right to know what happened today in the courts i'll be very succinct it will be very crisp uh, hardly 10 sentences within 10 sentences i like uh, today what happened was arvind kejriwal challenged ed notices to him uh, the court gave ed april 22nd to respond uh, if if earlier as you said the uh, the the court was apprised of some sensitive information the court would have said ask arvind kejriwal to uh, get arrested forthwith or or cooperate with the ed forthwith it did not do so it uh, the court gave ed 22nd april to respond the ed had earlier in its own press release has named arvind kejriwal as the top leader of aam aadmi party but paradoxically in court today the ed said that it was it has neither named him named him as an accused nor wants to question him as an aam aadmi party leader now going further the ed also said that it can arrest anybody any time but it had not done so till that time now what these things make clear it is now clear that there is no, no money trail found either with arvind kejriwal as a person or as an accused now ed had two options today after that either respect law and convince the court on april 22nd that arvind kejriwal was some kind of beneficiary or the ed had an option to respect the bjp and arrest a constitutional figure who was neither an accused nor a beneficiary in ed's own admission now this was a catch 22 situation for for bjp it had to arrest arvind kejriwal knowing fully well that it is doing so at its own peril to, and confessing to its panic that it does not have answer to arvind kejriwal's model of governance it is as simple as that every even a layman today knows that sub judice matters can't be acted upon still bjp going ahead means uh, bjp is so spooked by aam aadmi party that it can go from illegal to blatant acts to stop arvind kejriwal it is now crystal clear that after getting ca caught pants down today incidentally what had happened today was at 5 o'clock the election commission had also put on on its website the 8250 crore illegal money that bjp had so bjp had those is illegal funds that publication desperately bjp needed a headline change and i think that is what they are trying to do now as far as aam aadmi party is concerned arvind kejriwal is a model of governance that model of governance uh, got acceptance not just in delhi but punjab also i think so that you are one, one minute uh, 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 one minute uh, can i can i can i can i stop you right there sir absolutely see what you're happens sure. is you're that sure. 
what happens what happens is that i i think that we must remain a, keep our focus and my focus is on the legal case that has to be there or not there against mr kejriwal before that once let me go across to deepak uh, shavan is there of course deepak if you can hear me what's your location what's happening around you right now sir, what are you hearing about when mr kejriwal may be brought out and why is it taking so much time Right, Arnab. Uh, I'm currently outside uh, the ED headquarters, and behind me, if I could ask my uh, video journalist to pan and show you, these are Thank the you. barricades that have been no set up here. outside the ED There's headquarters. No Heavy security deployment has also been put in place at the ED office, and, and beyond these barricades, that's where the Arvind Kejriwal will be taken, and uh, further questioning will be done. And uh, what we are also getting to understand here is that uh, four companies of paramilitary force, as well as hundred police, Delhi police force, have been. deployed across uh, the national capital all the roads leading from the delhi chief minister's residence till the ed office uh, the entire uh, route has been jam packed and uh, the police deployment is also high in the roads leading up to the ed headquarters so what we are given to understand is that shortly arvind kejriwal will be brought to the ed headquarters where uh, rml uh, health officials will carry out his medical examination similar uh, a uh, situation as to what happened with uh, sanjay singh and uh, satyendra jain as well so similar process will be followed first yes. arvind kejriwal okay. will be brought to uh, the ed headquarters after which uh, a medical examination will happen rml uh, health officials will also reach uh, the ed headquarters four companies of paramilitary forces and also 100 police uh, delhi police have been deployed and if i could show you the route leading up to uh, the enforcement directorate's office uh, delhi police uh, you know uh, convoys have been rallying up and down this road to uh, to detect any sort of untoward incident and it is also expected that a large number of aam aadmi party leaders will also arrive at the enforcement Department Directorate's uh, headquarters right here. Okay. And in thank view you. of thank uh, you, Deepak. Uh, thank you, thank you, Deepak. Thank you, thank you, Deepak. Deepak, the the there is a there is another question here now. <coughs> Pratyush, the Aam Aadmi Party says Arvind Kejriwal will be Chief Minister from Tihar Jail or from custody. Is this tenable? Is this possible? Can you have the Chief Minister? of delhi run his office from jail i mean there has to be some reasonableness to suggestions now pratyush what's your take on that well whatever kejriwal does doesn't shock me his thought process arnab i really watched this man's career very closely and i'm so surprised that today when he's going to jail i was just remembering that his whole politics is based on lies sitting in delhi he is trying to run punjab basically he was a kingpin to corruption everywhere either you look at water bijli uh, uh, infrastructure projects there was not a single place where he and his people didn't want to make money including the shish mahal which he made where he lives even there the contractors were uh, given money i i mean there's a whole saga of scams which this man was heading all through and today when he goes to jail and i was listening to the aap uh, uh, spokesperson and i realized that he missed a point the aam aadmi party went to the lower court when they saw the papers they didn't listen to him they went to high court they went to double bench they went to the apex court the single judge said there is a clear trail of 300 please don't disturb my time go to the lower court and come to us again even tomorrow he'll get arrested he'll go to supreme court supreme court will never listen to them they will say please follow the due procedure which is laid down in this country that you go to the right appropriate bench and then you come to us kejriwal was trying to ask the ed you send me the questionnaire do it on video chat tomorrow you will ask the judges your lordship you are please give judgment and tell me why you have given this judgment do we have this in our constitution is this man above constitution he was trying to run away from all these summons because he knew that all the roads were leading to his house and eventually finally today the people of delhi will be relieved that this corrupt man <coughs> is going to jail and it was high time he that, had to be fixed because that, delhi has that, really we also in have 10 years pratyush pratyush we have a developing story we have a developing story uh ashwarya wants to come on it the delhi lg is to sub report submit a report to, to, the, report MHA. to the mha absolutely there is a huge issue about whether you can be chief minister uh, from prison 
No, the uh, law. What's the latest on that? Absolutely. At this point of time, keeping in mind that there is a special status of Delhi. Keeping in mind the law in place, what we are being told by our sources that a chief minister cannot be in prison and run the government. This will hamper the process, and in that case, no, is there a technicality there? There is a jail manual. No, there no, is no, a jail no, manual. No, no, no. no. no what, there is no, a jail the, manual, or no? What is the but jail? But this happening for the so first the, time. What, 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 yes, what is the jail? So the jail manual clearly Camera says. Camera two, please. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Jail manual clearly says that there is no provision under which a minister can work from. Inside the jail, a minister, minister or a chief minister, also yeah, a, minister. Yeah, a minister. So the the jail the jail manual in the, the in case of Tihar jail, That's I'm being told, is. is very clear. That is Tihar yeah. jail specific or all jail? No, manual? no. I'm getting to know from Tihar no, jail. It's jail, a jail must be, must be, must the MHA has manual. already sources are clearly telling me MHA has got an active. MHA is saying either he has to be replaced or removed. So it is up to the Ahmadi Party because right now there is a whole bravado of the Ahmadi Party saying Atishi comes out, Swara Bharadwaj comes out. You'll have the Ahmadi Party spokesperson here also comes out and say that no, he will run the government from no, he cannot. The yeah. law doesn't allow that. And in that case, if the Ahmadi Party sticks to it, then either he has to be suspended, a new chief minister has to be sworn in, or the process will follow tomorrow morning. Because till now, the official Ash Shavan was just saying the arrest memo is and, being worked on. Case, the letter is still not out, so the case, LG will be uh, submitting Siddharth, the report. Siddharth, and why, while you are speaking on, why, a, on a, just live movement there, the ED vehicles have just gone in let's, inside the vehicles, I'm and they will be bringing the out. Shot there, if I can get the shot there, or where the movement is coming in, and I put, there, and I'll put that question. I'll go back to Shavan. Shavan, can you be there? Shavan, can you move your camera to where the action is happening? It'll be very useful. Because I think you're being too static today. Why don't you just move to where the action is happening? We'll follow you. Tell your camera person to follow you. Not put his camera on a tripod, please. Can we get out of the tripod shot, please? Can you be on a handheld and move to where the action is happening? Thank you so much. Can that also? Can that instruction also go to the camera persons, the video journalists, with Deepak on their frame? We would like both of you to move to where the action is because it's not. I know we are not going to get the news in if we have you static on the frames where you are. So, Shawan, can you start moving in, please? And while while you move in and while you establish your shot, and while the establishing shot for you is where the action is happening, so you are not away from the place of action. Thank you very much. I would like to go right now to Siddharth. Siddharth, if there is a rule here, you can't defy the rule. Siddharth, Siddharth, you cannot defy the rule. If the rule says that, if the rule says, Siddharth, can you hear me? If yeah, the rule I can hear says you. that you cannot be chief minister from jail, you cannot create new rules for yourself. Yeah, two things. One is that uh, Delhi will not be, Delhi does not get administered through a Tihar jail manual. Point number two, uh, in this same India, the stalwart like Atal Bihari Vajpayee had uh, reminded the of a Raj Dharma to one Mr. Narendra Modi in 2002. Boss. But he did. He did, he chose not to accept it. So right now, Aam Aadmi Party is a political party. We have won with a people's mandate. We have asked the people of Delhi that Arvind Kejriwal gets arrested. What should be done? No, you cannot. And 95 percent of One the minute. people we are of some Delhi shots there. have overwhelmingly said that we have uh, elected Arvind Kejriwal to serve us. He can serve us from wherever he wants to. It's as simple as that. I need I need Shavan to be there. No, no. I, you I, need I, to understand Arvind Kejriwal is not over and above the law. You may feel so, but if no minister, no Arvind Kejriwal, no other minister, irrespective of party, Amadni Party, Congress, BJP, I can't SP, see. and the man who comes out to defend you today is none other but Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Rahul Gandhi is coming uh, out here to defend. But you need to understand. Aishwarya, Aishwarya, that law does not allow that. You cannot. You you law, cannot law superimpose. Does not allow that. You cannot superimpose the Tihar jail manual the law, on the Aishwarya. constitution the of India. Of India. Can Aishwarya. you show me the constitution of India and say that a chief minister cannot shall hmm. be running the chief yeah, ministership yeah. from X, Y, or Z place? Can you show me the constitution of India saying so? If not, let's understand that the law according yes, to explain. you is not I, Delhi I will explain. not be administered according to the RJL the constitution of India. Delhi will be administered according to the constitution of I India. Explain, and if the constitution of India says I can explain, that sir, the under the constitution of India, of India there is a provision of delegated of legislation of once parliament makes a law and delegates Oh, okay, I fine. Concede. Under the uh, Constitution of India, there is a provision of delegated legislation. The Jade Manual comes 
under what is called the delegated legislation and hence it's integral to the constitution of India. And so the chief minister, if he's inside the jail, has to follow the jail manual. My, 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 by, my by essential that, question here right now to Siddharth will be, and Siddharth, I can understand the emotional tenor of what you're saying tonight. Can I have him on the shot and not be on the eight window, Aditi? Thank you. I am asking, I am asking something to Siddharth, Aditi. Thank you so much. Just one minute, Siddharth. Just chill, okay? Yeah. Chill. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm now, Siddharth, Siddharth, listen to me. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a debate, Why was, is, is Manish Sisodia Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi today? He is in jail. He is in jail. For, is he a present Deputy Chief Minister or former Deputy Chief Minister? Well, if you go back to the timeline, you will see that uh, uh, Mr. Manish Sisodia... I can't hear him loud after. enough in the studio. Fall back, please. Yeah. Uh, I think if you go back to the timeline, Arnab, why was he, you will why was see he removed that, as deputy chief minister? Why was he removed by Arvind Kejriwal as deputy chief minister after he went to jail? Two why things. was he if not kept to, if you as go, deputy chief if you minister? Go back to the, and you, why, why did he not operate me, as deputy chief minister from jail? You, you're asking me to defend I've heard your question. No, no, I'm asking you to answer my question. Yeah. But as a defense, you have to give me time to answer. If you go back to the timeline and see, Mr. Manish Sisodia was neither removed from the deputy chief ministership immediately after his arrest. After a considerable period of time, being the uh, deputy chief minister, he himself said that he would have, he would resign. And that is why that action was taken. Please under, go back to the timeline and see. Immediately after his arrest, he was not removed as the deputy chief minister. After a considerable amount of time, period of time, time had uh, elapsed, Mr. Manish Sisodia himself said that he would like to resign and that is why it was accepted. It is as simple as that. Go back to the timeline and see, no? Okay, well, 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 just, 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 just one point. Sir, uh, I would like to remind you that yeah. the Manish Sisodia was Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi. He was arrested. And the post of Deputy Chief Minister has been vacant since the 1st March of last year. However, the post of Chief Minister cannot be kept vacant. It is not vacant. As of because today, Arvind Kejriwal Delhi continues to, to be the Chief Minister. minister. As of Delhi now, may Arvind not have Kejriwal a Deputy Chief Minister, but Delhi has a Chief Minister. It is as no. simple as that. You can't break the rules for that. Where you can't the break the rules for that. It's as simple as that. You want the secretariat? Do you want the, you want the IS officers? Do you want the Delhi secretariat to operate from Tihar jail? If it is not there, it was not there for Mr. Narendra Modi in 2002 when Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee reminded him of Raj Dharma. So what does not apply? What is good for the goose is good for the gander. How come it? How come you, there is some other rule for BJP and other rule for Amadi Party? Point Mr. number Narendra two. Mr. Narendra Modi if was never arrested. Are you out of your mind? Makes him a convict. Mr. Narendra Modi Bihari was never arrested. There is no Mr. point Mr. number two. You are all you on that. Mr. Modi was Yamadji. never arrested. There is no comparison. He was not arrested. When was Mr. Modi arrested? How can you draw a comparison to that? Why, wasn't he asked by the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, to follow Raj Dharma? Was he arrested? What, what was, was he arrested? Isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it right that Mr. Narendra Modi was under Was he arrested? What is that argument? Team? No, no, no. I, I mean, you have, to, you have to be reasonable at some point of time. You can't say anything and get away with it. You can, you can, you can read a nursery rhyme with a lot of force. It doesn't make your point right. Mr. Narendra Modi was under Pratyush, not according this is an emerging law. subject of debate. Can I go back to Shawan, please? Shawan is reporting live. Shawan, what's happening around you? Shawan. I go I go straight to Shavan. I don't have to go to the 11 window. Shavan. Well, in fact, this is the last point from where we can report right now, uh, order because uh, the rapid action force has been deployed here. Uh, all the barricading that has video. been done in a short while from now, we expect it from the other yeah. gate. I'll just, I'll just try and explain this to you. Stay, don't be it's static. Stay in one place. From where we are reporting right now. That's the Chief Minister's residence. This is the Chief Minister's residence, which have been, as you can see,
right now, completely locked. That's the last point. The enforcement director team is right inside. He will be taken out from this is the gate. Right now, there are a number of Ahmadi party workers who have all been gathered here. And what you see right now on my right hand side is the rapid action that has been brought in because there is a bit of a law and order situation that developed a short while back with the roads on the other side from where I was reporting a short while back that was completely blocked. That's the reason why there has been a considerable delay right now. In terms of the arrest formalities, that have been okay, that has already back. been completed, I'm given to understand. In a short while from now, uh, the enforcement directorate's uh, headquarters the where the security the has also been brought in, the arrangements have already been done. Okay, Shavan, uh, I think we're getting a lot of video glitches on that. Uh, Pratyush, uh, the AAP is very, very adamant that Arvind Kejriwal will remain Chief Minister and operate as Chief Minister from Tihar Jail or wherever he is. Right? And they, they would Adla, like to make a political issue of it. Adla, they have all been trained by Arvind Kejriwal. Never believe a word of what they say. They will say something in the morning, by afternoon they will have a press conference and totally deny. And by night, they will change the whole story. There is no element of truth in whatever they say. The rule of the law of the country will prevail. Nobody can run this city uh, of Delhi from jail. This man has to resign. This man will not get bail because the law is so clear. The evidence is there. Look at all those excise scam uh, offenders. They have been in jail for ages because the proof is so strong. The evidence is so strong. Now, Arvind Kejri, Arvind Kejri, I, 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 I never want money and you turned him into an apple and he is now caught free. Isn't it true? Isn't it true for the BJP spokesperson that you arrested Mr. You were, you were talking MP, absolutely nonsense, but still I had the patience to hear you. So you please have patience to hear that. Okay, so just have patience. So you just have patience. Is, uh, I, I, I never I never interfered in what you were saying. You were talking absolutely nonsense also. Siddharth, louder, Aditi, louder. Siddharth. Okay. Aditi. Okay. Arnav, I was trying to make a point here. Which this man is trying to disturb me because he has no other story to tell you. The question is the evidence is so strong against him. So strong against Kejriwal. You see, it, it took time for him. It took time for him to get arrested because the smart man who was not signing paper. Who's handling audio? Who was not signing paper? Louda. Governance deficit. It is as simple as that. The is there is absolutely no recovery of money here. Neither one crore, neither ten crore, neither hundred crore. There is not a single paisa recovery. Still, you are arresting people. You are arresting constitutional authorities. How come? That's on the basis of a person becoming an approver and that approver too having. Abhishek, during the show, do not be on your phone. Has gone to jail for a very long time. That is very long time. And this is this is only one case. The, the innumerable scams where investigations are going on, eventually all of them are going to mature and this man for all the corruption he has done in jail. And there is no running away from they were put, put behind the, the bars. They were under the maintenance of Internal Security Act for nearly 17 months in jail. They, did they stop it? Uh, is BJP saying that Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee and um, um, uh, Mr. Can, Lal Krishna Dwani were national threats? No, they were national heroes. We are also saying national heroes. So what you do with... There, there is a weapon. How do you use that weapon? You have a knife. I think now it is a polarized fight between... BJP's ideology uh, and, and, and the India ideology. Uh, can I get the guess in the screen on the right? Uh, Siddharth, Siddharth, one minute. Siddharth, one minute. Siddharth, one minute. Siddharth, I am not hearing either in the studio now. Whether they want one, one minute, one minute. Siddharth, Siddharth, one minute, one minute. Siddharth, 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 one minute. Siddharth, calm down, Siddharth, calm down. Siddharth, Siddharth, calm down. Siddharth, listen to me. I'm finished. Today, you are fully aware that the case is turning. 
and sanjay singh has been sanjay singh is not running the government in delhi nikhil i cannot hear you in the studio at all kahan kahan se la rahe hain i don't know what you're saying because i can't hear you he should come kahan kahan se la rahe hain kaise laenge pradhanmantri 400 par he should come down uh today sanjay singh is not running the government in delhi manish sisodia is not running the government in delhi satyendra jain is not running the government in delhi if these three individuals are not running the government in delhi because they are from jail siddharth then how can arvind kejriwal run as chief minister from jail arvind kejriwal has denied any of these individuals siddharth he arvind kejriwal has said that once you go to jail you cannot be in the cabinet then how does that same rule not apply to him this is a rule that he brought in he quickly removed his Allocated. existing ministers and brought in atishi why can't atishi be chief minister of delhi i think while he's in jail when he comes out if he is cleared then he can take over again or no what i have answered to earlier minister. to your question about the timeline of manish i think rinki has papa should be the chief minister i will not go go into repeating uh, repeating it again suffice to say that delhi has a governance model arvind kejriwal as of now is the chief minister of delhi where does the constitution stop ask mr kejriwal to run delhi from x y or z place anybody in the bjp can show it bjp cannot show it so let, let, let us agree uh, let us stop it at that now as far as public image is concerned as far as po politics is concerned aam aadmi party and the people of delhi have overwhelmingly said that they have voted for arvind kejriwal to serve serve them and they don't really care from where he serves as long as he serves them and that is what aam aadmi party is doing and that is what has spooked bjp to this extent today that with today itself I'll, uh, at the cost of repetition i'll say or not today itself in the court the, the ed said that arvind kejriwal is neither an accused as a person nor does it have any nor nor is it asking arvind who kejriwal who has said all this who him, has said that he is not an accused what are you talking about any accused or am admi party's leader why even it was changed within 2 hours the only thing that changed is he, he, he has been you you are not arrested you don't get bail like this what are you saying the lawyer was pleading to the lord chief today that lord chief please ensure that he is not arrested why did the lord chief give him any relief because the evidence was so clear about him it knew that it's which was you you are saying something which has no makes no sense it is it is becoming you say something which is sensible that this debate can be taken further you are you are trying to create stories which is not true at all you cannot challenge the indian democracy like this Douglas Jardine and Harold Larwood. Oh, Why aren't your lawyers today begging that please say we are being arrested? What did the lordship the say? The lordship clearly said. Do you want to say? I will see the documents. BJP you please go and face the ED. You can change the story point, as you want to. The people of India today, in the next two months, will vote for you. Nobody, nobody can sit on a national chair. That's what you are doing. What if Congress is joining the protest on ground? Okay. 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 You have Indra Singh Lovely. Now, 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 my question to Nikhil and uh, Nikhil and Subrashta is Nikhil, Nikhil, Nikhil and Subrashta on the screen, please. And can I have the audio in the studio? Nikhil, the Congress Party had said that Arvind Kejriwal should be arrested because he is the mastermind of corruption in the Liquor Gate scam. Today, the government has done what the Congress wanted. This was the very statement of the Congress. that the aam aadmi party is at the center of liquor gate and arvind kejriwal is the mastermind and arvind kejriwal should therefore be arrested anand the audio is not clear i can't hear you arnab may i may i have just been informed that the congress Arnab, the, that the congress party is joining the protest so i'm reminding everyone yes subrashta coming to you i am reminding everyone that it is the congress party which had said that arvind kejriwal should be arrested because of liquor gate so please keep that in mind when the congress party joins the protest along with the aam aadmi party tonight yes subrashta uh arnab there are two three things which are very clear point number 1 today arvind kejriwal has lost any kind of moral high ground that he was in he should take moral responsibility and he should resign i think 
I don't want to get into legalities right now, but this is what he should do. Point number two. This country has had a, you know, there, there have been precedents in the past. We have seen Yadurappa ji, Uma Bharati ji, Lalu Yadav ji, Jai Lalita ji all resign. They never said, I, mean, I, I didn't hear this narrative of there is emergency in the country, that there is politics happening all around. People, when they were accused, when a lot of evidences came to the forefront, they fought the entire case. They did continue in politics. Nobody is asking <coughs> Arvind Kejriwal to resign from politics. But the constitutional post that he has, there is a sanctity attached to the post. And for the different kind of politics that he was trying to endorse, I think he should just take moral responsibility and resign. Also, you know, uh, there are a lot of these big talks being made by Amadni Party leaders. Let us understand that... Agar Arvind Kejriwal ke man mein, I am talking especially to, to, about the India Alliance leaders. If these guys are fighting for the constitution and fighting for the rule of law and fighting for different the sanctity of different institutions, unko in sabhi sansthaon ke saamne sar jhukana chahiye. Unki tuch aur boni mahato kangsha ke aage ye sansthaen bohut badi hain. Bharosa rakhe, janta pe bharosa rakhe. अपने कर्मों पर भरोसा रखें, रिजाइन करें। के आगे सार झुकाएं सारे विपक्षी नेता। अपने कर्मों पर भरोसा तो विपक्षी राजा इतने कमजोर कैसे पड़ गए? राजा की छप्पन इंच की छाती कहाँ गई सुब्राचा? I don't understand this. What are you talking about? That political leaders in a country have to bow down before a case parrot agency of your dictator prime minister. What are you talking about? I am talking about the fact that when you are given Raja ki isi shaktiyon se kaladne ki baate ho rahi hai You look at the principal opposition party of the country The congress party, all its bank accounts have been frozen JMM chief minister has been put behind bars Deputy chief minister of Delhi has been behind bars Now the chief minister of Delhi is behind bars None of these people have been convicted You are talking about Lalu Prasad ji Lalu Prasad ji resigned from the post when he was convicted by a court by a judicial process Not by a sham kangaroo court of ED What you are doing right now is put Putting the entire opposition of the country behind bars of trumped up fake charges without any judicial process, you are stifling democracy in the country. The world is looking at us, and you made this country into a mockery. For the past 74 years, India has been a democratic republic, despite being a poor country with a low literacy level. When we started out, when the British left, India maintained, continued to be a democracy through successive parties and governments. But your dear Supreme Leader. I'm sorry to break this news to you. India's democracy does not seek validation from Arvind. We must keep ministership. Let it sink in your head. If Arvind Kejriwal has committed has committed grave financial errors, he will have to go to jail without any conviction by a court of law. What are we talking about? What mockery is this? We are talking about the sanctity of constitutional institutions in this country. We are talking about the fact Why that there is a grown man in Delhi Why who is being arrested by the police Why today. The ED not and the grown man refuses, refuses Modi when he quite blatantly, shamelessly, and does not vacate his seat. He, he does not the have the moral gumption to go, go and Ajit fight for in the court of law for and Mwadikari. in the court of public. Why is there no this is what they are talking Why about. Why is the law not acting on that? And let me because tell you again, Arvind Kejriwal remaining in politics, to get Arvind Kejriwal remaining as a chief minister of Delhi is not a validation, it's not a criteria of how my democracy functions. How can you not see this in Russia? Hakim Rizwan Elahi. Uh, before I get Siddharth back, Hakim Rizwan Elahi is, a, is a, leans towards the AAP. Hakim, Hakim, if one minute, can I get Hakim in, please? Thank you. Replace on the right. Hakim, Nikhil, thanks very much. Hakim, if Kejriwal is made and accused formally, then should he quit? At least if he's formally made and accused, like Sanjay Singh was formally made and accused two days back. If he's formally made and accused in Liquor Gate, which seems likely, then should he quit? <coughs> I can't hear him in the studio, please. Can you unmute yourself, please? Okay, I don't think I can hear Hakim there. 
the question that emerges right now. Can I go to Shawan, please, if I can go live to the shots full frame, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see what exactly is going on at the spot right now because it's been a very, very long time. We are waiting for any information on what's happening. I would like to stay with those pictures. Yes, Aditi, thank you very much. I'd like to stay with the pictures. And viewers, I'll give you a commentary over what's going on. Uh, I'm getting the freeze frame pictures. I'm sure there are lots of feeds there right now. I'm sure we have Shavan live on Deepak's camera. And I hope that that camera can be made to be live. Deepti, if it's not a problem. Uh, Shavan, can you hear me? Can I take Shavan's audio because he can completely hear me? Not get the pixelated frame on the screen. But I would like the non-pixelated video over Shavan's video. Aditi, can you please do that? Thank you so much. Shavan, what's happening, please? What's happening right now, please? Well, in fact, all the procedures have been completed over the delays because of the law. Yes, sir. 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 The same Congress party is welcoming the move of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Both are on camera, on record statements, so a clear division, no clarity. But that's the story of the Congress party. So but what is these are live what issues. What is intriguing me right now is why oh, no. they have not been able to bring Arvind Kejriwal out of the house. Because I, the process I would, is still on. I would, be, I would be very, very keen to know what exactly is going on. The process doesn't happen so no, far. No, it took six hours so or Obviously, no. With, no, no, no. It, Manish, with him and Soren, no, no. With it, Soren, it, it took it six take, hours. But this is clearly a situation here where the ED is facing some discomfort inside. And Arvind Kejriwal knows that he can stretch this. So obviously, politically, the game plan here is to get the maximum number of people outside the residence and make it difficult, make it, yeah. uh, make it as difficult as possible yeah. and make a big political spectacle out of it, Abhishek. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here because it's extraordinary. Rama. If he has been arrested yeah. at around 9 o'clock, sharp 9 o'clock, on top of 9, then this is taking extremely long. It's been two hours. And the entire force of the ED has been unable to take Kejriwal out. Now, I'm getting to hear that in that entire neighborhood, there are long, jam, long jams and uh, there is mobilization happening. These are people who are not there just because they happen to be there, but they have been brought in. And so, obviously, uh, the, as Shavas, Shavan was also mentioning, that there was briefly a law and order situation also. So, uh, so, every attempt is being made to obviously intimidate the agencies into conduct conducting themselves in a certain fashion. Remember, just a couple of hours back before the news broke of uh, arrest of uh, Arvind Kejriwal, the agency had to requisition security from uh, Delhi police for their headquarters. From, from CRPF or PALA, all the complete para, paramilitary forces have been called in and that was someone was just showing us. You have Atishi coming there, you have Saurabh Bharadwaj coming there, you have the complete you have at least 30 MLAs of the Amadmi party and then calling their supporters. Rakhi Birla has been detained, so all of this has been deliberately done. And those are the live visuals coming in of CRPF and RAF, which has been deployed right outside. But those, those lanes of civil lines of Delhi, that is old Delhi. So roads are not that broad, so Delhi police is trying to create that space so that the ED vehicles can move out. They have barricaded, they have put in jammers and that's why we are having difficulty in getting Shavan's frame which we will so be may, getting within the next 30 seconds. Yes, so maybe the delay is assured uh, just because the agencies want to be doubly sure that there is no law and order situation when the Chief Minister of Delhi is brought no, out. No, but I that think, is what I the think, Amadhi think, party is deliberately think, trying to do. I think the delay is that you are dealing with the Chief Minister. He knows procedural issues. He will have his people around him. He can make uh, several reasons to delay it. I know he can't, he knows he can't delay it indefinitely, but he can delay it by another couple of hours. He, been, he knows that because people are watching. Because there is a parallel movement happening. Their legal because, team is at the Supreme Court to register he's office. going to buy time till he can get a midnight hearing. Once they know that midnight hearing is happening or not happening, and on that itself, we have got very differing uh, feedback. Initially, we were told there will be a midnight hearing. 
But then after then that, you... I thought there was a statement, I'm not sure, yes. by the by Abhishek Manu Singhvi who came and said, no, we are not pushing for a midnight hearing at all. And we then do there not was want another push... turn. And then there was another yeah. turn and the AAP said again that, no, no, we want a midnight hearing. They're going hearing. to arrest us. We don't know. Presence. And I, I personally do not expect the Supreme Court to be that overindulgent in this case. Okay, Shavan is just giving the... some information or not yes, that he's me. saying that the delay is happening because the arrest memo has to be signed by Arvind Kejriwal, which he has not signed. So he's once again not cooperating. So this is precisely so is because what I was of the saying Arvind, that, yes. that, that it's yes. Arvind Kejriwal. Kejriwal is blocking it yes. and who's refusing to cooperate, yes. knowing fully well that there's a situation that is developing outside. Now, if in a situation he knows that he's foul of the law, but he's not foul of politics. So it's a smart game by Arvind Kejriwal where he's saying, I don't care, I'm going to be arrested anyway. I'm going to make this some kind of arrest satyagraha out here okay. and I'm going to stand there and I'm going to make it extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. And I hope that at the same time while I'm doing that, thousands of people will gather outside my house and this is a matter which is going to get me a lot of publicity in a short or limited run. He knows that he has this time period between now and when he's in custody. Because once he's in custody, everything changes. It is the short window that he has now, which he's going to capitalize the most out of. And that is exactly what we are seeing here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very interesting play. It's very interesting developments, very close developments, very fast developments which are happening here. We are told right now, and that's the breaking news on the grid, that Arvind Kejriwal is refusing to sign the arrest memo. But there must be a way beyond that. I, I don't know if Shawan is on with us, but there has to be a way beyond that, Shawan, that even if someone does not sign an arrest memo, that way nobody would ever be arrested. If every person who was an accused or someone who was going to be picked up knew that by not signing the arrest memo, a person would, uh, would avoid being arrested, then it would be a very convenient way of ever, nobody ever being arrested. So I don't think this is going to work. Uh, so let me see if I have with me uh, uh, Hakim Rizwan yet. Shawan is back. I think we have a better frame of him. Shawan, what's going on? You gave an update, Shawan, sometime back. We heard that update. We just carried it that KGWAL is not signing the arrest memo. Now that you are in and we are getting your frame, tell us everything that we missed last 20 minutes. Well, in fact, the arrest memo has already been served, but he has to sign that. There has been a considerable delay. The last update I got, that, uh, they haven't got the signature of the chief minister. It's pretty much a in fact, there was almost three hours of delay by Amity has been ranked India's number one private university for the 11th year by India Today, a testimony to Amity's world-class education whilst imbibing values and sanskars in students. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with No Manchester United tem sido, coletivamente, não tem sido uma época bem conseguida. Um, individualmente, eu tenho, tenho noção, perfeita noção, que, que tinha capacidade, tenho capacidade para fazer mais e melhor, como sempre. Um, mas não, não estou, neste momento, preocupado nisso, porque aquilo que eu, que eu venho sempre a dizer é que o meu empenho e a minha dedicação está sempre no, no máximo, independentemente de ser a, a representar a Portugal ou o Manchester United, por isso eu fico, fico tranquilo em relação a isso, uh, sabendo que uh, a qualidade das exibições pode sempre melhorar. O sonho está, está bem presente na, nas nossas cabeças, juntamente com o nosso povo, com o nosso país, Queremos, queremos voltar a dar essa alegria uh, que todo esse grupo em 2016 nos deu a nós, porque eu estava de fora, mas 
senti-me como se fosse um deles, porque é o que eu digo, é o, é o, é o nosso país, é a nossa seleção, é, é algo que nós, todos nós sonhamos em representar e ter essa possibilidade de agora sermos nós a dar essa alegria ao nosso povo, não existe nada melhor do que isso. Ja gut, jetzt ist auch äh, alles andere, bisher war ja Vorbereitung, jetzt ist auch gut mit Schreiben, jetzt geht es ans Machen. Ähm, deswegen, das ist ja auch der Grund, <lacht> warum ich zurückgekommen bin, weil ich äh, wieder bei der Mannschaft sein wollte, trainieren wollte. Jetzt haben wir trainiert heute und ähm, jetzt geht es dann um Fußball. Äh, also ich freue mich da zu sein. Ja. Ich glaube nicht, dass ich irgendjemandem noch was beweisen muss, aber ähm, mir geht es darum, ähm, als der Bundestrainer sich gemeldet hat, ähm, ob ich, ob ich ähm, ja, Lust habe, dieses Turnier zu spielen, geht es mir natürlich in erster Linie darum, der Mannschaft helfen zu können. Äh, die Frage habe ich mir gestellt ähm, und ähm, das glaube ich mit Ja zu beantworten, das glaubt der Bundestrainer mit Ja zu beantworten und dementsprechend ist das äh, eine Entscheidung in diesem Rahmen gewesen und gar nicht was, was Wertschätzung betrifft. Wenn ich dann eben die Möglichkeit sehe, noch helfen zu können, wenn, ähm, wenn da eine, eine, ein Turnier ist, was natürlich für jeden Fußballer brutal interessant ist, eine EM im eigenen Land, ähm, dann, dann hat das einfach nachher am Ende überwogen. Äh, man muss, klar muss man auch sagen, dass, dass Julian das äh, sehr, sehr gut gemacht hat, dass er zu keinem Zeitpunkt auch, auch, auch Druck gemacht hat, in irgendeiner Form zu sagen, ich muss das jetzt unbedingt morgen oder was auch immer wissen. Also es sind ja viele Sachen nicht klar, was nach der EM ähm, passiert. Ähm, ich habe ja aktuell nicht mal einen Vertrag für die nächste Saison. Das heißt, da ist es schwierig. Äh, das sollte ich erst mal klären. Ähm, Haken tut es nirgends. Also ähm, da, 
Dazu ist die Ausgangssituation zu klar, dazu ist das Verhältnis von mir zum Club zu, zu gut, als dass es da irgendwo äh, haken könnte. Und ich glaube, da sind beide Seiten ähm, sehr entspannt und können wir auch sein, weil wir sind gut unterwegs in der Saison. Die Saison läuft gut für mich persönlich. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Arvind Kejriwal knows that under 99% of the time he will not get a special hearing. This is all buying time. What is happening outside is the real story. They want a lot of people outside so that we know, they know that when Kejriwal is taken out after 12 o'clock, there will be a large number of people. They will make it a moment for opposition unity, etc., etc. But Nikhil, if Kejriwal is denied bail, I'm sure these lawyers are going to rush for bail. If he's denied bail once, twice, thrice, then the going gets tough, doesn't it? Arnab, then the BJP succeeds in its idea of creating a constitutional crisis in Delhi that you have an elected chief minister who's being kept in custody behind jail without any conviction by a court of law. This is classic case of being afraid of the opposition. That is what Narendra no, Modi is I, doing sorry, right but, now. He's uh, been but, going but, around. Uh, the Supreme Court, the country, the Supreme court has denied bail to Manish Sisodia. The Supreme Court has denied. The courts have denied. The police has just arrived. I'm getting visuals there, Shavan, the if I can get his audio. Ladies and gentlemen, being moved out, being moved out. Moved he's out, being moved out. out. He's, no, no, no. Is this, no, I think vehicles, he's going Vehicles in. are moving in. Vehicles the are vehicles moving are moving in, in right now. Are these moved out? Where the this looks like moving out. out. This, this looks out. like one minute. Can I have Nikhil off air for a minute and get Shavan on air? A huge car kit just went out. Was that Arvind Kejriwal being taken out? Yes, I'm not sure. These are shots of him being taken out. Can I please have? Yes, yes. I am told Arvind Kejriwal has been taken out. Kejriwal has been taken Kejriwal out. Kejriwal has been taken out from his yes, residence. Those, I'm not getting the rules. updates. Can I go full frame with those shots? Aditi, yes. just as yes, I yes, said, yes, 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 yes. we can spare yeah. Nikhil for a minute. Thank you very much. Okay, this is this is an ANI feed. This is uh, this is not the Shawan's feed from the ground. So this is full possibly uh, 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 from a different taken out, taken area. Out, taken out, taken out. Uh, taken out we have heard out, he's been out, taken, taken out. out. So there he's are two shots. The Shawan, we are being told he's been taken out from another side. We are Shawan, we have just been told he's been taken out from another side. We're getting the carcade shots. What are you getting as information, Shawan? We are told that from another location, Arvind Kejriwal has been taken out. He's en route to the ED office. What are you hearing, Shawan? Shawan, what are you hearing? Shawan, what are well, you hearing? Sir, he's just been taken out. He, he's been taken out from the other Sha gate. He he's been baby. taken out from the other gate. We'll just try and move to this side because there's a possibility. He's, there's a possibility that they would be taking this route because if you see, uh, there has been security that has been brought in this side to. I'll just quickly probably step on this side and see if I can get a closer look of that car kit that is basically moving in right now. It's expected. It's expected that it will be coming out in a short while. So we are sh showing you from the other gate. That's the other gate uh, on the, from where the movement has actually taken place. Uh, this area has now been cleared a short while back. This was completely blocked. He's going to straight away taken to the enforcement directorate's headquarters where a medical team from RML hospital has already been brought in. So a medical examination uh, takes place immediately after he is uh, brought to the Do enforcement directorate's uh, yeah, yeah. headquarters okay. in the national capital and, and thereafter, yes, and, and yes, we do have a camera there, Deepak, Deepak, in fact, Deepak is there uh, on the, at outside uh, the enforcement directorate's uh, office where he will be taken. It's roughly about 30, 30 to 35 minutes or little than that, right? There's no traffic. He's going to be straight away taken to the where the examination takes place and immediately after the medical examination gets over uh, perhaps there is a possibility that the questioning will actually continue because uh, what is essentially going to happen is that till the time he is produced before the Rouse Avenue court 
we let's just see i believe there's some movement this side let's just move towards yeah we're just moving towards uh, the other gate on the right now to see if we can just get a quick glimpse of that uh, cavalcade that's uh, moved out right now it appears uh, uh, that they've taken another and while meanwhile at the other stake out shavan at the other stake out i have deepak with me at the ed office shavan the media is waiting there uh, at the ed office any inkling you got because deepak we got information about 6 minutes back that there was movement i don't know uh, from one of the gates there is news that a uh, uh, 10 uh, 11 10 to 11 uh, uh, vehicle carcade has moved out of kejriwal's residence uh, with a lot of sirens and is moving towards the ed office any information you have there uh right on now uh, right now the only thing that we can see right now and i could ask my uh, video journalist to show is that barricades have been set up at the entrance of the road that uh, that leads uh, to the enforcement directorate headquarters and the police security <laughs> is uh, being ranked up with uh, ramped up with each uh, passing minute and the patrol vehicles are also on site here uh, if i could ask my video journalist to pan and show you that these are the patrol vehicles these are delhi police uh, patrol vehicles that are busy clearing the streets right here uh, in the road that uh, where uh, the ed headquarters is situated and it's a 20 uh, 20 minute route from the delhi chief minister's residence till uh, the ed headquarters and all along uh, arna what we witnessed is heavy deployment of police cover every uh, nook and corner of the roads of the route leading up to the enforcement directorate headquarters is completely ramped up with uh, the delhi police uh, taking charge and also uh, diverting traffic from uh, the route to ensure that kejriwal's movement is facilitated without ease and without any delay and right now what we are given to understand is that as soon as uh, arvind kejriwal arrives here he will be taken inside uh, the uh, ed headquarters where a medical team from the rml hospital yeah. has already reached and they will be conducting the medical test of uh, the delhi chief minister after which the questioning is likely to continue and if i could uh, tell you what's happening here the barricades have uh, been set up here the police uh, deployment is also increasing with each passing minute and what we have given to understand Friday, is that uh, the yeah, so security so cover will yeah, only increase here because uh, aam aadmi party the leaders the are also expected to come tomorrow. here and yeah, a yeah, round yeah, two tomorrow. of a blockade will also uh, be witnessed here because okay. uh, round one was at the delhi chief minister's residence and round two will be at the ed headquarters where the aam aadmi party leaders will have their last ditch effort yes. to stop the enforcement directorate from taking arvind kejriwal inside the ed headquarters orders for further questioning and tomorrow according to sources delhi chief minister if everything works out at the deepak, ed office deepak one minute hold on i'm delhi getting chief rhythm in right now rhythm but right now yeah deepak uh, one minute please up, i just I, want to was what you're seeing on the left hand uh, side of the visuals of arvind kejriwal being taken out that's coming in right yes, now yes uh, rhythm court is not going to have any urgent midnight hearing tonight even though he it's he's challenging his arrest by the enforcement directorate in the delhi liquor policy case the hearing is going to only happen on friday uh, i also tried to have a word with his lawyers today that is dr abhishek manu singh we steam that's going to be leading this charge in the supreme court tomorrow uh, they have tried to approach the registrar in fact we at republic tv have also tried to speak to the registrar and a few minutes ago when we tried to speak to him he said that till now nothing had come forward before him now the news that's coming in is that supreme court is not going to be giving any hearing in this case today it's only going to be happening tomorrow like all of us have been discussing this is a pause with the enforcement directorate case but as of now no urgent midnight hearing as was being speculated by arvind kejriwal's team in the top court of the country and they've been trying to seek an urgent hearing they even tried to apparently go to the registrar's house uh, but the registrar has not stated anything it is at the discretion of the chief justice of india if any midnight hearing is given and it's not going to happen tonight only tomorrow as per protocol this case is going to be heard in the supreme court <clears throat> let's also update our viewers on why there is no occasion for a midnight hearing in this case uh, uh, we remember it was even earlier when manish sisodia had been arrested last year around this time uh, but he's been uh, denied bail in these cases now the uh, matter is how soon once he approaches the supreme court will the supreme court intervene in such cases 
even though a big human cry is being made by the Aam Aadmi Party, legally speaking, there are very rare chances that the Supreme Court will interfere in the powers of the Enforcement Directorate. This is also after the Supreme Court's judgment that has come. Justice Khanvilkar, the former Supreme Court judge, had given a judgment in the enforcement uh, on, on the powers of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act and the powers of the ED, which were making it the diktat very clear. When it comes to arrest, when it comes to summons, the ED has power or not. That power cannot be taken away just because a human cry is being made by the Aam Aadmi Party. But and I, I, I also uh, want to... One minute, hold your breath and I want to ask you a question. Uh, I want to ask you a question here. Uh, yes. Okay, we have a bite of Saurabh Bhardwaj. We'll play that and then I'm coming back. To, yeah. Sidi Mancha ED ki Mukhya Mantri ji ko arrest karne ki hi thi. कोई पूछताछ नहीं थी कोई प्रश्न नहीं था सब कोर्ट के अंदर नाटक किया जा रहा था मुख्यमंत्री जी के घर की पूरी तलाशी इस छापे में ली गई सिर्फ सत्तर हजार रुपये नकद मिले जो कि ईडी वापस लौटा के चली गई मुख्यमंत्री जी का मोबाइल लिया गया और मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करके ले गए हैं पूरे छापे में कोई सबूत कोई एविडेंस कोई प्रॉपर्टी का कागज कोई गैर कानूनी पैसा कोई मनी ट्रेल नहीं मिली बात बिल्कुल साफ है अगर अपोजिशन के अंदर प्रधानमंत्री जी किसी से डरते हैं और उनको लगता है कि उनका कोई विकल्प है भारत में तो वो अरविंद केजरीवाल है और मैं दोबारा यही बात कहूंगा कि वो अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार कर सकते थे उन्होंने किया क्योंकि आज उनके पास सत्ता है आज उनके पास सारी की सारी एजेंसियां हैं उनको रोकने वाला कोई नहीं जो चाहे प्रधानमंत्री करें अभी तक दो मुख्यमंत्रियों को गिरफ्तार किया है हो सकता है औरों को भी कर लें मगर अरविंद केजरीवाल की सोच अरविंद केजरीवाल एक आइडिया है जो हर गली हर मोहल्ले में अब तैयार हो रहा है हमारे वकील शाम को सुप्रीम कोर्ट की रजिस्ट्री में उन्होंने अपनी पटिशन दायर की इस अरेस्ट को चैलेंज किया कि ये गैर कानूनी है गैर संविधानिक है कोर्ट की रजिस्ट्री ने कहा कि उन्होंने सुप्रीम कोर्ट के मुख्य न्यायाधीश को ये मैसेज दे दिया है मगर कोई जवाब नहीं मिला तो हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट के रजिस्ट्रार साहब से मिलने गए हैं उनसे बातचीत करेंगे और हमारा सुप्रीम कोर्ट से करबद्ध निवेदन है आज जोड़ के निवेदन है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट रात को ही मुख्यमंत्री जी की जो याचिका हमने दायर की है उसको सुने और दिल्ली को देश को और हमें न्याय दें आगे सरकार कैसे चलेगी क्योंकि अब इन्फेक्टर्स हो चुकी है जो आपकी याचिका है जो गिरफ्तारी हो चुकी है दो पिटिशन थे ये गलत खबर चलाई जा रही है कि इन्फेक्टुअस हो गई है नहीं हमारी दो अलग अलग प्रेयर थी कि मुख्यमंत्री जी की गिरफ्तारी इमिनेंट है होने वाली है लिहाजा उसको रोका जाए और यदि इस दौरान गिरफ्तारी हो जाती है तो उस गिरफ्तारी के ऊपर भी कोर्ट रोक लगाए तो वो इन्फ्रक्चुअस नहीं है दूसरी बात सरकार हम लोगों ने सारे विधायकों से सलाह की सारे काउंसलर से सलाह की दिल्ली के एक एक वार्ड के अंदर हमने सभा की सबका कहना था कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जी का मैंडेट है दिल्ली की जनता चाहती है अरविंद केजरीवाल सरकार चलाएं तो अरविंद केजरीवाल ही सरकार चलाएंगे जेल के अंदर से भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी हमारे मुख्यमंत्री हैं दिल्ली के नेता हैं कानून मुमकिन है सर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से अलाउ है सर के काफी नियम है जिसमें ये पॉसिबल है मीटिंग कैसे करेंगे आप कैबिनेट कैसे करेंगे कैबिनेट के प्रपोजल्स तो सर्कुलेशन से ही कई महीनों से जल रहे हैं मुझे याद है सहारा परिवार के जो मालिक थे उनको बाकायदा कोर्ट ने कमरा दिया था कंप्यूटर दिया था सारे रिसोर्सेज दिए थे ताकि उनके ऊपर जो भी जिम्मेदारियां हैं वो जिम्मेदारियां वो पूरी करें और ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट का फैसला था तो फैसले बहुत हैं हाँ ये ज़रूर है कि केंद्र सरकार के पेट में दर्द है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सरकार ना चला सकें 
वो पेट का दर्द हम समझ सकते हैं सरकार चला सके कोर्ट के सामने रखेंगे कोई बाधा ना है उसमें देखिये जो भी हमारी लीगल टीम हमें बोलेगी उसके ऊपर फैसला लेंगे बट हमें लगता है जितनी जानकारों से हमने सलाह की है कि इसके अंदर कोई दिक्कत नहीं है पार्टी के तमाम लोग यहाँ पे मौजूद रहे आपको लगता है कि पूरी इंडिया ब्लॉक साथ मिलकर इस लड़ाई को लड़ेगा देखिए मैं अपनी पार्टी की तरफ से सभी विपक्षी दलों के नेताओं को हाथ जोड़ के धन्यवाद करूंगा चाहे वो कांग्रेस के लेटर हो दिल्ली प्रदेश के हों ऑल इंडिया कांग्रेस के हों चाहे अभी समाजवादी पार्टी से हो अखिलेश यादव जी राहुल जी का भी ट्वीट है चाहे प्रियंका गांधी जी हों चाहे राहुल गांधी जी हों चाहे केसी सी वेणुगोपाल हों सब तरीके के लोगों ने जो विपक्ष की आवाज हैं उन्होंने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की इस गिरफ्तारी पे गुस्सा जताया है और वो सब लोग ये कह रहे हैं कि केंद्र सरकार तानाशाही पे उतर आई है और अपने हार के डर से आम चुनाव में केंद्र सरकार हार के डर से विपक्षी नेताओं को गिरफ्तार कर रही है जो स्टार कैंपेनर सब अंदर है चुनाव कैसे मैनेज करेंगे करेंगे चुनाव कैसे लड़ेंगे आप कैसे मैनेज करेंगे मैंने कल भी कहा था हमारे नंबर दो के नेता नंबर तीन के नेता नंबर चार के नेता जेल में है नंबर एक के नेता को जेल में डालने की तैयारी है अब हमारे चार टॉप लीडर्स को जेल में डाला गया है जिस पार्टी को अमित शाह जी कहते हैं सुपारी जितनी छोटी पार्टी है उस सुपारी जैसी पार्टी से आज इतना खतरा है कि उसके चार शीर्ष नेता आज केंद्र सरकार ने जेल में डाले हुए हैं इससे ये बात पूरे हिंदुस्तान को साफ होती है कि क्या इस वक्त देश के अंदर हो रहा है और मैं एक और चेतावनी पूरे देश के लोगों को बताना चाहता हूँ अभी अभी रशिया के अंदर पुतिन चुनाव से जीते हैं सतासी प्रतिशत चुनाव पुतिन को मिला है सतासी प्रतिशत वोट और वो इसलिए मिला है क्योंकि जितना विपक्ष है पुतिन साहब ने सबको जेल में डाल दिया और जो सबसे बड़े विपक्षी नेता थे उनकी जेल में मृत्यु हो गई तो आने वाले समय में हिंदुस्तान में भी यही होने वाला है सब विपक्ष को जब जेल में ही डाल देंगे तो प्रधानमंत्री जी खुद ही चुनाव लड़ेंगे और फिर अभी तक तो 38 परसेंट वोट आया है तो प्रधानमंत्री जी भी 90 प्रतिशत वोट ले लेंगे कैसे प्रोटेस्ट रजिस्टर करेंगे वो देखेंगे सोचेंगे केजरीवाल if it is uh, due process then what really is the example which can be cited by their lawyers before the yes. supreme court and what's the history of how the court usually deals with cases like this well uh, arnab in such cases one has to understand he is challenging his arrest if he is challenging his arrest the supreme court is going to be hearing the case they're going to be hearing the challenge also from the enforcement directorate they're going to be seeing the behavior of the accused and i want to remind our viewers this is not just some ordinary person here he's been named as the 32nd accused 32 32nd accused in the liquor scam case if we actually see the sheer number of times arvin kejriwal has been summoned and he's not come to the enforcement directorate's offices it's nine today was the ninth time raids have been conducted in this particular case in 245 locations across india when we talk about the liquor scam case or now when we've been hearing and seeing the six charge sheets filed in this case it's a very serious case we at republic tv have been debating it for the longest time if i can also just take our viewers towards what really is the case because uh, this is not just some random okay, arrest or a political move that has been made but an arrest that has been made after very very crucial details that come out in the liquor scam case which have people who were very close to Arvind Kejriwal being named here there was a person called Vijay Nair the ED had long ago stated that Vijay Nair had uh, that 100 crore rupees kickbacks had been paid in advance to Vijay Nair who was the Aam Aadmi Party's communication in charge 
There were also Sisodia's former secretary who spilled the beans and who gave lots of details into 2022 in December to the Enforcement Directorate. What is the ED now saying? The ED says a conspiracy has been hatched by political leaders that includes Arvind Kejriwal, Manish Sisodia, and now K. Kavita, who was arrested last week in this case. He's, of course, the most high-profile person to be arrested, but it takes time for an investigation to continue and to come to terms with. This case is really pertaining to money laundering charges, which the Delhi government's excise policy of 2021-22 has spoken about. They had also claimed Aam Aadmi Party received kickbacks. They also spoke about 100 crore rupees kickbacks in the excise policy. His name had not been mentioned earlier, but in multiple chart sheets, Kejriwal's name came and finally it was him who was named as the 32nd accused. Uh, or not, even as we're speaking about this dramatic visuals on the screen, which are clearly showing the Aam Admi Party is going to try and derive as much political mileage as they can today because there will be protests that continue to be held. The legal yeah, team is going to try political and go to the registrar's yeah. office. But the word from the Supreme Court is clear. No midnight hearing in such a case. It's only tomorrow that the case will be heard. If I can actually tell our viewers once again what's been happening in the case, there was also the 45 crore rupees bribe that had been spoken about for the Goa Assembly elections. This is also something mentioned in one of the six charge sheets that had been filed by the enforcement directorate in this case. <laughs> the Financial Crimes Probe Agency had also stated that there were several individuals, including parliamentarians, who will be in this case. Uh, we also, of course, know Mani Sisodia and Singh, Sanjay Singh are currently lodged in Tihar jail in the very same case. The liqueur scam case is clearly something now that's going to be haunting the Aam Admi Party. And they have a lot of evidence with them when they say this. Uh, in fact, in one of the chart sheets, the ED has also pegged the losses at 2,873 crore rupees. So, uh, Orna, when we're talking about this kind of a motivated, illegal uh, money laundering case, in proceeds of crime case, as the ED has stated, one has to be very clear, they have immense evidence before them. In fact, in some of the chart sheets that I had also gone through, it was very so they have even immense evidence. Kept cropping up. Yes. So, uh, there was also... The South Group that was comprising of businessman Sarath Reddy, there was also uh, Magunta Srinivas Al Sur Reddy, who were a part of that, I remember reading, and K. Kavita. It was stated that in Delhi, under nine zones out of 32 in Delhi, under the new excise policy, there was an extraordinarily high 12% profit margin for wholesalers and almost 185% margin that had been given for retailers. 6% of the 12% margin was to be collected back for the hair wholesalers as kickback. This is about proceeds of crime. This is about kickback. I'm going to simplify this for the viewers uh, because like I said, we need to understand the liqueur scam is something we've been debating for the past two years. It's not suddenly arisen. Kejriwal's arrest was imminent. Today, he's been named as the 32nd accused. There are six huge chart sheets in this case. There are people who've been arrested. There are people who've spilled the beans. In fact, people who are close to them who've spilled the beans and have spoken about it. This policy that had started, the Delhi excise policy, was later scrapped. The agency had alleged that uh, accused were in touch with Kejriwal for formulating the excise policy. He skipped summons. The uh, ED also claimed that there was a conspiracy. Uh, I also want to tell our viewers here about, like I said, Vijay Nair, one of the key people who was earlier arrested, 100 crore, 100 crore rupees kickback that was spoken about earlier. It no was doubt, said no he doubt. was managing the scheme and was conspiracy on behalf uh, of the Aam Aadmi Party. Practically Please. speaking, uh, Rhythm, we are getting some action from outside the ED. I'd like to go to the pictures there. Uh, live full frame, please. Deepak, I can see the cars yeah, are reaching. Full frame pictures, please. Where, uh, medical I think tests will be carried reached. out. And after Let's which, the questioning will uh, continue. And tomorrow, he will be, he will be presented before the PMLA court. These are live visuals from uh, the ED headquarters. Well, Kejriwal is on his way and he will be arriving in just moments from now. This is the first round of cavalcade that has uh, led Kejriwal's uh, convoy. And after this, this is just uh, the first wave of the police uh, vehicles that are arriving at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. 
and after this Kejriwal will be arriving at the headquarters where he will be questioned, a medical test will be done and after which he will be uh, produced before a PMLA court tomorrow. Right now, this is uh, these are the live visuals from the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. The security has been beefed up and the barricades have been put in place. In moments from now, Arvind Kejriwal will be here at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. We're getting different shots there. Uh, stay with us, Deepak. Right now, uh, uh, this is the massive so security deployment that has been done at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Uh, around 100 uh, Delhi police uh, personnel have been deployed slow, slow. at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Now, a team of the Enforcement Directorate, uh, according to... Uh, well, we are getting some live visuals of uh, vehicle movement from uh, the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. This is the first wave of uh, vehicles that has arrived at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Now, Kejriwal will be coming in very soon, right now. Another another set of vehicles have uh, reached the Delhi, uh, have reached the uh, headquarters of the Enforcement Directorate. Well, uh, a wave of Delhi police uh, convoys have uh, started arriving at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Well, we saw from all directions Delhi police. These are the seizures from uh, the Kejriwal's uh, residence. And uh, very soon, Arvind Kejriwal will also be brought. This is extra deployment of police that is being uh, pressed in at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters. Another police van has arrived at the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters to prevent any sort of untoward incident that is expected expected to take place because round one was at uh, the Delhi Chief Minister's residence in civil lines and right now Amadmi party leaders are also expected to come here to block uh, the enforcement directorate from uh, taking Arvind Kejriwal inside uh, the premises of the enforcement directorate headquarters so the P Delhi police is making sure that uh, no situation goes out of hand and in order to ensure that additional forces are also being deployed this is another van of uh, Delhi police which has arrived at the Enforcement Directorate Headquarters. Yes, Deepak. And we are staying with these live visuals and these are also pictures of Arvind Kejriwal, the, Deputy, uh, the Delhi Chief Minister who has been as her first visuals after arrest in the police car. That's a police car in which Arvind Kejriwal has been taken out of his residence. He's about to reach. We have our colleague Deepal, uh, Deepak live there right outside ED Headquarters. We have our multiple teams there. Shavan is at the Arvind Kejriwal's residence. He's also reaching ED headquarters. And now Deepak, we are being told that more and more cars are coming in. He's in a white Innova. We can see right. him. Uh, can you also spot that white, white color? Yeah, white color MUV. Deepak. No, Arnab. Over to you. Right now, that uh, that car that we're speaking about hasn't arrived yet. What has arrived here is uh, a slew of convoys of the Delhi police. And uh, when we showed uh, right uh, about a few seconds back, another uh, police van has also arrived at the ED headquarters to prevent any sort of untoward incident. Because Amadmi Party leaders are also expected to arrive here in large numbers to block the, uh, you know, block uh, the enforcement directorate from taking Kejriwal inside. So what will uh, follow after he's yes. taken into uh, inside uh, the ED headquarters? is that a medical checkup will be done a tight security is in place and after the medical checkup yeah. by the rml health officials Deepak, he will be uh, if, I may, once again. if i may say so and so far if, uh, uh, one of the dangers piyush one of the dangers for the amadmi party is that by nature it's an extremely centralized party piyush decision making is extremely centralized uh, there are no clear structures of organization uh, control and the danger for the Ahmadmi party, I'm not talking anything else here, the legality of course, whether the Supreme Court entertains them tomorrow, we'll have to see. But the danger will be that this is a party which is a very flat structure. Yeah. And the only structure that existed Piyush Biloa, Kejriwal, was an unwritten structure where in the Delhi government it was Manish Sodia, in parliament it was Sanjay Singh. Because everybody with else who was senior with the Amadbi party is gone. Ashutosh and all the others are gone. It's, they're not Yogendra Yadav, Ashutosh, they are not there. And Atishi, right. despite being finance minister, is politically very raw. Right. Hmm. right? I'm just analyzing this. Politically, she's not considered to be senior at all. Atishi Sorabhut. 
राइट या अतिशी सौरभ बोध और अतिशी एंड सौरभ भारद्वाज आर बोथ मच यंगर लेस एक्सपीरियंस दे विल नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेड एज लीडर्स बाय द रिमाइंडर ऑफ द कार्डर ऑफ द आम आदमी पार्टी सो माय क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑन अ प्रैक्टिकल लेवल बिलो द इमोटिव पार्ट ऑफ इट ऑन अ प्रैक्टिकल लेवल देयर विल चैलेंजेस विल बी इमर्ज इफ 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 अरविंद केजरीवाल कंटिन्यूज टू बी इन जेल फॉर अ मंथ टू मंथ्स थ्री मंथ्स द एक्सट्रॉर्डिनरी सिचुएशन विल डेवलप फॉर द आम आदमी पार्टी But it is yes, already an extraordinary situation because uh, the winner of uh, the largest, uh, the fastest growing political party of the country has been put behind bars, and um, uh, the accounts of the largest opposition political party were frozen. You know, uh, we may call it uh, that. You know, it is legal. Fair enough, might be legal. You create laws in such a manner that which gives you an opportunity to use it in a partisan manner against. the people whom you see uh, as threat to yourself so you know to my mind this uh, this is a legalized atrocity which uh, the bjp has uh, unleashed on uh, aam aadmi party and arvind kejriwal i am under uh, uh, you know uh, no no illusion that it is going to be difficult for aam aadmi party without mr kejriwal mr kejriwal uh, is the inspiration from uh, from whom the whole party derives uh, energy and uh, but uh, i think the top leadership has made it amply clear that uh, it will be but, mr kejriwal only who will be running the government even if he is put conducted. behind bars Piyush. i am pretty much Piyush. sure piyush yeah. <coughs> piyush when any when any when any party enters into a battle like this and you are saying that it is a battle i don't yes, disagree with you that it is a battle and i i am uh, we are under no illusions that there is no political angle to this but when if any center gets into a battle of this kind it has to be confident enough to win you either get into the battle when you have enough facts yeah. with you now my question is karan and piyush to both of you if arvind kejriwal gets convicted it might take a long time it might take 3 months 6 months 1 year but if there is a long period of his physical absence by being in jail followed by a conviction on pretty much the same grounds as sanjay singh and manish sisodia then what happens he has reached if you. at the age of 56 or 57 whatever his age is now he is a convicted person then what happens how does the party tackle how does the party tackle it what honestly. happens to aam aadmi party what happens to kejriwal if he is convicted honestly so the question you know arnab the party has fallen apart i mean i don't think it will fall apart it has fallen apart there's no credibility left when you skip eight summons when the supreme court says there is a money trail of 338 crores established i think that the, the doors were closing on kejriwal he knew what was coming his way crying when data or saying this is legal atrocity it doesn't work now and people also see this let's understand they've lost sympathy today people are no longer sympathizing with the aam aadmi party they understand that liquor scam happened the cag has pointed out a minimum loss of 2000 crores so people they have lost in the eyes of the people also this has dented them politically this has dented them legally and it's only fair that they fall apart now because and no, it's a Lalo, great testament Lalo to our legal system after he was might be the cm no, no, no. but the Lalo legal resigned after he was convicted aap says a kejriwal is not convicted you know uh, arnab jailalita was to, convicted too much no no lalu no. was convicted kon are those days are not okay so let us go let us come back to the uh, Why, organization of aam aadmi party okay like i come from the state of mp we might have lost badly here in the uh, state assembly elections i was one of them who lost so that's fair enough that uh, we were not able to garner enough votes uh, apart from two or three seats in which we uh, did uh, all right okay in in all other seats we did badly but this is this is how it is done right pehla chunav harne ke liye dusra harane ke liye aur teesra jeetne ke liye as uh, the honorable kashiram used to say then we have we have so we have so our seat in the state of madhya pradesh uh, we have we have Piyush, organization in Piyush, our Piyush, you are a party district. which is growing pius 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 Piyush, and you have I know what you're culture. saying is right, but you are a party you that is growing. Supremo, Arvind Kejriwal. You have a supremo. And he's fallen apart, lost all it's credibility. It's like it's like today, Trinamool Congress. Trinamool Congress at least has a number two in Abhishek Banerjee. They don't. But Aam Aadmi Party does not have a number two, Nikhil. Number two. It's a it's a, a you, you know it's a very big risk. Yeah, number two, number three, number four are in jail. 
Now it's a flat structure. You are forgetting one man who is. Who is, who is right now overseas? That is, that was is, being pipped to be the defector. And, and by the way, by the way, Piyush, one man is by the way, Piyush, so lot of people has... commenting, lot of people commenting, Piyush, on the on the conspicuous absence, absence. of Raghav Chadda. I'm told he's gone for some eye surgery, which is very necessary. I wish him well. I hope he recovers. Uh, the timing is interesting. But he was caught and with his, a and, British MP. And, and, you know, the fact that he's choosing to be as far away as possible. Arnab, for medical reasons, of course, and largely quiet, away from politics. Arnab, the timing not could very also be active. interesting on the ED's part and that they had their the surveillance. Head of the Delhi yes, yes, there's a Delhi Jal Board investigation. He was, he was, he was the being called the de facto chief minister CM in Punjab. Security for Punjab. Number two to Arvind Kejriwal. Where is he? Yes. Well, as you have yourself mentioned that he has gone for an eye surgery. And if somebody is in a surgery, do you expect them to come out of it and sit on the street in protest because the ED chose to arrest Oh, he is not. Have you seen the latest pictures? What line of argument is this here? Oh, is he? Oh, he's on the streets of London. He's on the streets of London with British Member of Parliament getting pictures clicked. Just too busy. He might be to Arvind Kejriwal. He'd have to take a flight back. No, no, let's, no, he goes, you have to at least take a flight back. You have to give the man no, that no, enough a, time. No, that's right. <laughs> You have yeah, to give that no, man no, that no, enough no, time no, and no, it's, rhythm, it's quite no, interesting rhythm, that we've been Arvind talking Kejri about the party which is entirely tomorrow. dependent on one Supreme Court. Arvind Kejriwal's biggest has chances the tomorrow. And Narendra Modi. What is the BJP without Narendra Modi today? No, no, rhythm, rhythm. Or rather, what is the BJP without the ED, rhythm. IT, CBI and uh, all this very, very, without the ED, IT, CBI and all Yes. There are a battery of leaders in the BJP. Tomorrow is the biggest chance for Arvind Kejriwal. If, if Arvind Kejriwal yes. does not get relief before the Supreme Court tomorrow yes. and yes. given that no. the High Court has not been very charitable to him after seeing the preliminary evidence put before them yes. in a sealed cover by the investigating agencies today, yes. if Arvind Kejriwal does not get relief tomorrow from the Supreme Court, does your experience tell you that he is then in for a longer term in custody? Arnab, uh, if we go Even by the, the stature and, and the Singh investigation Singh. that has been carried on by the enforcement directorate in this case, it is not a case that is uh, going to be seen as being very easy on Arvind Kejriwal. It's been two years the case has been carrying on. He's the 32nd accused. Like you yourself said that after after so much time, after so much effort, after Vijay Nair, after uh, uh, Manish Sisodia's own secretary spills the bean, only after evidence being collected from the South lobby and the fourth high profile arrest in this case of Arvind Kejriwal is made. I very much that doubt that the Supreme rubbish. Court would like to interfere in a criminal investigation that is being carried on by the enforcement directorate. Yes, they will try and move. Uh, I'm also trying to get in touch with the legal team that is being led by senior advocate Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi in this case. There has been false news that had been earlier given that a midnight hearing would be there. However, the legal team has yeah, said Gopal that there is no such coming plan. In. They would only be Can leaving I play tomorrow that in the middle? for this right case now. in the Supreme Court. And uh, now the registrar's okay. office has also stated that there is no such chances of a midnight hearing coming. If we actually also uh, look at what has been stated in the High okay. Court, it's very evident and clear what the legal team is actually going to be stating tomorrow. It's not, uh, you know, it's not anything different that they're going to be stating other than saying that this is a politically motivated case. They're also going to be questioning the powers of the enforcement directorate under the PMLA Act, which they're trying to challenge. So I want to shortly answer your question. It's going to be extremely difficult for them to be able to get Arvind Kejriwal out by challenging the statute and the enforcement directorate rules. It is the Supreme Court's bench of Justice Khanvilkar that had ensured that the PMLA Act gets the supremacy that it has and it's supposed to also include political leaders who cannot get uh, who cannot get away from the hands of a central agency only because they are political leaders. Keeping that in mind, uh, it will be very difficult to do anything. But Arnab, uh, one thing is for sure, today after the medical checkup, Arvind Kejriwal is going to be spending his night in the ED lockup. He is not going to go anywhere. He is not going to be allowed anywhere. Yeah, so this Piyush, is also him going Piyush to be wanted to add something. Is he yeah. an accused? 
is he an accused because i think asg raju said uh, something contrary to it in the delhi high court so, today uh, asg raju in the delhi high court has said if he had joined one of the summons in the case we would have been able to tell arvind kejriwal whether we are calling him as an accused or as a witness but yes after all the six charge sheets have been filed he has been named as an accused when the case came up before the delhi high court yesterday asg raju said at least he should have answered one of the summons then we would have told him whether he is going to be seen as a witness or an accused alas he never came for any of the summons even and, dr abhishek further to that rhythm further to that rhythm so the six charge sheet mentions him as an accused many aam aadmi party spokespersons as well that is he an accused now uh, piyush you are fully aware that sanjay singh was formally made an accused just two days back but he has been in custody for months now no, so that is not an argument which holds on your channel i have been i have been listening to this conversation and uh, i got this information through uh, through this this program only that he is the 32nd accused so far i was not aware of it Hmm. And I, I don't think, to my mind, I may be wrong. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. So, hey, he's yes, he's obviously in the, the, the Raghav Chadda. Any in, tweets? In front of the high court, never. You name Raghav Chadda. Any tweets? He says, and he says what he has to. Well, uh, so, Joshi, he is obviously an accused. That's why he's being arrested. What you are talking about is the formality of arraigning him as an accused in papers. Yeah, that is that is that that that's the legal part of it. Go ahead, Rajan, please. that's the legal part of it isn't it unless and until the charge sheet mentions him names him as an accused how can we say that he is an accused and if the six charge sheet does mention him as an accused then asg raju Baba, will probably lie to the agency the has court. 90 days baba i understand they have 90 days, has 90 days i am already i am already listening 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 about it on your channel right that he is the 32nd accused so the he you know and that is the fact that has been put forth uh, before before the, the country by your by, by, by my group panelists uh, whether asg raju the additional solicitor general sv raju who's been appearing in the case in the supreme court and the lower courts and the delhi high court yesterday mentioned it in so many words or not uh, is the fact that this ed has conducted all these investigations in 245 locations across india we also know finally he's been arrested but uh, you know uh, if you just want to go on words the fact of the matter also is he's going to be spending this night in a lock up because of several reasons one of them of course so being the entire okay, investigation that, was a very that has been done that is specific charge leveled by you ma'am that is the 32nd accused for the last two years in the money laundering case to challenge the ed's uh, dicta to know challenge the statute it itself seems to be Uh, a little a very specific to get info. relief that you're looking for Arvind Kejriwal in the Supreme Court tomorrow, ma'am. That was a very specific information that you provided that he is the thirty-second accused in the alleged Delhi liquor gate scam. So that was very specific information, and the uh, the ASG never never uh, said anything to that effect in the uh, in the uh, high no, court. Uh, you, uh, How do I you get this information? On the basis no, no, of the me... chart sheet and the number no, of people views, who have already views, been arrested, there has been also any other other specific informations which you have. Very comfortably, I'll, just I'll sideline. Go, no, no, one minute, one minute. Yeah. I I think she he's trying to go by words. Mm. I will mm. settle this matter, Piyush, by saying that okay. what she has said, and I will make it amply clear. She has said there are six charge sheets in Liquor Gate Excise yeah. Policy investigation. She has said that 31 individuals and entities have been named, including former Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia, MP of AAP Sanjay Singh, both Sanjay Singh and Manish Sodia are currently in Tihar Jail, and Kejriwal is the 32nd to be arrested in this case. Now, yeah. So that's it. That it that is a matter of time because before he is made right? an accused. That was our assumption. So that why do you want to battle on technicalities? Yeah. Oh, I, the issue is what happens politically, Karan. Oh, the only question right now is what will happen you, you politically. Seventy odd programs on this matter. You know, this Delhi liquor gate. I think no, I am. I am not on technicalities. I am. I am entirely on a point right now that I would have got a sense of where things are going, Piyush. based upon the views okay. responses of the courts you will agree with me you will agree with me that the courts have not been very charitable to the aam aadmi party in liquor gate and that has been one of the disappointments you have ace lawyers on your side abhishek manu singhvi is not okay, like kapil sibal he is a competent lawyer but you have seen 
how unsuccessful even abhishek manu singh has been in this case Both this is a complex case piyush this say. case is not one on which there is any success so far it is in this case aap is not getting success despite pulling out all its legal aids it is absolutely in a the complex court. case because till date this is the, the 22nd video or no this is a 22nd long mind. video Man. where you see arvind kejriwal getting arrested Okay, viewers, this picture there. If you run it full frame, yeah, it's a twenty-second video. It's a twenty-second video. Shaman can describe it. It is on the screen. You will see Arvind Kejriwal go in Residence while he is being arrested. Yeah. There is Arvind Kejriwal coming out. I think I see him there. Yeah. And his entourage with him. Yes, his family. They are moving very slowly, him. and they are realizing his family is standing there. Arvind Kejriwal comes out, and is being taken in the car, all very orderly. and uh, i think this is after they realized that the supreme court is not entertaining them shavan has the latest while we stay on the pictures shavan what's up right now <coughs> well in fact he is going to be kept inside a lock up which is inside the enforcement directed headquarters this is at the ground floor where he will be kept in a short while from now there would be a team of uh, the we'll rml coming strong. in from the rml hospital for the medical checkup to be done after the medical checkup is completed uh, uh, on a we are given to understand the questioning will continue because the latest update that uh, i got uh, after the team left from arvind kejriwal's residence is that they have seized certain documents however the enforcement director were tight lipped about the nature of the documents that were seized uh, by the enforcement director was it pertaining to the liquor scam that is not known at this point in time but they say that uh, they are going to examine these documents that have been seized from his residence electronic devices have also been taken uh, that has been seized a backup would be taken up once uh, they reach uh, the enforcement directed uh, office and is handed over to the investigating officer a report is essentially going to be prepared because it is expected roughly after 2 o'clock in the afternoon is when he is going to be produced before the rouse of the court where the remand is prepared another big development because there was a lot of speculation whether at all k kavita has actually spilled the beans and is that the reason why the arrest has taken place we are given to understand primarily on the basis of certain statements that were recorded in the last few months which we includes uh, witness magunta reddy apart from that buchi babu and arun pillai their statements were quite crucial because for the first time the name of arvind kejriwal actually figured and they have specifically spoken about the meeting that took place between arvind kejriwal trail? and k kavita but is there a and money the trail shawan that uh, was between k kavita and but arun but is it a money pillai. trail yes, or only witness trail. testimonies there is a money trail because that of course there is of course there is a money trail that they are looking into but one has to understand and not fall into the trap of what the aam aadmi party wants everyone to believe that when you say money trail there would be wads of cash lying uh, around that's not what happens because there is a hawala transaction that is taken place and let's not forget there is also the role of satender jain satender jain was actually uh, questioned by the enforcement director because it turns out that the transactions that have essentially taken place for the goa election has happened through hawala transactions multiple hawala transactions and an out, outdoor broadcasting advertising company was actually paid allegedly by the aam aadmi party and this money that was actually paid was the alleged kickbacks received in the liquor scam that money went in for the goa elections and that is the reason why every time the aam aadmi party says where is the money the response that comes in from sources within the enforcement directed that it is perhaps laugh possible to expect that someone would have kept uh, the money in some sort of a bank locker when the money is actually moving around through hawala operators that is the reason why they say that what is important here is witness statements and these are statements that are taken under oath these are statements that have been recorded under section 50 of the PMLA act and it stands before the court that is the reason why they are quite confident that the court will take cognizance of this matter and in the remand that is going to be produced tomorrow which is expected to be a detailed remand including the statements that were shown before the chief minister the chief minister was shown the statements of magunta reddy and a few others to which there was no response that has been given in fact in the grounds of arrest that have been shown they have also indicated the fact that what when he, he was that? shown the statements that he been recorded what did he say when he was so confronted far, with he, that he has he the responses 
the responses the responses were evasive he hasn't he hasn't responded to any of those statements that ca came in in fact there was few other documents that were produced one crucial document was of a man called c arvind who used to be the private secretary of uh, the then deputy chief minister manish sisodia because the draft policy was actually certain notes were provided at the chief minister's residence to mr c arvind and this was just before the the policy was actually implemented herein came in the suggestion of changing the profit margin the profit margin was changed from 5% to 12% and the difference amount the difference amount is what the enforcement directorate says are the kickbacks that were allegedly received by the aam aadmi party these are few details that are likely to be produced before the court tomorrow when arvind kejriwal is produced before the court okay we was as we end with these pictures now and i'll take a break we're tracking this i would like to end by just taking you back exactly 10 years to january 2014 so it was 10 years and 2 months ago it was close to midnight like it is tonight and the difference is that at that time arvind kejriwal then about 47 years old seemed to be a young emerging leader 10 years back uh he was camping and sleeping outside rail bhavan it was a winter day and he was camping outside rail bhavan he said the congress is corrupt there has to be a roll back of the policy of the congress led upa and he said i'm doing this on behalf of the people 10 years later same arvind kejriwal is arrested he didn't sign the arrest memo it's a democratically enabled process and he's been caught in a case in which he owes the people and the courts of law an explanation so today before you viewers there are three arvind kejriwals the first arvind kejriwal piyush i'll tell you frankly told me piyush are you hearing me the first arvind kejriwal told me that he will never enter politics he came to my studio swore by his family and said i will never enter politics the second kej arvind kejriwal camped in 2014 and said the congress is corrupt i will never do business with it and the third arvind kejriwal today is with the congress in a case in which all his fellow leaders have been arrested now can he get away by saying i didn't have signing powers we'll have to see what happens it'll also be interesting to see what happens to a party and whether the party can survive without the centralized structure focused around arvind kejriwal complex even, cases even viewers as arvind kejriwal spends the night in custody well we'll track the story in politics nothing is impossible i agree i agree but the excise policy case a complex one last word here i think nikhil wants to come before that karan who hasn't spoken karan you know arnab i remember each one of the instances that you pointed out and uh, it's it's been a sad commentary on how a man who came about to change the system how low he has stooped today he used to say that people should resign on moral grounds people should not reject ed and cbi summons his tweets are today going viral from 10 years back that who are those shameless politicians who don't show up on ed and cbi summons today is one of them he rejected he did not turn up for eight summons and now when my friend from aap says that oh this is a threat to democracy this is no threat to democracy law taking its own course nobody is above the law today the chief minister has serious serious answering to do and it's only fair that the democratic process is rolling out the way it's rolling out in fact it's a shame okay. how this man managed what uh, delhi nikhil because you've been patiently waiting mandates, but alas he couldn't handle it because of his own conduct arnab so the interesting thing is that nikhil, 10 years because ago you've been arvind kejriwal anna hazare and the entire india against corruption movement was asking for a lokpal bill which came into being and now today there is a lokpal in the country which we don't hear of and the lokpal currently is justice khanvilkar the same person who had given the pmla judgment wherein it uh, wherein the court had upheld the powers uh, amendment that was made to the pmla which has basically shifted the presumption of guilt onto the accused which has made it extremely hard for any court to grant bail in an ed case and by the way for your viewers the selection committee of the lokpal 
who has the majority of the government. That's all I have to say. By the way, I will just correct you, Manish Sodia. Is not thank, thank you very much. Right thank, thank you very much. I'm not taking this further. I'm not taking this further. Justice Kanvilkar is a very respected judge. He was heading the Central Water Commission. You can't be convenient on things like this. We have to understand the stature of the individual we are speaking about before we weigh our words on this. Ladies and gentlemen, full frame pictures. Arvind Kejriwal. He knows there's a long political battle ahead. In politics and in life, it's not over till it's over. But he has a tough road ahead of him. And he knows that. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night and goodbye. स्टार्टअप क्रांति का नेतृत्व आज देश के छोटे शहरों के युवा कर रहे हैं कुछ लोग सोचते हैं कि हमारे स्टार्टअप सिर्फ टैक्स पेस तक ही सीमित है लेकिन मुझे खुशी है कि आज एग्रीकल्चर टेक्सटाइल मेडिसिन ट्रांसपोर्ट स्पेस इवन मैंने देखा योगा में स्टार्टअप शुरू हुए हैं आयुर्वेद में स्टार्टअप शुरू हुआ है और एक दो नहीं मैं थोड़ा मैं रुचि लेता हूं तो देखता रहता हूं MIT has been ranked India's number 1 private university for the 11th year by India Today a testimony to MIT's world class education whilst imbibing values and sanskars in students MIT has been ranked India's number 1 private university for the 11th year by India Today a testimony to MIT's world class education whilst imbibing values and sanskars in students Why she said that? In the, in the press conference. Yeah, 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 but why? Why she said that? Because I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't cheat. Let's straight away go and have a conversation with Gulen Lal Bhai of Urban Limited and understand how are we looking at the textile industry specifically in Gujarat and elsewhere in the country. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on Republic TV. Uh, first up, if I could speak to you about your sector, talk to you about textile, and talk to you about where we are today in the sector. and specifically to gujarat there are a lot of policy policy pushes that we are seeing in the textile industry from the government there is a government will for a better and flourishing textile industry as well where are we in terms of the textile sector today and where are we going in that trajectory as far as gujarat is concerned i think we can break up the sector into the export opportunity and the domestic opportunity now the context of the export opportunity is that globally everyone is in the process of trying to decouple from china
I, why she said that? In the, in the press conference. Yeah, yeah, but why? Why she said that? Because I didn't. Let's straight away go and have a conversation with Gulen Lalbhai of Arvind Limited and understand how are we looking at the textile industry specifically in Gujarat and elsewhere in the country. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on Republic TV. Uh, first up, if I could speak to you about your sector, I'd talk to you about textile and talk to you about where we are today in the sector and specifically to Gujarat. There are a lot of policy, policy pushes that we are seeing in the textile industry from the government. There's a government will for a, a better and flourishing textile industry as well. Where are we in terms of uh, the textile sector today? And where are we going in that trajectory as far as Gujarat is concerned? I think we can break up the sector into the export opportunity and the domestic opportunity. Now, the context of the export opportunity is that globally, everyone is in the process of trying to decouple from China. China controls 35% of global trade, India is at 5%. So in a sense, it's a huge opportunity. Even if we can take 5% market share from China, we can double you know, the exports India has, which are close to $50 billion. So it's a very, very large potential emerging opportunity. I think the government of India is very aware that this is you know, the time where India can dramatically scale up. What we need is global scale. We need our garmenting sector to dramatically uh, increase because people are buying garments rather than intermediate products like fabric. So we need garmenting to really become very large. And we need to get diversify our basket, not just having a cotton-based product profile, but getting into man-made fiber. So knowing this, the government has tried various initiatives. They're creating Mitra parks, which are large plug-and-play infrastructure parks of 1,000 acres each. Uh, which could uh, you know, really become a plug-and-play environment for achieving scale, manufacturing scale in the country. We have the PLI, which has come to really emphasize new sectors like man-made fibers, man-made fabrics, and technical textiles. So these are some examples of how policy support is coming in for the export opportunity. And looking at Gujarat, you know, um, uh, this is a definitely a focus area for Gujarat. Um, CII, I've just taken over as CII chair uh, in Gujarat. And one of the key themes that we are focused on is how can we partner with the government and with the local industry to really make Gujarat play a pivotal role in, in this scale up of Indian exports. And Gujarat has a natural right because we are the strongest when it comes to fabrics. Uh, Gujarat has historically been the fabric uh, producing part of the country. So how do we now forward integrate into garmenting, into technical textiles, into these new age areas? And I think the government has always been very progressive on the textile policy. We expect a new policy to be coming sometime this year. So I, I think within this global environment, there's a great opportunity for Gujarat to step up and scale. Talking about that uh, policy as well, because uh, we are looking at a level of pushback on that. There is a lot of uh, conversations that are going on in the power corridors of Gandhinagar. Uh, how are you looking at it? How are you perceiving it? Are there some uh, uh, blind spots that need to be addressed for the MSME sector in the textile? No, I think, you know, the way the policy making in Gujarat has always been is it's been very open, uh, very much of a dialogue based uh, model where all the associations, um, you know, uh, participate. We at CII have also been on the table discussing all the aspects of the industry. And I'm very confident that finally everyone will come together and the policy has to look at all uh, interests across the value chain. Because if the, the Gujarat textile industry has to go to the next level, the entire value chain needs to go in sync. We have to modernize the whole fabric manufacturing and we have to seed garment manufacturing and we have to seed technical textiles. So I think a holistic policy which will look at not only the segments but also MSMEs and also facilitate large scale export oriented companies. I think both will be required. So when you look at policy, there are a lot of things to keep in mind. And I'm very confident that Gujarat, as always, will continue to be the state that gives uh, great policy uh, vision and support to the industry. Um, in terms of the policy push and in terms of the export push as well, because you're also, we're not ta now talking about the India growth story. We're talking about self-reliance and not just self-reliance, but also exports to boost that, to cater to the world's demands. And as you said, Gujarat is a very key player in that. Uh, how do you see that going forward and what needs to be addressed uh, in terms of the small and the major players as well? No, so as I mentioned, one of the things is how do we increase value addition? To uh, a decade ago when 
Modi ji was chief minister the first thought was how do we instead of exporting cotton Gujarat is the largest cotton growing state instead of moving out cotton how do we move out yarn and the policy at that time was very progressive and it created almost uh, you know 5 uh, million plus spindles which allowed uh, Gujarat to convert all cotton into yarn now the policy uh, environment has to help us scale up yarn to fabric and fabric to garment so that's uh, that's one part which is policy but on the other side i think even entrepreneurs need to step up and really focus on what is required for global excellence larger scale better efficiencies and full sustainability because if you are not sustainable global brands are not going to look at you mm -hmm. so it's not just about policy it is also about the gujarat uh, businessmen and entrepreneurs to step up think big because the opportunity is big the world wants an alternate the world is looking at us this is the time to step up advice to those entrepreneurs who are trying to plug in those gaps you just mentioned that they should focus on or they should perhaps keep in mind while they are uh, pursuing this i think one is uh, challenging the status quo what has happened in the past is not necessarily what needs to happen in the future so we need to embrace new products we need to diversify we need to invest in great product design great r&d we need to step out of where we are comfortable you know for example surat is a powerhouse it produces extremely large amount of fabric at an extremely uh, low cost but the export potential is completely untapped mm -hmm. if if that orientation moves outward Uh, you know surat can become a fabric capital for the entire south of asia so i think these are the opportunities before us so my advice to entrepreneurs would be to think new think big all right thank you so much for speaking to us and for more of such conversations keep watching republic business I, why she said that? In the, in the press conference. Yeah, yeah, but why? Why she said that? Because I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't cheat. I didn't dope. So it's better if we read the decision from TAS that it was a contaminated supplement, was not doping, and I it never, I never had something to do with doping. So I never doped. So I, I'm not a cheater. So thank you to the tournament for giving me the wild card and to have the possibility to play in such a big tournament. It was great to be back, and only one person being negative about me is not that important because I have hundreds of people that giving me love. So I will take that. You know, with with the meeting yesterday, I don't know if you referred to that. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Welcome, viewers. Viewers, I had predicted yesterday that Arvind Kejriwal's arrest is very likely. You will remember we debated it in detail, and as I said, it is moving exactly in that direction. Now there are two ways of looking at this. One that after his arrest, Arvind Kejriwal's supporters will start a sympathy campaign for him. Secondly, that like Hemant Soren or K Kavita, both of whom have been arrested in corruption charges, it is unlikely that Arvind Kejriwal will get any mass support given two facts. One, that the charges of liquor gate, the corruption charges against him are very serious. Charges of liquor gate, the corruption charges against him. And two, 
I have got news that Kejriwal has been arrested, ladies and gentlemen. I am breaking that right now. Shavan is with me, so I am breaking away from my lead. Ladies and gentlemen, let's carry the big grid. Kejriwal arrested. Shavan, what's the latest? Shavan, you can confirm that Kejriwal has been arrested. Shavan, well, the, Kejriwal arrested. Top. First breaking here on Republic, yes. Much ahead. Much, yes. much ahead. Much ahead, much ahead, much ahead or not before anyone else, Republic TV is now confirming, we have got the 100% confirmation, Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal has now been arrested by the enforcement director. In a short while from now, arrested. Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out from here, taken to the enforcement directorate headquarters and I'm confirming this, his statement has already been recorded under section 17, 1F of the PMLA. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal hasn't cooperated with the Enforcement Directorate. A confirmation now coming in that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Adam, I'm also getting some more calls from my sources. I'll just quickly take our viewers through the quick developments. He was confronted today with you some take, of the you evidence. You take a couple of calls. I'm holding it till then, ladies and gentlemen. The holding it there. Take the call. The stay on air. Mute the audio. Fact, Let him stay on air. Let him take fact, the calls, ladies and gentlemen. Been. The big. In fact, in fact, in fact, he has. Not yeah, so take the calls, take the calls, you stay on air. Ladies and gentlemen, Shavan is on air. You can see him speaking to his sources. We mute the audio there, producers, because that's live news gathering going on before you. You can see him getting WhatsApp messages and Shavan Sen, ace reporter, ace television reporter Shavan Sen breaking the news of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. He's going to move away from the camera right now, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. And Arvind Kejriwal has been questioned for at least a couple of hours, but he's not been cooperating. He has made it absolutely clear he's in no mood to cooperate. He refused to go to the Enforcement Directorate office. He told the Joint Director of the Enforcement Directorate that he will not cooperate. He said that he will not move out. He was setting terms and conditionalities. The Joint Director is the same director, ladies and gentlemen, the same director who has questioned and arrested uh, K. Kavita earlier. He was confronted with statements. He was confronted with proof. He was told by the Enforcement Directorate that they have come with a swathe of information that they need to speak to him about it. But Arvind Kejriwal is buying time. And the whole strategy of Arvind Kejriwal and the Ahmadmi party is to have a whole group of people outside, whole group of people outside, you know, who can sort of, you know, do this build up. Let's get the Ahmadmi party spokesperson also live right now, ladies and gentlemen, way ahead of any other network, way ahead, way, way ahead of any other network, way ahead of any other channel, breaking the news of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal here on Republic. And uh, we are now, uh, we'll be joined by Akshay Marathe. In just some time, Akshay Marathe is with us. Akshay Marathe, spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party. Ahmadmi Party Chief, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. We can confirm right now. Should he not have cooperated earlier? Should he have waited for nine summons? Moment of reckoning for the Ahmadmi Party. And he's refusing to go to the ED office. What, of, what does all of this indicate? Akshay, non-cooperation at this, this level will not be seen well by the courts. All of this Anab Enforcement Directorate is an extortion department of the Bharatiya Janata Party. It is not taken seriously by anybody except for those who are blind bucks of the Bharatiya Janata Party. So I understand that there are sympathizers of the ED who think that Arvind Kejriwal should have just walked into the ED office, gotten arrested on right on day one. But Arvind Kejriwal is an honest in. leader who right. will get reprieved from the courts eventually. And he has chosen the difficult been path. Arrested. Your leader has been be arrested. If he has, if he has, Sorry, your leader I, is under I, arrest can now. Complete, can I complete my point? You can celebrate it, Arna, by understanding so you your are leader happy today. has been arrested. But, should but, he not? But let me finish. I'm not celebrating. I'm point. saying that should but he not go on his own? Should he not go on his own to the ED office? No, he should no, not. I'm not celebrating. He, I'm breaking a wants, story. Should he, he wants, not go on his he own? He wants to go to the ED office. He might as well go to the Bharatiya Janata Party. Why should he not? Office. The because the Bharatiya Janata Party takes in all the leaders against whom the ED has notices. And then when the, the leader okay, joins the Bharatiya Janata Party, and those cases are dropped. And then when so Arvind Kejriwal should have done the same thing. Can we have the live shots and not the archive shots, Aditi, running right now? When we have live shots from the spot. There are drone shots. There are live shots. I'm telling the producers to keep the live shots along with Shavan. We have multiple cameras on the spot. No archive shots. Please not right now. Okay. And Shavan, you have more details. Shavan, tell me more. Shavan, who broke the news first about the arrest. Shavan, tell me more. Shavan, tell me more. Well, in fact, Shavan, if you can hear me now, right now. Well, in I, fact, order. Yes. Right now, right now the yes. arrest, arrest memo. I can. I can. I can. Order. Arrest. Arrest memo will be served. 
arrest memo will Can be we served have the to the chief minister. On air, the grounds of arrest is going to be read out to the chief minister. I am told that I am I am told I am told that there is a sense of uh, you know there, there has been a brief altercation between the chief minister and the enforcement director officers. Pretty much what happened uh, with the chief minister Hemant Soren too. But right now, because it is going to be important that Arvind Kejriwal signs that arrest mem memo. The moment we that have is a sound bite of Atish Shri coming in. Here. Here. एक राजनीतिक साजिश है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अगर राइट आदित्य प्लीज डू दिस लगता है तो वो नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल है दो साल में दो साल में जब से इस केस का इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है दो साल में एक रुपए की भी रिकवरी ना ईडी ना सीबीआई कर पाई है 500 से ज्यादा अफसर इस केस में लगे हुए थे हजार से ज्यादा रेड हुए आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं के घर मंत्रियों के घर उनके ऑफिस में हर जगह रेड हुई लेकिन उसके बावजूद एक रुपया आज तक नहीं मिला है तो आज लोकसभा का चुनाव अनाउंस होने के बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट एक राजनीतिक साजिश है लेकिन मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को कहना चाहती हूँ कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी मुख्यमंत्री अपने पद से इस्तीफा नहीं देंगे आपने क्लियर कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये बिल्कुल साफ है और ये बिल्कुल स्पष्ट है इस पर कोई दो राय नहीं है आप कानूनी लड़ाई का क्या होगा हम बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल Zafar Islam is joining the debate with Akshay Marathi ladies and gentlemen I'm staying with the shots throughout I'm staying with the shots throughout there are a lot of security personnel can I have the shots on the air maximum time of the screen on the shots ladies and gentlemen can I have the shots on air constantly aditi because the view viewers want to see the full frame pictures right now that we have from Arvind Kejriwal's residence thank you so much thank you we stay with the pictures there what the aam aadmi party has been trying to do ladies and gentlemen what you're seeing on the ground is that they're trying to get thousands and thousands and hundreds of workers to the ground to start political protest the challenge at this point of time will be to take Arvind Kejriwal out from his residence and to the ED headquarters which is already being given maximum security so to avoid a political confrontation things have to move very very fast uh, these are pressure tactics so obviously the aam aadmi party is a party mobilized in delhi they will do everything possible to stop arvind kejriwal from being taken to create some kind of a law and order situation on the ground out there we have the bjp facing off with the aap on the debate on both sides of the screen said zafar aslam joining the debate right now are you fearing a law and order situation here right now with akshay marathi on the screen and akshay is this very bad form nine summons you dodge ten summons you been given you refuse to cooperate you tell the ed you will not cooperate you instruct them on what they should be doing this is after the thrashing that you have got you got a thrashing in the high court the high court has pulled you up you lost your case there and now you are trying to block the arrest you are trying to block 
an arrested leader akshay marathe from being taken can I, can I into custody now? akshay now? akshay on the right can i respond can i yeah. can i respond now anub i think you have been misinformed that we yes. got a thrashing in the high court in the high court the court asked the enforcement directorate to show even one single piece of evidence that they have against mr arvind kejriwal and the ed was not able to show even one your interpretation is wholly and completely incorrect the, in the high court today in the high court today you went and asked them can i have you on air on the right hand side and 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 the other guests on the left the debate is on now akshay marathe today in the court today in the court let me finish let me finish today in the court you said please please issue instructions please issue instructions one minute i am speaking over you because i'm countering you can i just come in please okay and in the court today you went and said you went and said can i have you on the screen i can't see you on the screen so i can't take this debate forward aditi thank you yeah so the question is today in the court you went and said I that i should not be arrested and the court said i am giving you no such guarantee you demanded the, you, you the said, said i should let not be arrested the court did the court not give said. you any such guarantee did let you ask for protection from arrest I, and not get it am i right or wrong there can i finish my point now <coughs> the court said the court asked the enforcement directorate are you planning to arrest again back to these do you have any evidence against him the ed said that we have no evidence against him right now we are Arvind, not planning Arvind, to arrest can i just come in please he is speaking for so long that is what can i just come in please the court so then issued a show cause notice just, that is not what the ed said asking them for explanation the court asked for the ed for an explanation why Arnab, they want to arrest can i just come in please the ed was supposed to respond by 22nd april i'm sorry you are completely mistaken and completely wrong i don't know who's giving you a lowdown Mr. of the court Kejriwal. you went to the court Arnab, one minute one minute Arnab, one minute Arnab, one minute, one minute. can you have three windows there at the bottom screen today you went to the court one second one second one second just one minute first ishkaran is countering you on what happened in the court today Arnab, i'm saying you lost the case in the court yes You refuse. No, you could not get protection. You could not get protection from coercive action. In fact, yeah. the court was you for trying to set terms for an appearance. For and I said that yesterday as well. Ishkaran Lauda. For my knowledge, who is Ishkaran Lauda? Because there is epic misinformation being spread. Your viewers should know what happened in the honorable high court both yesterday and today. Arnav, can I make my point? If you could lower the speed up, because this is absolute misinformation being spread. It's not outright lies. Who are you? What happened in the court on two days? Are you from the BJP or first? On the first day, the, the court government? orally observed. Why can you not appear on the summons? Because you have received nine summons. Now today, there were two basic uh, prayers before the court. One, the summons are illegal, which the R party has Make been saying outside the court. The summons are illegal. The ED could not summon. The summons should Get be stayed. Back. The summons should be quashed. The second aspect was on which they were asking the court was interim relief, a protection from coercive measures in simple language, a protection from arrest. Both these requests, neither the summons were stayed, that means the ED had the right to summon him, nor was he given any protection from arrest. And the third part, on to whether ED has a good case or not, ED said during investigation we do not show the case to any accused. That's the standard procedure by all investigative agencies. But the court insisted that you show. us the courts the proof or whatever files you have that was seen in the chamber after that was seen in the chamber the honorable high court by an express order declined to Zafar give him any there. relief declined to give him a relief of prevention that is absolutely false that is why that is absolutely false that is a legal are how can you not know the law that is absolutely false that is absolutely false let me let me respond now and let me respond that is absolutely false high court gave you that is absolutely false you are lying you are lying on national television that is why you have been arrested can i can i just ask allow me to come in now allow me to come in you believe that you have this issue of the law also talk for the last 3 minutes without interrupting him you, but you did not let me speak even for Adam, what can i just come in please akshay marathe akshay marathe akshay marathe before that i want to update viewers he has I, I want spoken to update enough. everyone and i have zafar on the left akshay marathe on the right and zafar zafar i want to just recap the breaking news right now uh, delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal has been arrested about five mobile phones have been seized by the ed all the items have been taken into custody the enforcement directorate reached his house after arvind kejriwal lost the case earlier today where the delhi high court flatly refused any interim protection from coercive action at this stage to arvind kejriwal arvind kejriwal had filed an application seeking interim relief in his plea challenging the ed summons and there was a division bench comprising of justice suresh kumar uh, kat and justice manoj jain uh, they gave full liberty to the enforcement directorate to file the response to kejriwal's application and 
the judge said that at this point of time, we cannot give him any protection from arrest. Uh, at the ED reached his house. The ED told him, the joint director told him to come to the office. Kejriwal said, I won't. Kejriwal said, I refuse to move. The ED said he's not cooperating. The ED has then arrested Kejriwal. Kejriwal is right now under arrest. The AAP says he's run the government from lockup. And uh, we should be, and uh, the AAP has started mobilizing its workers outside the house to create some kind of a physical situation there. That is the sequence of events. Now, Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP, former Arnab, MP Rajya me, Sabha. Uh, Arnab, they, see, you heard Arnab, the AAP spokesperson, Arnab, yes. Arnab, see, Arnab. I heard, I heard the AAP spokesperson, I heard the various leaders of AAP speaking the same rhetoric which they are speaking for the last several days. But this will not work anymore, Arna, because he has to pay for his sins. The sins he has committed, everyone knows and there are no authorities has all the evidences proving him that he is guilty of committing crime along with the, uh, many other people involved in liquor scam. So he wants to take all the protection from this, from the legal protection which he is attempting, but there is absolutely no relief from High Court, and he will not get any relief from even from Supreme Court because I am saying because of the crime he has committed. No matter what the what the AAP spokesperson says, no matter what the leader of other spoke AAP, AAP leader says, but the fact is that that he has committed a crime, he has committed a sin, and he is paying price for that sin. Now. Whether he appeals to a Supreme Court, it not, it nothing will happen because he, every, the agencies have proof and proof has been shown to the High Court and that is why High Court didn't give back. him any relief from the arrest which he was thinking that he will get protection from. Secondly, what is more important, uh, Arnab, that uh, AAP is trying to somehow create law and order situation but let me tell you that no matter whatever they try, law and order situation will be maintained as it has to be maintained and they, they will not be able to disrupt the law and order situation in the state of uh, Delhi because all the precautionary measures have been taken by the security people, by the authorities and these, these people may try to disrupt but we will not allow it to happen. Se Can third, I respond That now? is more important point, uh, uh, Rajiv, that... Uh, 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 Arnab, Arnab, uh, Arnab, third very important point that he was thinking that he is above the law but today it has been proven if you commit a crime, then law has its own uh, way. Arna, to catch you. how law are you? Am I supposed to listen to, to everybody else? Delhi speak? And the you have not interrupted this person even That once. he has committed a crime, he has committed a sin, and he has to be interrupted by you. Which is not even to make a single point throughout the show. No, you are, let if me you are interrupting me, you'll have to face my questioning. I will certainly question you, but it cannot be a one way street. One minute, one minute. It cannot be a one way street. One minute, one minute. Aside Zafar, one minute. One minute, one minute. One minute, one minute. Just one minute. Viewers, viewers, this this impression. This, I, I, I just want to make one point out here, that it is very easy for Akshay Marathe or Pankaj Sharma or Akashdeep Muni or Mahesh Bigala, all of whom are on air and Mr. Bigala is spokesperson of the BRS, to come on air that this is wrong, that is wrong, etc. However, I swear by every word of what I am saying here tonight, viewers, and I know that you believe me. I'll tell you what has happened today, viewers. First ED summons, 2nd November 2023, Arvind Kejriwal doesn't go. Second ED summons, 22nd December, Arvind Arnab, Kejriwal refuses. Anything. Third ED you summons, 3rd January, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Fourth ED summons, 18 January, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Fifth ED summons, 2nd February, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Sixth ED summons, 19th February, Arvind Kejriwal refuses. Seventh ED summons, 26th February, Arvind Kejriwal says nothing doing. Eighth ED summons, 28th, 7th February, Arvind Kejriwal says I will not cooperate. 9th ED summons 17th March 2024 and Arvind Kejriwal says I don't care. I don't care what you are saying. These you are, are the facts of the, of the BJP. You are a spokesperson of the BJP. That's why I don't care what you say. What you say does not matter. You stand with Ashok Chavan, you stand with Ajit Pawar, and you have to come out. You care for no one. You don't care for the courts. You don't care for the two people on the screen, please. One minute, one minute. You don't care for the courts. You don't care for the law. You don't care for the facts. You don't care for the high court. And the high court has turned you down today. You are a sellout. You are a sellout of the BJP. That's what you want. You can say what you want, Akshay. You don't believe you are a neutral person. You can say what you want. 
you you can I say what say you want akshay i will say because you mad. today are running akshay, an agenda you can run akshay akshay you are going to this way you will only burst an artery and achieve nothing one minute one minute one minute can i can i zafar zafar one minute zafar i can completely understand pankaj i can completely understand akash deep i can completely and totally understand i can completely i can i i am not celebrating i am reporting it you are celebrating and you are the one who's very you hot under the collar today i completely the understand BJP. because your, your leader has been arrested that. your viewers need to know that arnab goswami is with the bjp and he will celebrate arvind kejriwal being arrested but what you will not tell them is two months before the lok sabha election now, an opposition and leader being arrested like that, that you are a, he is a dictatorship you are, and your you party's leader was a corrupt man you 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 should take responsibility I, I, for the dictatorship uh, that India has thrown under one, five. Now, if you are quiet, I will give it back to you, nice and proper. I will give it back to you, nice and proper. But, but, but one minute, but one minute. I request everyone tonight. I request. No, 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 no. Zaid Zafar Islam, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Zaid Zafar Islam, one minute. Akshay Marathi has taken it too far, and he will now have to listen to me. If he is not a coward, he will have to listen to me. If he is a coward, he will interrupt me. I have listened to him, and I am now going to give it back to him. And unless he is a coward, he will listen to me. Now, and I am sure he is not a coward. Today, ladies and gentlemen, fact is that the court refused to pass an order granting interim protection from arrest to Kejriwal, and the court said, and I quote: "We have heard both the sides." However at this stage we are not inclined to pass any order. Exactly. This is called a defeat in the high court. Exactly. And you can cry scream call anyone a BJP spokesperson exactly. but it is a fact. Second point the court emphasized the court emphasized it's not the BJP the court so you be careful what you say because Kejriwal's lawyer Singhvi had said today that ED has filed six charge sheets 25000 documents what is the purpose of the summons? then the court said akshay marathi and you are probably unaware therefore uninitiated you are saying things without knowing the court said and i quote the words of the court unless arvind kejriwal appears please note viewers unless arvind kejriwal appears how will he know what information documents the ed ultimately wants from him so the court gave an instruction akash deep that arvind kejriwal yes. must appear yes you will attack the court now yeah i will attack the court now let me let me reply uh, akshay ji pull back uh, just i just and now he'll attack the you. court now he'll attack the court no, are listen to me <laughs> no no now he says i will attack the court he'll attack are, everybody listen today to me. Uh, listen to no no he listen said i didn't say the aap spokesperson said i will attack the court one minute no, 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 akash ji no. watch the words the aap no, national no, spokesperson I, I said i will attack the court now So attack the court. Sir, I'll give you the fact, sir. Attack the court. Sir, I'll give. I'll no, give no. The, the AAP spokesperson Akshay Marathi just said, "Yes, I will attack the court." No, no. I have been attacking the court, sir. Right to disagree no, with the court. The court, court are, uh, we have to we respect, respect, respect the, the court. Everyone has. We have to respect the court. Nobody is attacking the court. But I have. Yeah, yeah I just now you said the court said nothing. When I quoted the court, you were saying I disagree with the court. For one minute. Ha! I want to put some facts here. Uh, Arnab ji, you to, today I respect you so much, but today you put out the court uh, proceeding selectively, sir. While to substantiate my uh, argument, today the on uh, today the honourable A S G, who is a lawyer of E D, said in the court that neither the Amadi Party or Arvind Kejriwal is the accused in this matter of excise scam, alleged excise scam. even that went to the other level where the court asked enforcement directorate to present material evidence against arvind kejriwal to which enforcement directorate said in the court that material has is being investigated so the material not sufficing so material has been investigated cannot be presented in court court uncourt so the evidence was not suffice to arrest or to produce in a court of law against arvind kejriwal as per the enforcement directorate lawyer mr raju who is the additional solicitor general third point that delhi has 
जो completely, completely, completely said something completely and wholly incorrect. Arun Kejriwal's petition in two weeks, which is saying that Arunab, can I come in? Fact check. So Delhi, I'm just one small fact check. Enforcement is required to file that reply to Arun Kejriwal. What is the final judgment by Arunab by the High Court? Did he? Did they give any relief? This is beyond misinformation. Did he get beyond misinformation? Abhishek, come in, yeah. I'm not making people sit. Pull the chairs and sit yourself. Now, 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 no. Why everybody on the Bharatiya Janata Party is that will be attacking Arvind Kejriwal today? We know that in 2018. No, no. Let me ask you one question. Arvind, let me ask him one question. Forget about the proceeding. What is the final outcome? What is the final outcome? Did he get any protection from the court? Did he get any protection from the court? Did he get any relief from the court? He didn't get any relief from the court. That's why he has been arrested. The point is, the point is Akash Deep, Akash Deep, Akash Deep, Akash Deep. Let me see if Shavan can give me an input. Can Abhishek and Ashwarya come into the studio? Like I asked them to come at nine o'clock today. Can they come in, please, on their own? Walk into the studio, please. Thank you very much. And now, and now I am on the debate with. I am making a point here. This is tremendously distracting. Abhishek and Ashwarya, please sit up. Now I am, now I am making a point here. Now I am making a point here. Ah, just one minute, please. Just one minute. 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 See, today the High Court told Arvind Kejriwal, why don't you file an anticipatory bail application in the court yet? Okay, now the ED, in fact, assured the court, Akash Deep, I don't know to what extent you can lie, but obviously you have your own limits. The court asked the ED, tell us what evidence you have against him yes. for arrest. Is there any document against Kejriwal? In response to which... The ED told the court, my lord, we have the documents. Mm -hmm. And Ishkaran says that in confidence, yes. the investigating the agency material. shared certain documents. Yes. yes. No, no, yeah, no, no, so no, no. the investigating there, there agency shared charade. certain material in confidence with the court. Material is being investigated, that's what he said. Now you have, I mean, obviously you have to... I mean, Akash Deep, Akash Deep. Arnab, which person under investigation gets to have the investigative agency's documents? They don't know the basic law of the land. Forget it. No investigative agency at the stage of investigation gives documents to anybody who is under the scanner. That's the law of the land. But of course, the judge is asked to receive the cover. It is given to judges. It's the basic law of the land. I do not know how much information they can spread on national television, Arnab. Arnab, this is not misinformation. This is outright lies. How is it that the court does not notify? Just one minute, one minute. I'm not getting the audio clear. Akshay, 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 Akshay. See, I, one minute, Pankaj. Pankaj, 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 see. Manish Sisodia has been in jail for more than one year and not a single piece of evidence has been presented. I can't hear him. Can the audio be higher in the studio? I can't hear him. Akshay, Akshay, listen to me. The court asked Abhishek Manu Singhvi, who is Kejriwal's legal representative, you are a citizen of the country. They are giving you summons. Why don't you appear when you are given the summons? What is preventing you from attending the summons? To which Kejriwal said, I am not avoiding, I need protection from arrest. Because I am not a common criminal. I need protection from arrest. Today, the court says, I am not going to give you protection from arrest. After which the ED went to question Kejriwal and told him to cooperate. He did not cooperate. After nine summons, he has been arrested. I think that as much drama as you may want to do, the Delhi High Court has rebuked Kejriwal's lawyer for giving a flimsy excuse of not knowing whether the summons are sent for Kejriwal as accused or witness. The court said, pursuant to the summons, if you attend the call only, then will you get to know. Now, the I Delhi say? High Court has now, denied to entertain Kejriwal's argument that summons are a trap to arrest him. Please can understand, what Atishi says in our press conference, that there is can no evidence is not the final word. 
the ed you have to understand nobody can I you see that the ed will not arrest a delhi chief minister unless long, it feels how long, how long it is sitting on sufficient how evidence how long are you going to speak can no, i respond why aren't now? you how long nahi hai you have made statements today which are unworthy of you and i am i am compelled I respond? to respond to you factually without descending okay, to your personal to you? diatribe i will not descend to you okay, I will can not I, okay, descend you to you to, to, to your level, you but I am telling you today that this would not have happened. No, no, no. Question is not. You must show some patience. I completely commiserate with you. Your leader is arrested. There is a problem in Aam Aadmi Party which will unravel. But you can need I? to understand this. Is what has happened? Uh, one, can I one. respond or no? Is this a can both of you just hear from Zah? Shawan, latest on what's happened. Shawan, what's going on? When is he going to be brought up? Midnight this is some hearing. kind of joke that is playing out there. No, no. Well, in fact, uh, 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 Ashwarya is on. Ashwarya is on. Ashwarya. The strategy of the Aam Aadmi Party is to and fro. Akshay Marathe, hold on. Akshay Marathe, your leaders are having a second thought. You said you will go. You, then you said you will not. Now you are again going. The legal team of the Aam Aadmi Party has already approached the Registrar Office of the Supreme Court. You are waiting a response. You want a midnight hearing. After Arvind Kejriwal being arrested right now, Abhishek Manu Singhvi con came on record just few minutes prior, said no, we are not. Now you have already uh, now you have already approached. The Did you go zoom in on me? Zoom court. in on me. Now, yeah. uh, now, no, no, one, just just one minute, just one minute. Options running out here, Aish, Abhishek, for Aam Aadmi Party. Do can you think I, they'll get the I urgent hearing? Any, why should the court give them an urgent hearing? They might get an urgent. And why? On what grounds? On what grounds? On what grounds would the Supreme Court give an urgent hearing? Would he be treated like a VVIP? For the simple reason there is a lobby, Arnav. No, if there is a lobby, no, no, one minute. I don't understand this. If there is a lobby, Abhishek, does not mean the Supreme Court gives an urgent hearing. Will you, I, anyone, any no citizen of the get. country, get an urgent no hearing? Then why the question Arnav, being, why should Arvind Kejriwal get an urgent hearing? When you were arrested. You got an urgent hearing. Just FYI. No, I did not get an urgent hearing. No, I did not get an urgent hearing. No, you are wrong, Akshay. You are wrong, Akshay. Second time you are wrong. You are very wrong. You, you are absolutely wrong. I went through the whole Manish process. Manish I went through all the courts. I went through the sessions court. I went to the high court, and then I went to the Supreme Court. You are a liar. I did not get an urgent hearing. You are factually incorrect. You don't know what you are talking about. You made multiple mistakes tonight. You are unprepared for the gravity of the situation, and you need to understand this. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot get away anymore. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way unlike. Your leader, even when Parambir Singh interrogated me, I went every time. Unlike your leader, I did not avoid ten summons. Because you are now, if you are frustrated, desperate, it's your, it's your, it's your problem. You are making wrong facts. 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 How is that okay? How is that a democracy? How is that? Zafar has to be on the left hand side of the, the screen. The legal process, Akshay, you don't decide. Legal process is fraud. You don't it decide that the process is compromised by the Bharatiya Janata. Why can't you put Anybody Zafar Islam on the, the left when necessary? Aditi, right now is necessary. Anybody who is against the Bharatiya Janata Party gets trapped in the legal system. Okay, that is the courts have kept him behind bars. I mean, you don't know what this what has been discussed. We don't even want to. We don't even want to put what has been discussed. Hold on, we only want to see what. The final outcome. Final outcome was only one thing that he didn't get any relief from the court. That is something which everyone should know. This one, he is, he has committed crime. Court has seen all the documents, and the court has seen all the evidence. Says that based on that, he didn't get. Court didn't give him any relief. Akshay, 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 Akshay. That is something which is important for us to know. What was discussed in the inside the court is something which is not relevant for us to discuss because we do not do everything. What has happened there? But. We know the Akshay. consequences. What happened Akshay. on the final outcome? So what the, happened to Ajit Pawar? What, what was the consequence of Ajit Pawar? 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 He has committed Everybody a crime. Everybody who is aligned and with the BJP escapes the, the law. Paying for his all his sins. Everybody who is aligned with the BJP escapes jail time. And the who has escaped the law? Ajit Pawar who has escaped the law? He is he is only going through the law. Through the law, through the process. No, through he is going through the legal process.
No, what, what, how can you say that is the BJP. there is absolute Iska? law for everyone, but you, you, you felt that jail. there is no law for you, you, you are above the, the law. Kedriwal felt that bail, there is no court, there is no Supreme Court, there is only one chief minister of Delhi who is above the law. Okay, okay, Shawan has Atishi, Shawan, Shawan, cut to Shawan, Shawan now please, live, Shawan with Atishi, come on, let's cut live. Will Arvind Kejriwal step down given the fact that he has always taken the position that any corruption allegation, a person in public life will have to step down? Are we looking at the Chief Minister of Delhi stepping down with the arrest Arvind, taken? Arvind Kejriwal was the Chief Minister of Delhi, is the Chief Minister of Delhi and will remain the Chief Minister Are you of Delhi. suggesting that the Are government of Delhi would be running from... The Yes, the jail? absolutely it will be running from Tihar jail because this is the clear modus operandi of the Bharatiya Janta Party. Put allegations of corruption under PMLA on all opposition leaders, arrest them. Why do they file cases only under PMLA? Because that is the only act in this country under which it is virtually impossible to get bail. As a senior so, leader, Atisha, you would agree that there was no relief coming in from the court. Prima facie, there was evidence against your other leaders, the then deputy is, chief minister. Is, so how is it you are saying is, there is no there evidence? Is absolutely. Where is the proceeds of crime? Can the ED after two years say they have recovered even one rupee from any Amadmi party leader, they can't. Where is the evidence? Where is the proceeds of crime? They have not been able to show any proceeds of crime, despite having hundreds of officers investigate the case, thousands of raids, and the timing of the arrest makes it very clear. Tell me someone, Coming as a time, senior, as a senior leader, as an IRS officer himself, Mr. Kejriwal says that, tell me whether am I a suspect or a witness? Is that even a logical explanation. It's a logical question. Because is the fact not, of the under the, no, I'm asking only under the section 50, is under it, section 17 not, of the PMLA is Act, the it is the prerogative question. of the agency. I have a simple question for you. Why is it that all PMLA cases get filed only against opposition leaders? Well, that's why a question that you should ask the enforcement director. Yes, absolutely. The second question. Why is it that all cases against the opposition Leaders do not happen under the CRPC Act. They do not happen under the Prevention of Corruption Act. The only one act in which cases get filed. That's also because, LA, but there is a corruption because, case by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Precisely because that is the only law in the country. It was the law was put in place to prevent terrorism, to prevent trading of narcotics. Today, but it's also money laundering. Whether Vijay, Shawan, can you ask her whether she thinks Vijay Nair is innocent? Can Shawan hear me? Well, well Shavan, fact, can you hear of, me? Out of the fact is that I know, right I, now I, I don't think you heard party that. leaders. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I unfortunately, or not because uh, she's already stepped out. Because right now, if, you can, if I can just show you what's really happening on the other side, is no uh, right now most of uh, the Amadi party leaders have come on the road. Right now. That's the current situation. Reason why, if the, you're wondering why. Is some speed coming in, Aditi? If it is coming, we'll cut to it. Is it coming in right now? Uh, one sec. I was just told that Sambit Patra's feed is also coming in. Yes, yes. We're seeing live BJP reactions coming in. Can we cut to that, please? Can we cut to it immediately, please? Thank you very much. Moving ahead on the story. Thank you. Let's hear the reactions, viewers. The idea, the idea of corruption, the idea of minting money through a, I would say, through an excise policy. I mean, this is unheard of. Louder. A CM... A CM who talks about education. In the studio. Manish Shishodhiya in ke education mantri te, siksha mantri te. Aapne vishwa mein kahin suna hai, siksha mantri sharaap ke ghotale se paisa mana raha hai. Jo CM kehta hai ki hum to chand mein bhi school khol denge, wo sharaap ke paise se paise bana kar ke, sharaap ke thheke daaron se, sharaap ke bade bade mafiyon se, don se, paise ki ughai karta hai, aur karodo karod rupayon ka chanda leta hai. Ladies and gentlemen, Mahesh Bigala is spokesperson. Aditi, please cut out. Uh, Mahesh Bigala is spokesperson of the BRS. Mr. Bigala, today Arvind Kejriwal was confronted by some statements we are told. Now we are also told that the joint director of the enforcement directorate who went there to question and then arrest Arvind Kejriwal is the same officer, I think Kapil Raj, who arrested K. Kavita. So, is it possible that your leader K. Kavita has made certain statements about the role uh, of Arvind Kejriwal? Because things have moved very fast after I, I, Kavita's I, I, arrest. 
No, I think this is not from the last arrest of Kavita ji because this case is going on, investigation is going on for the last two years. But we need to look at the timing and how it is motivated. It's a, it's the elections are coming in the next month and the, probably in the month of April and May. But you know the arrest took place of Kavita ji and Arvind Kejriwal ji now. What, why they took the last two years even to investigate and arrest? But and other thing we need to question is, but is are there any cases on the BJP leaders or even the NDA leaders? It's only the ED is investigating only the opposition's leaders. See, like the all this ED PMLA cases are filed and investigated and arrested all the opposition's leaders only. That's what like you know the but India but has Mr. Bigala, about, Mr. Bigala, all the all the all the all the as you are aware, all the all the opposition leaders went together to the Supreme Court and says we are being collectively targeted. The Supreme Court said this has no basis and sent you back. The Supreme Court said these are political matters, you can't bring them in the area of the court. They are not legally tenable arguments. So the Supreme Court has already dismissed that, you know, that argument of victimization. Now we need to go by what the courts are saying. Pankaj, this, I don't think this is going to lead to any mass sympathy campaign. It already doesn't seem to me. I mean, the AAP was expecting that people would be out on the streets protesting morning, day and night. It doesn't seem to be happening. See, the crux of the matter is that Atika Bhalana Barasana, Atiki Bhalina Dhu. Too much of anything could, could destroy. Excessive sorrow laughs, excessive joy weeps. Let me tell you, arrest of Kejriwal is going to boomerang politically very badly on these people. Don't say that Ejriwal is not going to get any sympathy out of this. He will. For many years and especially for a few last months, the entire nation is debating the issue of selective treatment by the investigative agencies of Modi government. It is charitable attitude towards the leaders of the ruling dispensation and its bullying approach. Bullying approach towards opposition leaders is the actual cause of concern. Why two sets of execution methodologies for the similar laws? People are asking this. And it has become so obvious in the last 10 years of Modi regime that you ask uh, any Pankaj, commoner on the streets. Pankaj, ask on any 30th commoner October on the streets. 2023, on 30th October 2023, Pankaji, on 30th October 2023, uh, the court Supreme Court said we will not give bail to Manish Sisodia. And the Ahmadmi party was shocked. Ahmadmi party before that, and I want to go back to this Abhishek, Said Zafar Islam and Akshay are on the Supreme debate. Also said there is a money trail. The Supreme Court said there is a money trail. The Supreme Court said that a money trail of not 1 crore, 2 crore, 33 plus. crores, but 338 crores has that is been not tentatively enough. established. That is not true. I do not that understand not after that how any Ahmadmi Party spokesperson can come and say that the courts are with us, the law is with us. In fact, can I, can I the now? Supreme Court had made the fact that the money trail of 338 crores was tentatively established. The basis for denying the bail of the former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, Manish Sisodia. It's as clear can as that. These are the words can of the I court. Respond? And they also said the new... Yes. So, uh, Akshay, are these the words of the court or not? You just respond with saying no, yes or not. no, then you can say what you want. This is what the Supreme Court, court said. Is this what the Supreme Court said or not? No, no, no. Is this... No, 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 no. You can't avoid the question okay, anymore. Is this the, what the Supreme Court said? No, you can't avoid the question. You give me a no, I am asking you and don't do tum tum with me, please. I am calling you up. I will not descend to your level. Please, please do not, please do not. I'm showing you respect. Don't try to go too familiar you with me, Akshay. Respect, You're speaking to a senior journalist. You, you don't cross the line. You let me speak. Yeah, but you it doesn't matter, speak. man. Whatever you what say, I'm still calling respect? you. I'm calling you out respectfully. What do I do with your respect? What do I do with I don't care what you do. One minute, Akshay, one minute. I don't care what you do. I am asking you a question. Is that what the court said? Is that what the court said? let me speak. You let me speak. Is that what the court said? You let me speak. Let me is, speak is, is this what the court said? No. The 338 the crore money trail. No. Did the Supreme no. Court the refer court to the 338 crore money trail said, or not? Are, bhai, did they or did they enough not? Enough is enough, Arnab. I, I, enough is enough.
Did the Supreme Court mention? So he said he can't answer the question. That is precisely the problem out here. The simple question being, if you are asked, was there a 338 crore money trail? You don't want to answer the question. But Akashdeep, there's no running away from that. Arnav, this is the I fundamental question you'll be asked in the courts Arnav, of public opinion also. See, Arnavji, no, no, one minute. Let right. Akashdeep take that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll answer the question. You are right. That the Honorable Court said that whatever the profits made in this policy, that will be considered as proceeds of crime. That is, that came to 331 crore. I acknowledge that. <laughs> but the profits made, by, it was by the companies, not by the uh, there was no money trail to Manish Shishodhya, Sanjay Singh or even Arvind Kejriwal. Till now, there is otherwise uh, ED would have treated yeah, with the tax of money. Now, Zafar Islam, please don't heckle. Please don't heckle. Please let me speak, sir. Please. Now, now one of the most important factor I want to tell today is that normally today, while all of us are talking about Kejriwal being arrested, Sanjay Saroj, who was named as terrorist by UP police in 2018, joined Bharatiya Janta Party. So terrorist joined Karre Bharatiya Janta Party. But a person who school, a person who makes a clinic, gives a good education, gives a good exchequer, gives a good exchequer, the only exchequer in the whole of India. India gets corruption. No, but I, all I am trying to tell you that no, no, all I am trying to tell you that you are, how come you are giving him a certificate? How come you are giving him a certificate? When court has not given the certificate, how how can you give him the certificate? Court has enough evidence. Agencies have enough evidence against him. There is a money trail. There is enough evidence against him. The, all the proceeds of the crime has gone to him. He is the beneficiary. So he's, he, not he is the only beneficiary. The deputy chief minister is also the beneficiary. Zafar is not. Sanjay Saroj is not in the BJP. The police told him to tell him to tell him in 2018. Who is not in the BJP? Let's go to the BJP. Let's go to the BJP. We will respond to that separately. If, if at all we need to discuss about this, we will discuss this separately. Right now we are discussing about Kejriwal. Has Kejriwal, no, has Kejriwal accept, accepted proceeds of crime, through and practice, unfair practices or not, tell me. Why? No, 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 I am asking you about Kejriwal. Why are you trying to digress? I am not trying to digress. We will have a debate separately. We will discuss everything about it. But why are you trying to digress? I am asking a direct question. Did he get, did he get any relief from the court? No, did he get any relief from the court the or not? Court today, no, he didn't get any relief. The Why? The because there is enough evidence against him. You must understand. Yes, court would, would have given him definitely some Shangu relief and he would have give, been given protection from the arrest. Since he did yeah, get the protection, to to definitely the means, meaning that there is the enough evidence that against him. Like there is the enough evidence against Kavita and Deputy Chief Minister also as well. The way the case is likely to go, the way the case is likely to go, one minute, one minute. The way the case is likely to go, viewers, people are asking, what will happen next, Abhishek? You see, now that it is a question of a sitting Chief Minister who has been arrested, I don't think the agencies can afford to take a... Chief Minister is arrested. Hemant Soren resigned. Hemant Soren resigned. So in his case, he's a sitting Chief Minister, technically, who is arrested. Then the court, therefore, has to... The agency has to prove that Kejriwal has violated the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. So, obviously, they would have had to force a money trade. See, it's not the CBI which has arrested him. Are you sure here that the there agency... There is a CBI case also. There is a CBI case, but the ED has chosen to arrest him. Which, which means that it's an act of finality by the EDI. Yes. So they can't out take a risk of arresting a sitting chief minister and facing the embarrassment yes. in the court of being pulled up yes. by the court yes. saying that you do not have reasons to arrest him. Yes. So would they take that risk? They would not. I mean, look at the kind of stance the Supreme Court has taken over the last couple of weeks or not. They have been very tough and uh, there is no indulgence whatsoever with whatever position the government takes. So obviously agencies like the Enforcement Directorate and CBI which are uh, under attack from the opposition, 
they would not take any chance whatsoever in so far as documents, evidence, and collation of data is concerned. Correct, correct. So I, I believe, uh, and all those people who are attacking these agencies uh, on the panel also would understand yeah. that when everything is happening under such a glare lens of media and court scrutiny, the agencies would be very cautious and conscious of the fact that their work is under great scrutiny. Yeah. And today they shared their work with the Honorable Judge. Today the ED showed every document they have, all proofs they have, mail trail, money trail, everything to the, to the to the High Court judge and then let the, the judge and the decide judge said, whether you want to give protection or not. So and the, the judge did not give protection. But the judge asked, why are you not arresting yes. him? So, 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 so fundamentally, I think I'll take a break at this point. Viewers, uh, when I come back, I'm going to go live because Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. But my last information is on the ground that he has not been physically taken to his residence yet. Now, how do I look at it? Viewers, the liquor gate scam is under investigation. These are pictures here. Let's hear the ambient sound. Okay, these are... I'm not getting audio here in the studio. Okay, so, 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 so ladies and gentlemen, Ma Manish Sisodia, who is one of the accused in the Delhi Liquor Gate scam case, former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, he has also got multiple criminal charges slapped on him by the CBI. What I'm trying to say is this is not just a PMLA case, this is not just an ED case, this is also a criminal case under investigation under IPC Section 20B. So there are serious charges out here. Uh, there is no doubt that there was a liquor scam. The only difficulty for the agencies will be that Arvind Kejriwal, so far as I know, has not had signing authority on any of these cases. So, yes. you know, the people who have been no, signing no, off on the no, files yes. have been Manish Sodia and others. However, is there something else which can be established which corroborates his role? Viewers, Kejriwal arrested. I'm back in a few minutes. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. No Manchester United tem sido, coletivamente, não tem sido uma época bem conseguida. Um, individualmente, eu tenho, tenho noção, perfeita noção, que, que tinha capacidade, tenho capacidade para fazer mais e melhor, como sempre. Um, mas não, não estou, neste momento, preocupado nisso, porque aquilo que eu, que eu venho sempre a dizer é que o meu empenho, a minha dedicação está sempre no, no máximo, independentemente de ser a, a representar a Portugal ou o Manchester United, por isso eu fico, fico tranquilo em relação a isso, uh, sabendo que uh, a qualidade das exibições pode sempre melhorar. O sonho está, está bem presente na, nas nossas cabeças, juntamente com o nosso povo, com o nosso país, Queremos, queremos voltar a dar essa alegria uh, que todo esse grupo em 2000, 2016 nos deu a nós, porque eu estava de fora, mas senti-me como se fosse um deles, porque é o que eu digo, é o, é o, é o nosso país, é a nossa seleção, é, é algo que nós, todos nós sonhamos em representar e ter essa possibilidade de agora sermos nós a dar essa alegria ao nosso povo, uh, não existe nada melhor do que isso.
now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, 80,439 are all pending cases in the Supreme Court as of 2023. It was an all-time high. As opposed, ladies and gentlemen, as opposed to the Supreme Court in the United States of America that heard about 70 cases a year, the Supreme Court of India is estimated to hear 700 plus legal matters every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just phenomenal, phenomenal. But dear viewers, for a system so committed, so robust to deliver justice to the people, is it a waste of time to flood the courts, inundate the courts, all kinds of petitions and PILs? Especially those which are settled matters by the parliament, by the executive. Just waste the time of the court in that. When there are so many important matters. If every action of the executive it starts getting questioned in the courts, does it not raise different issues, serious questions? Today, ladies and gentlemen, the Modi government was once again Reiterating that Rohingyas have no fundamental right to reside in India. Of course they don't. If they are illegal infiltrators, they don't have a fundamental right. What is there to discuss? Debate. The government impressed upon the honourable courts that the domain of policy and legislature are domains left to the right of parliament. And I totally agree. And so does the court, I am sure. So does the court. Policy is for the government to do. Otherwise, what's the point of having a government? What's the point of having parliament? Because in the year 2022, the very Supreme Court that heard the PIL today is the very same Supreme Court, which in the context of Rohingya said that there are some issues best left to the executive. So settle the matter. So the honorable courts are acutely mindful that the domains of the executive and the judiciary are exclusive and coexist independent of one another. But all settled matters go to the courts. All activists go to the courts. Every day there are thousands of petitions. All petitions will be discussed, debated as high constitutional matters. The courts have so many important things to do rather than keep hearing whether Rohingyas should have a right to live in India. And there is an increasing discussion these days about whether there is a thrilling trend of opposition parties directly or through proxies rushing to the courts to settle matters that they cannot or address or counter politically. Now for them to do that, if these opposition parties or groups want to decide policy matters, there is a simple way. Fight the election, get elected, have the numbers in parliament, pass your laws, decide your policy, run your government. But why make the courts do what you can't do? And whether the courts should entertain these things at all or not, or dismiss a large number of petitions as frivolous petitions, especially on matters which are purely under the domain, command and prerogative of the executive of India, the democratically elected government of India, the democratically elected policy makers of India. Because the government is now increasingly being brought in, whether it's the Rohingya case, whether it's the CA case, whether it's the election commission appointment, whether this or that or this or that. Constantly, the government has been of late reiterating and impressing in the courts the right of parliament to govern, the right of the government to formulate laws, right of the government to execute policy, because they have been elected to do it. We are going through a general election. And as a citizen, I also believe that many people have started to file petitions which are... From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the debate. And now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion. The big story today is that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Now, I followed Arvind Kejriwal's career extremely closely for the longest period of time. In fact, at some point of time, people said that I was responsible for providing sort of media support for the Aam Aadmi Party's predecessor, which was India Against Corruption. And I always held the view that we were not supporting an individual. We were at that point of time supporting a cause. Viewers, I clearly remember at that time, Arvind Kejriwal came into my studios and promised to me that he would never join politics. So Arvind Kejriwal is known to change his position and nobody knows that more than me. However, today he is in a vulnerable position. What is my reading of the situation? What I would like to tell you on the nation's sharpest opinion this evening, dear viewers, and if you look at the situation very, very logically, is that it's absolutely an all-out case now. Either Arvind Kejriwal gets fully exonerated, in which case it's going to be supremely embarrassing for the BJP, or Arvind Kejriwal gets convicted, in which case it is going to be the very end of his political career. There is no halfway house in cases like this. And therefore, Arvind Kejriwal knows that. The BJP knows that. The central government knows that. Now, if Arvind Kejriwal, after being arrested, gets the support of the courts, if the courts say there is no case, It'll be a body blow for the central government before the general election. And I think knowing all of these variables, there would have been some very cool political calculation done by the central government. That if it is going in for the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, it better have enough information to back up and build a case against him. Now, on the other side, Arvind Kejriwal's entire political career has been built not on the freebies which he started giving when he was chief minister. It has been built fundamentally on his initial positioning as an anti-corruption crusader. Whether he was in reality one or not, we can't argue about it. Some people say it's arguable, but the fact is that when he started his political career, he was seen to be one of the followers of Anna Hazare, and it was the anti-corruption campaign. A lot, viewers, a lot has changed since the spring of 2011 and the spring of 2024. In these 13 years, Arvind Kejriwal has become an absolutely hardened politician. Arvind Kejriwal knows that it's all out. Arvind Kejriwal has made fundamental mistakes. He has used taxpayers' money to build himself an extremely expensive home and things like that, which are not good for public perception. But he's also been extremely careful. On no document or government policy has he ever taken his own signature, which means he has always tried to look at the long-term political career that he has ahead of him and uh, try and wait what works for him, what does not work for him, and try and, if required, put the blame on his colleagues whether it be Manish Sisodia, whether it be Satyendra Jain, but made sure that none of that taint ever comes back to him. So viewers, also tonight another point to make is that the Congress party is in a spot. Because this is the very Congress that had said that the entire Kejriwal government, the entire Kejriwal cabinet is immersed in corruption. And when did they say that? They said that in 2023. And as an icing on the cake, the Congress party said the chief minister should be arrested for corruption. I would like to remind the viewers tonight that it will be very difficult for the Congress party to do what it has to do after this because the Congress party had said that because of Liquor Gate, Arvind Kejriwal is drenched in corruption and Arvind Kejriwal should be arrested in Liquor Gate. This was till a few months back, 2023. Arvind Kejriwal pretended to be the beacon of the anti-VVIP racism. He was against the Lal Bhatti, but ladies and gentlemen, this is the same Kejriwal is doing in his own sauce, viewers. Therefore, some people would say it is time for the mask of morality, or rather immorality of Arvind Kejriwal to come off. It is time for the people to see his real face out here, the very people who believed in his story of being the Aam Aadmi, with having the strong values of the middle class, will now define his future. So, viewers, these are some very, you know, clear questions that emerge out of the situation tonight. Let me go first to Shawan to get a sense of what's happening. Shawan, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. How many people have turned up outside Kejriwal's house and why is he not being taken out yet? And what's what's going to happen now that he's been arrested? Well, 
Well, in fact, uh, the arrest memo has already been served. In fact, the grounds of arrest has already been read out to the Chief Minister. The reason for the delay that we are seeing right now is because of a law and order situation uh, that is basically developing outside the Chief Minister's residence. I'll just quickly show you. Uh, these are the images of senior Ahmadi Party leaders who are out on the road right now. Uh, you have Atishi here uh, and uh, several of the other Ahmadi Party leaders. Now, this, as you can see right now, Arnab, this entire area has been completely blocked because a short while back, You've had senior Ahmadi party leaders uh, blocking this road, not allowing any movement to take place. So you have had the rapid action force that has been brought in on both sides. So on the other side, it's on the other side as where the chief minister's residence is. That area has been completely uh, barricaded. We're expecting that to happen in a short while from now. Meanwhile, there has been an additional deployment that has been brought in uh, that to at uh, the enforcement directorate's uh, office. So in a short while from now, it's expected that he'll be taken out. That's where a medical examination will also take place. But yes, there is a law and order situation building outside the chief minister's residence. Okay, Shawan is there. Abhishek. You mentioned about the fact that Kejriwal cut his teeth into Other politics uh, with, with anti-VVIP movement. But look at what's happening really. Almost five to seven kilometer jams is what we are getting to understand. Shawan was just mentioning about the law and order situation. People are coming out, blocking roads and obviously this is being mobilized and orchestrated. Yeah. So this is not following the letter and spirit of the law. This is trying to hoodwink, manipulate, etc. In terms of when you're facing the law. Also, also the fact that you were mentioning about Arvind Kejriwal not signing any document. Now, there is this section in IPC, now the BNS would have a different number uh, in the Bharatiya Nyaya uh, Sanhita. Uh, section 33 read along with section 120B of the IPC, which is conspiracy taken together with common intention and common objective. Then you don't need a signature because if you're part of a conspiracy, there is common intent. If something is proof for one, it proves for everyone involved in the conspiracy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think... So I think that, that, bit, that bit of homework, obviously, the agencies would have done. So the whole attempt here, Aishwarya, has been to try and project Arvind Kejriwal as the ringmaster. What they call loosely the kingpin. Kingpin. The kingpin of the scam. Uh, the Ahmadmi party says that you, you, this is a positioning you've created, but you don't have concrete evidence against Kejriwal yet. What's the inner thinking in government circles within the ED, within the BJP that you're hearing? No, it's very clear. As far as BJP is concerned, BJP says, let the agencies decide. And today, the agencies, because the allegation which the Amadmi party levels onto the agency, that they work on the behest of the government, that is the BJP. So today, the agency gave all the documents, all the proofs they had to the judge. And allow. What do you mean and all the proof? I mean, no, they proof presented against, the complete against file Kejriwal. against Kejriwal. Against, against and Kejriwal. and Kejriwal. not only Kejriwal, the whole mail trail, the whole line of connection between Samir Mahindru, Vijay Nair, all the people who are involved in this liquor scam and confidential then confidential information yes, was shared which, which with has, the high which, court. Yeah, with with the Delhi High Court judge today, okay. and then he was told, "Sir, there is only one request. Please don't share it with anyone else." And now you decide. Okay. Should so, protection be given? So, Should so, protection so, be so, given? So, so, and he said, "Don't no. forget, there are approvers yeah. or not? There are approvers." Yes, so there, are, there are. And Kavita, we are still not questioning. The BRS leader said, "No, there is no connection." The day after K. Kavita was, was arrested or not, for the Things first time, Arvind that. Kejriwal was made a co-conspirator with an amount of 100 crore being mentioned yeah. by ED. True. So, uh, I'd like to go across to Siddharth, who's on the debate right now. Siddharth Sharma of the Ahmadmi Party and Pratush Kant of the BJP okay. is with us. Uh, we have with us Subrashta, I see her on the screen. Uh, now, a point being made here, Siddharth. I can see, I, I appreciate the fact that you're smiling, you have a smiling face tonight. Your other colleague was so angry, almost exploded on the show, Akshay Marathe. But you are a man with more experience. Uh, however, the, 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 the specific point tonight, it's, it's futile to ask you for your reaction because I know what your reaction will be. The specific point we are coming to tonight with you, Siddharth, is that uh, the court was given a file. And Pratyush, please pay attention to this. The, the government was very keen to win the case. To make sure that Arvind Kejriwal does not get any protection from arrest. So the government went all out and through additional Solicitor General S.V. Raju, it placed, I am told, a full confidential envelope and file 
before the Honorable Judge and said, Milords, here is the information on the basis of which we have to interrogate him, take action against him, him being Arvind Kejriwal. But the court was also requested by the agency that this is highly confidential and very explosive information regarding Mr. Kejriwal. And I am sharing this with you in confidence. And please do not stop us from arresting him if necessary. The Honorable High Court saw the file, Siddharth. And after seeing the file said, you have to cooperate. And I am not going to give you any protection from arrest. So obviously there is some information which has been shared with the courts. Some very sensitive facts, some astonishing details perhaps have been shared by the courts, with the courts. So Siddharth, this is going through legal process. Yeah. <coughs> it's not a fishnet anymore. Answer? It's a very straightforward, accurate legal process. Yes. Uh, let me at the very outset tell you that uh, uh, hundreds of years, nearly 100 years ago, we also saw that uh, when faced with the Bradman, the England cricket team led by Douglas Jardine resorted to body line bowling. Now it was for the people to judge whether that was right or wrong. That was that was one of the reasons why I was smiling. This is in politics as in sports. Uh, you, you compete, you compete. Everything becomes fair in a war and politics. Anyway, I'll come to the very specific points, uh, the legal <coughs> jargon that you were speaking to. And I think the uh, viewers of uh, Republic TV also have a right to know what happened today in the courts. I'll be very succinct. It will be very crisp, uh, hardly five, 10 sentences within 10 sentences I learned. Uh, today what happened was Arvind Kejriwal challenged ED notices to him. Uh, the court gave ED April 22nd to respond. Uh, if, if earlier, as you said, uh, the, the court was apprised of some sensitive information, the court would have said, asked Arvind Kejriwal to uh, get arrested forthwith or, or cooperate with the ED forthwith. It did not do so. It, uh, the court gave ED 22nd April to respond. The ED had earlier in its own press release has named Arvind Kejriwal as the top leader of Amadmi Party. But paradoxically, in court today, the ED said that it, was, it has neither named him, named him as an accused nor wants to question him as an Amadmi Party leader. Now, going further, the ED also said that it can arrest anybody anytime, but it had not done so till that time. Now, what these things make clear? It is now clear that there is no, no money trail found either with Arvind Kejriwal as a person or as an accused. Now, ED had two options today after that. Either respect law and convince the court on April 22nd that Arvind Kejriwal was some kind of beneficiary or the ED had an option to respect the BJP and arrest a constitutional figure who was neither an accused nor a beneficiary in ED's own admission. Now, this was a catch-22 situation for, for BJP. It had to arrest Arvind Kejriwal knowing fully well that it is doing so at its own peril to, and confessing to its panic that it does not have answer to Arvind Kejriwal's model of governance. It is as simple as that. Every Even a layman today knows that subjudice matters can't be acted upon. Still, BJP going ahead means uh, BJP is so spooked by Amadmi party that it can go from illegal to blatant acts to stop Arvind Kejriwal. It is now crystal clear that after getting ca caught pants down today, incidentally what had happened today was at 5 o'clock the election commission had also put on on its website the 8,250 crore illegal money that BJP had. So BJP had those illegal funds. That publication desperately BJP needed a headline change and I think that is what they are trying to do. Now, as far as Amadmi party is concerned, Arvind Kejriwal is a model of governance. That model of governance uh, got acceptance not just in Delhi but Punjab also. I think so that you are one, one minute. Uh, 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 one minute. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I stop you right there, sir? Absolutely. See what you're happens sure. is you're that. Sure. What happens? What happens is that I I think that we must remain a, keep our focus. And my focus is on the legal case that has to be there or not there against Mr. Kejriwal. Before that, once let me go across to Deepak. Uh, Shavan is there, of course. Deepak, if you can hear me, what's your location? What's happening around you right now? Sajid. What are you hearing about when Mr. Kejriwal may be brought out? And why is it taking so much time? 
Right, Arnab, uh, I'm currently outside uh, the ED headquarters and behind me, if I could ask my uh, video journalist to pan and show you, these are Thank the barricades you. that have been no set up here. outside the ED There's headquarters. No Heavy security deployment has also been put in place at the ED office and beyond these barricades, that's where uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be taken and uh, further questioning will be done. And uh, what we are also getting to understand here is that uh, four companies of paramilitary force as well as 100 police, Delhi police force have been deployed across uh, the national capital, all the roads leading from the Delhi chief minister's residence till the ED office. Uh, the entire uh, route has been jam-packed and uh, the police deployment is also high in the roads leading up to the ED headquarters. So what we are given to understand is that shortly Arvind Kejriwal will be brought to the ED headquarters where uh, RML uh, health officials will carry out his medical examination. Similar uh, uh, situation as to what happened with uh, Sanjay Singh and uh, Satyendra Jain as well. So similar process will be followed. First, yes. Arvind Kejriwal okay. will be brought to uh, the ED headquarters after which uh, a medical examination will happen. RML uh, health officials will also reach uh, the ED headquarters, four companies of paramilitary forces and also 100 police, uh, Delhi police have been deployed. And if I could show you the route leading up to uh, the enforcement directorate's office, uh, Delhi police uh, you know uh, convoys have been rallying up and down this road to uh, to detect any sort of untoward incident and it is also expected that a large number of Ahmad Mi party leaders will also arrive at the enforcement directorate's uh, headquarters right here okay and in thank view you. of thank you uh, Deepak uh, thank you right thank you Deepak thank you thank you Deepak Deepak the the there is a there is another question here now <coughs> Pratyush the Amadmi party says Arvind Kejriwal will be chief minister from Tihar jail or from custody. Is this tenable? Is this possible? Can you have the chief minister of Delhi run his office from jail? I mean, there has to be some reasonableness to suggestions now. Pratyush, what's your take on that? Well, Whatever Kejriwal does doesn't shock me. His thought process, Arnab, I really watched this man's career very closely. And I'm so surprised that today when he's going to jail, I was just remembering that his whole politics is based on lies. Sitting in Delhi, he's trying to run Punjab. Basically, he was a kingpin to corruption everywhere. Either you look at water, Bijli, uh, uh, infrastructure projects. There was not a single place where he and his people didn't want to make money, including the Shish Mahal, which he made where he lives. Even there, the contractors were uh, given money. I, I mean, the whole saga of scams which this man was heading all through. And today, when he goes to jail, and I was listening to the AAP uh, uh, spokesperson, and I realized that he missed a point. The Aam Admi Party went to the lower court when they saw the paper, they didn't listen to him. They went to high court, they went to double bench, they went to the apex court. The single judge said, there's a clear trail of 300, please don't disturb my time, go to the lower court and come to us again. Even tomorrow he'll get arrested, he'll go to Supreme Court, Supreme Court will never listen to them. They will say, please follow the due procedure which is laid down in this country, that you go to the right appropriate bench and then you come to us. Kejriwal was trying to uh, ask the ED, you send me the questionnaire, do it on video chat. Uh, tomorrow you will ask the judges, your lordship, you are, please give judgment and tell me why you have given this judgment. Do we have this in our constitution? Is this man above constitution? He was trying to run away from all these summons because he knew that all the roads were leading to his house and eventually, finally, today the people of Delhi will be relieved that this corrupt man <coughs> is going to jail and it was high time it had to be fixed because that, Delhi has that, really suffered we also in the last have, 10 years. Pratyush, Pratyush, we have a developing story. We have a developing story. Uh, Ashwarya wants to come on it. The Delhi LG is to sub report, submit a report to the, report MHA. To the MHA. Absolutely. There is a huge issue about whether you can be chief minister uh, from prison. No, the law, uh, what's the latest on that? Absolutely. At this point of time, keeping in mind that there is a special status of Delhi. Keeping in mind the law in place, what we are being told by our sources that a chief minister cannot be in prison and run the government. This will hamper the process and in that case... No, is there a technicality there? There is a jail manual. No, there is a jail manual. No, no, no. No, there is a jail manual or not? What is the jail manual? But this is happening for the first time. What is the jail manual? So the jail manual clearly says... Camera 2, please. Yeah, thank you. Jail manual clearly says that 
there is no provision under which a minister can work from inside the jail. A minister, a minister or a chief minister, also a minister. Yeah, minister. So the the jail the jail manual in the in case of Tehar jail, That's I'm being told. Is very clear. That is the yeah. jail specific or all jail. No, manual? no. I am getting to know from the no, jail. jail be, must be, must be, the MHA has manual. already. Sources oh. are clearly telling me MHA has got an active. MHA is saying either he has to be replaced or removed. So it is up to the Amadmi Party because right now there is a whole bravado of the Amadmi Party saying Atishi comes out, Swara Bharadwaj comes out. You'll have the Amadmi Party spokesperson here also comes out and say that no, he will run the government from. No, he cannot. The yeah. law doesn't allow that. And in that case, if the Amadmi Party sticks to it then either he has to be suspended, a new chief minister has to be sworn in or the process will follow tomorrow morning because till now the official, as Shavan was just saying, the arrest memo is and, being worked on, case, the letter is still not out, so the AG will be uh, submitting Siddharth, the report. Siddharth, and why, while you are speaking on, why, why, on a, just live movement there, the ED vehicles have just gone in, inside the vehicles I'm and they will be bringing the out. There, if I can get the shot there or where the movement is coming in and I'll put, and I'll put that question, I'll go back to Shavan. Shavan, can you be there? Shavan, can you move your camera to where the action is happening? It will be very useful because I think you're being too static today. Why don't you just move to where the action is happening? We'll follow you. Tell your camera person to follow you. Not put his camera on a tripod, please. Can we get out of the tripod shot, please? Can you be on a handheld and move to where the action is happening? Thank you so much. Can that also, can that instruction also go to the camera persons, the video journalists with Deepak on their frame? We would like both of you to move to where the action is because it's not, I know we are not going to get the news in if we have you static on the frames where you are. So Shavan, can you start moving in please? And while, while you move in and while you establish your shot and while the establishing shot for you is where the action is happening. So you are not away from the place of action. Thank you very much. I would like to go right now to Siddharth. Siddharth, if there is a rule here, you can't defy the rule. Siddharth, Siddharth, you cannot defy the rule. If the rule says that, if the rule says, Siddharth, can you hear me? If yeah, the rule I can hear says you. that you cannot be chief minister from jail, you cannot create new rules for yourself. Yeah, two things. One is that uh, Delhi will not be, Delhi does not get administered through a Bihar jail manual. Point number two, uh, in this same India, the stalwart like Atal Bihari Vajpayee had uh, reminded the of a Raj Dharma to one Mr. Narendra Modi in 2002. But he did. He he chose not to accept it. So right now, Amadmi Party is a political party. We have won with a people's mandate. We have asked the people of Delhi that Arvind Kejriwal gets arrested. What should be done? No, you cannot. And 95 percent of One the minute. people of Delhi have overwhelmingly said that we have uh, elected Arvind Kejriwal to serve us. He can serve us from wherever he wants to. It's as simple as that. I need I need Shavan to be there. No, no. I, you I need to understand Arvind Kejriwal is not over and above the law. You may feel so, but if no minister, no Arvind Kejriwal, no other minister, irrespective of party, Amadmi Party, Congress, BJP, I can't SP, see. and the man who comes out to defend you today is none other but Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Rahul Gandhi is coming uh, out here. Aishwarya, defense, Aishwarya, but you need to understand. Aishwarya, Aishwarya, that law does not allow you cannot that. you you law, cannot superimpose. Law does not allow that. You cannot superimpose the Bihar jail manual the law, on the constitution of India. Can you show me the constitution of India and say that a chief minister cannot shall be mm. running the chief ministership yeah. from X, Y, or Z place? Can you show me the?